so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome to the maha marathon for rbi grade b 2023 yes this is the maha marathon where we are going to discuss more than 1000 questions in a go so there will be 1050 questions which will be taken up by me karnama ma'am and neha ma'am so the questions will be from the last 6 months and i hope you guys are all set for this marathon right so please give me a thumbs up first of all if you guys can see me properly and can hear me properly then we will start with the class good morning good morning good morning everyone <coughs> please give me a thumbs up agar aapko awaaz aa rahi hai aur aap mere ko sahi se sun pa rahe hain to jaldi se batao bhai tum start kare fir and guys uh, this is the this is the last class before phase 1 of course because kal aapko chill karna hai bas aur kuch nahi karna hai tomorrow you guys have to just take a chill pill and badhiya se neend leni hai and nothing more than that do not carry anything ya kuch padhna bhi hai kal to sirf dopahar tak padhna uske baad kuch bhi mat padhna just give your brain uh, some rest theek hai otherwise blackout ho jayega gadbad ho jayegi theek hai ji सेशन यार नौ दस घंटे तो चलना चाहिए अखिल तेज सेशन विल कंटिन्यू फॉर अराउंड नाइन टू टेन आवर्स ठीक है चलो चलो जल्दी से आ जाओ शेयर कर दो अपने दोस्तों यार और रिश्तेदारों बंधु के साथ यू गाइस शुड शेयर दिस क्लास विद ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली नेबर्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन द क्लास एंड इफ यू आर कमिंग है तो फर्स्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड हिट द लाइक बटन ठीक है बाकी आपकी मर्जी है इस मैराथन से हो जाएगा ना राहुल चतुर्वेदी आस्किंग देखो राहुल दिस मैराथन इज मेंट ओनली फॉर द लास्ट मिनट रिविजन आई बिलीव कि इसमें से बहुत सारी चीजें आपके एग्जाम में फंसनी चाहिए बट ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू आर डूइंग ओनली दिस मैराथन ओनली दिस मैराथन एंड बिफोर दिस यू हैवन प्रिपेयर एनीथिंग तो थोड़ा सा मुश्किल है देखो आई यू नो आई एम वेरी ऑनेस्ट इन दिस थिंग दिस सेशन इज मेंट ओनली फॉर द लास्ट मिनट रिविजन You cannot rely completely कि ठीक है मैं ये एक हजार पचास क्वेश्चन करके जाऊंगा और मेरा एग्जाम निकल जाएगा दैट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट ठीक है टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट ठीक है जी बिकॉज पीपल आर पुटिंग देयर ऑल देयर हार्ड वर्क इंस लास्ट फोर फाइव मंथ्स सो ऑफकोर्स आई बिलीव इन नेचर आई बिलीव इन यूनिवर्सल जस्टिस तो यूनिवर्स जो है हमेशा जस्टिस करता है ठीक है सो आई होप एवरी थिंग इज फाइन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद इट एंड आई कुड सी वेरी लेस नंबर ऑफ पीपल टूडे ऑल्सो आई डोंट नो द रीजन वॉस द रीजन वाई People are not attending the class. Yes, दो तीन बार last six months revise कर लिया है तो अब तो बहुत है ना यार राहुल तब तो फिर आपको चिंता करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है ठीक है जी good morning, very good morning everyone. सभी लोगों को शुभ प्रभात है चलो start करते हैं फिर and again, uh, this will be a quick fire round as usually because थाउजेंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन है सो वी के नॉट स्पेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑन इट ठीक है विल ट्राई टू फिनिश इट एज टू नॉट एज पॉसिबल एंड टुडे यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग यू जस्ट हैव टू सिट हियर विद अस ठीक है दैट इज इट नथिंग मोर देन दैट इतना काफी है आप आज का दिन आज आप पूरा का पूरा महामैराथन को दो इट विल टेस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन ठीक है जी कुछ क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट है कुछ क्वेश्चन ईजी है कुछ क्वेश्चन मॉडरेट है जैसा कि पेपर में आपको मिलेगा राइट सो वी विल बी डूइंग द करंट अफेयर फॉर द सिक्स मंथ जनवरी एंड फेब्रवरी विल बी टेकन अप बाई मी मार्च अप्रैल करनीमा मैम एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मे एंड जून विल बी टेकन अप बाय नेहा मैम ठीक है जी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इट गाइस एंड लेट्स बिगिन विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सबसे पहले सवाल पे हम लोग आ जाते हैं वन सेकंड एंड यू हैव टू टेल मी द आंसर्स ऑफ कोर्स ठीक है ऐसे मेरी शक्ल मत देखना ठीक है मेरी शक्ल में कुछ नहीं रखा हुआ बस क्वेश्चन पढ़ो और आंसर दो राइट चलो जी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी 2023 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वेयर विल द ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी मेमोरियल बी एस्टैब्लिश वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ब्रिटिन ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी मेमोरियल कहाँ पे एस्टैब्लिश होगा इट विल बी एस्टैब्लिश इन स्कॉटलैंड इट विल एस्टैब्लिश इट विल बी एस्टैब्लिश इन स्कॉटलैंड येस पी डी एफ विल बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द टेलीग्राम चैनल विद द मार्क आंसर्स एंड पिछली क्लास में भी कुछ लोग यार आ, बोल रहे थे कि आंसर मार्क नहीं है गाइस प्लीज ओपन योर आईज एंड सी दी आंसर एट दी बॉटम राइट कॉर्नर 
बॉटम राइट कॉर्नर पे आपको आंसर मिल जाएगा राइट एंड बिफोर वी प्रोसीड देर इज एन अनाउंसमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द लास्ट पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैराथन क्लास इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फोर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फोर दैट वॉज रिगार्डिंग ए हेल्प इनिशियटिव तो जल्दी जल्दी में वहाँ पे आ, आपको मिनिस्ट्री जो थी वो गड़बड़ बता दी थी सो दिस इनिशियटिव इज ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नॉट एग्रीकल्चर फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलप ठीक है वहाँ पे मैंने आप लोगों को जल्दी जल्दी में मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बता दिया था बट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नहीं है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड देर इज वॉज अ टाइपो एर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी वन जो कि फर्स्ट वाटर सेंसस के रिगार्डिंग था इन दैट क्वेश्चन इन स्टेटमेंट नंबर फोर आपके पास पी डी एफ है आप देख लेना इन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन इन स्टेटमेंट नंबर फोर द सीक्वेंस विच इज गिवन इज फॉर द रूरल एरियाज एंड नॉट फॉर द अर्बन एरियाज एंड दिस इज द वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डाउट दैट वॉज यू नो रेज by mr vishal jha and i would like to thank vishal you know ne doubt raise kiya question number 91 statement number 4 the sequence which is given is of the rural area question number 64 a help initiative is being implemented by ministry of uh, fisheries animal husbandry dairying and ministry of rural development theek hai ji chalo question number 2 how many vande bharat express trains are operational as of january 2 2023 this type of questions are also asked in rbi where they give a date and they ask एज ऑन दिस डेट बताओ क्या है तो एट एट वंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन आर ऑपरेशनल एज ऑन सेकेंड जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वट इज द टारगेट ऑफ अमृत भारत स्टेशन स्कीम दिस वी हैव डिस्कस इन पी आई बी क्लास ऑल्सो इट इज वन टू सेवन फाइव स्टेशन इनिशियली दे हैव सेट दैट ओके मोर देन थाउजेंड स्टेशन विल बी एस्टैब्लिश बट द एक्जैक्ट नंबर इज वन टू सेवन फाइव एंड दैट्स वाई द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी Union Minister Shri Anurag Thakur has released the official Government of India calendar for the year 2023. Mission Life is the theme of which month? Very important question. Mission Life is the theme of for for the month of July. For the month of July 2023, the theme is Mission Life. India will assume the chairmanship of plenary session of Vasinar Agreement for one year during the 26th annual plenary of the Vasinar Agreement to be held in Vienna in Austria, right? The 42 member Vasinar arrangement is a voluntary export control regime that monitors transfers of conventional weapons and dual use goods. When did India join the group? Right. So such questions are asked. So it is not it is not necessary that they are going to ask question from current affairs. They make static question from the current affairs. Like like for example here the news is that India will assume the chair of plenary session of Vasinar arrangement. That is the current affairs. But what the question is when did India join the group? India joined the group in the year 2017, right? So this is how you need to prepare holistically for the examination. अब वो जमाना गया कि आपने एक लाइन का करंट अफेयर पढ़ा और आपका काम बन गया. This is not the, these are not the time now. Which state has given the industry status to the tourism sector in the state? Very important question. The state in question is Assam. Assam has been given the industry status to the tourism sector. Which article of the Constitution of India provides for delimitation of the Lok Sabha seats after completion of census? The next delimitation is pending for the year 2026, and the article which mandates the delimitation of Lok Sabha seats is Article Number 82. Article Number 82. We have seen in the NABARD uh, examination last year various questions were asked from the uh, Constitution's article, so you can expect it in RBI as well. Nandini is the brand of which state's milk cooperative? These days, government is focusing very much on the cooperatives, so the questions from cooperative are expected. Nandini is the brand of Karnataka. Indian Army has received a 3D printed house dwelling unit, which is a disaster resilient structure that compiles, uh, that complies with Zone Three earthquake specifications and green building norms. Where is the unit established? The unit has been established in Ahmedabad, which is of course we all know in Gujarat. Which countries are separated by Strait of Hormuz? Yes. So I told you now, it is not necessary that they are going to ask question from current affairs. From the current affairs, they ask you question in the static form, right? So uh, which countries are separated? So it is uh, Iran and UAE and Iran and Oman, right? So the answer must be A and C. Yeah, A and C. Both A and C is the right answer. Here you can see in this map, right? और इस पीडीएफ uh, में आपको कुछ एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन भी है सो यू गाइस कैन रीड दोज एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ एंड यू विल गेट इट फ्रॉम द टेलीग्राम चैनल 
विच आई टी होस्ट द डी आर डी ओ इंडस्ट्री अकेडमी और रामानुजन सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस डी आई ए आर सी ओ ई विच आई आई टी इज होस्टिंग इट इट इज आई आई टी मड्रास इट इज आई आई टी मड्रास विच ऑलवेज रिमेन नंबर वन इन ऑल द रैंकिंग्स अंडर विच स्कीम इज द प्रज्वला चैलेंज लॉन्च बाय द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट दिस वी आर डिस्कस इन पी आई बी बट इन दैट द क्वेश्चन वॉज नेम द चैलेंज एंड नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज अंडर विच स्कीम सो आई होप यू गाइज रिमेंबर इट सो प्रज्वला चैलेंज वॉज लॉन्च अंडर डे एन आर एल एम डे एन आर एल एम दीनदयाल अंत्योदय योजना नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन विच बैंक हैज कोलेबोरेटेड विद इंडिया एक्सेलरेटर टू लॉन्च द आई थ्री लॉन्च पैड विच इज अ प्रोग्राम क्रिएटेड टू नर्चर एंड को इनोवेट विद द स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम इन द कंट्री which bank has collaborated with india accelerator the bank in question is one of the dsib that's icici bank option b is the right answer and there are three dsibs of course we all know this hdfc icici and sbi and these are the banks which are too big to fail right recently national commission for indian system of medicine and the central council of research in ayurvedic sciences the two institutions under the ministry of ayush has launched smart initiative yes This we have discussed in PIB as well. ठीक है जी तो इसलिए PIB, RBI, two four seven, spotlight तीनों के news मिलेंगे आपको इस class में ठीक है जी. The question is what does S stand for in smart? Smart की full form पूछी आपसे. मैंने आपसे जो PIB के session में question पूछा था organisation का पूछा था. That which organisations has have launched it? And now the question is uh, from the full form of smart. What is the full form of smart? That scope for mainstreaming. Scope for mainstreaming. Ayurveda research, Ayurveda research, go for mainstreaming Ayurveda research in teaching professionals, in teaching professionals. That is the full form of smart, right? So what does S stand for? It stands for uh, not smart scope. Option E is the right answer. Option E is the right answer. It's not sustainable, Mahima. It's uh, scope. Which university will host the 108th Indian Science Congress? Very important question. So this university is uh, Tukuloji Maharaj, right? Um, option uh, B is the right answer. Tukulo Maharaj Nagpur University, RTM Nagpur University. Option B. National campaign on rise, rising India through through spiritual empowerment was organized by Brahm Kumaris at Mount Abu, which is in Rajasthan, of course. The foundation stone of the Brahm Kumaris. Silence Retreat Center was laid recently. Where will the center be developed? It will be developed in Secunderabad. It will be developed in Secunderabad. Right option C is the right answer. Where is the Siom Bridge located? Can you tell me the answer to this question? Siom Bridge, where it is? Siom Bridge is located in the state where Kibitu Village is located. Now, can you tell me the answer? Kibitu Village is the same village from where Vibrant Villages program was launched. It is Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is the right answer. Croatia has joined the Schengen area, which is a term used for countries in Europe which have abolished visas across their borders, allowing their residents to move freely. How many of the European countries are a part of this grouping at present? Very very important question. Croatia has joined the Schengen Schengen area, and the number of countries which are part European Union countries actually which are part of this grouping is twenty seven. As on January 2023, the number of uh, members in this uh, organization in this grouping is 27. <clears throat> so you can see here, these are the 27 member countries. Who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of Bandhan Banks? Jaha Bandhan, Waha Trust marketing campaign. Jaha Bandhan, Waha Trust. So you must have seen the advertisement on TV channels or on the radio. Or you must you must have seen the hoarding outside the Bandhan Bank. It is Dada Saurabh Ganguly. Saurabh Ganguly is the right answer. Who has been appointed as the state icon of Bihar by the Election Commission of India? Very very important question. State icon of Bihar uh, uh, by Election Commission of India. It was Mathili Thakur. Who is Mathili Thakur? She is a singer, I believe. Mathili Thakur is a very famous and renowned singer. Which company has launched its second satellite named Pushpa Alpha on a Falcon 9 rocket to monitor weather? Pushpa Alpha. Which company has launched it? Pushpa Alpha has been launched with Digantara. Digantara is the name of the company which has launched Pushpa Alpha. India has taken over the chair of 
Asian Pacific Coastal Union from January 2023. The announcement was made in the 13th APPU Congress in Bangkok in September. APPU is an intergovernmental organization of 32 member countries of the Asia Pacific region, right? And the membership is only open to those member countries who are the part of Universal Postal Union. Ji, who is the current Secretary General of APU? Right? The current Secretary General is Mr. Vinay Prakash Singh. He has been appointed as the current Secretary General. Vinay Prakash Singh is the right answer. At which airport is the intelligent tray retrieval system established? This is something which is new for this airport. It is Mopa International Airport. Mopa International Airport is the right answer. Can you tell me where is Mopa International Airport located? Write down in the comment section where is it? Mopa, where is it? Where is the world's first palm leaf manuscript museum established? The world's first palm leaf manuscript museum will be established in our Pyara Bharat, India. It will be established in India. Yes, it is in Goa. The Mopa Airport is in Goa. What is the budgetary outlay of National Green Hydrogen Mission? National Green Hydrogen Mission se question aana pakka hai maan ke chalo. Theke, no one can stop it. It is 19,744 crores. We all know this. 19,744 crores. How much amount has been approved by Union Cabinet under the Central Sector Scheme Broadcasting Infrastructure and Network Development for 2023? And this, uh, this scheme is being implemented for strengthening the infrastructure of Prasar Bharti. For strengthening the infrastructure of Prasar Bharti, the overall infrastructure. And the total outlay, the total amount which has been approved by Union Cabinet is 2500 crores. Option A is the right answer. Which state has organized Octave 2023 Northeastern Cultural Festival? Which state is this? Octave has been organized by a southern state. Okay, let me give you a hint. It is a southern state. It's Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the right answer. What is the capital of Croatia? Can you tell me that? Yes, capitals are also asked in the examination. Capital of Croatia, very easy question. Zagreb is the capital. Zagreb is the capital of Croatia. How much stake has SBI mutual fund acquired in Ikuta Small Finance Bank? Such questions are also asked. Banking and finance is the very important section for RBI grade B examination. So SBI mutual fund has acquired 9.99% stake in Equitas small finance bank. Option B is the right answer. Which bank has launched first of its kind digital solutions for exporters to provide finances and other facilities to exporters without any delay to improve their operational efficiency? Which bank is this which has launched the digital solutions for exporters? It is ICICI bank once again is the right answer ICICI bank. In January 2023, Varanasi Kant Railway Station has been awarded a 5-star Eat Right Station certification by the FSSAI for providing quality and nutritious food to passengers. In light of this statement, how many Eat Right Railway Stations are located in India at present Matlab as on January 2023? Varanasi Kant, I believe uh, it was the 9th railway station. Okay? And the very first Eat Right Station was Mumbai Central. Mumbai Central was the very first. So the correct answer is option D, 9. Where is India's first in vitro fertilization mobile unit for animals inaugurated? India ka pehla in vitro fertilization mobile unit kaha pe established hua tha for animals? So it has been established in Amreli. Amreli is the place where India's first IVF mobile unit for animal has been inaugurated. Which institute houses the National Genome Editing and Training Center? Which institute uh, is this which houses the National Genome Editing and Training Center? So it is housed by National Agri Food Biotech Institute. National Agri Food Biotech Institute, right? I hope, guys, the the speed is fine. The speed is fine. If you guys have any problem with speed, then please tell me. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up. Question number thirty-four. How much outlay has been sanctioned for the schemes of Ministry of Development of North Re Northeast Region from the previous financial year till the, till the end of 15th Finance Commission period? It is 12,800 crores. This we have discussed a lot of time. 12,800 crores is the right answer.
how many districts are covered in the Pradhan Mantri National Apprenticeship Mela in the month of January 2023? In the month of January 20, uh, 2023, Pradhan Mantri National Apprenticeship Mela, which is organized by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, 242 districts were covered. Which state has launched Chief Ministers Sukhashtray Sahayata Kosh? Sukhashtray Sukh Sahayata Kosh for providing higher education to the children of needy people. Right? It is for providing higher education to the people who cannot afford the higher education for their children. It is Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is the right answer. Which bank has partnered with Open, which in the month of January 2023, to provide a full native? Digital current account journey for its customers, including small and medium enterprises, freelancers, homepreneurs, influencers, and more. Which bank is this? This bank is very famous and actually it is a well performing bank. It is Access Bank. Access Bank is the right answer. When is the World Day of War Orphans observed? Now, when you have to go to the exam, you have to ask when is the International Ozone Day? When is the National Doctors Day, when is the Hindi Day? Now they have come, uh, you know, they have moved ahead. They have moved one step ahead. And they are asking days which are not much famous. So World Day of War Orphans is observed on January the 6th. 6th January. How much is the estimated real GDP for 22-23 as per NSO's first advanced estimates of national income at both constant and current prices? For the financial year 22-23, very very important question. It is 157.60 lakh crores. 157.60 lakh crores is the right answer. And this is for financial year 22-23 and not for this financial year, of course, it cannot be. Ye kuch information extra aapko de hai, so you guys can read it from the PDF. Who has been appointed as the new CEO of Paytm Payments Bank? Very, very important question. It is Mr. SC Surinder Chavla. Who has been appointed as the new CEO of Paytm Payments Bank? India's first coal gasification based Talcher fertilizer plant will be ready for commissioning by October 24 at Angul in Odisha. Talcher, remember, it is in Odisha. This can also be asked where is Talcher fertilizer plant? It is in Odisha. This would be the fifth urea producing indigenous plant of India. In July 2022, the government has set a target of eliminating urea imports by the year 2025. So we will be eliminating urea imports by the year 2025 and that is the right answer. The NHA is introducing a new system under its flagship scheme Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Aurogya Yojana to measure and grade the hospital performance. Bhoot chilla chilla ke maine ye PIB mein padha hai. The new initiative will introduce, introduce the concept of value based care where payment will be outcome based and providers will be rewarded according to the quality of the treatment that they are providing to the patient under the scheme. On how many parameters will the hospital be judged? So the hospitals will be judged on five parameters. So these hospitals will be judged on five parameters and accordingly they are, they will be provided the reward. Whereas Renew Power installed India's first 3x platform wind, uh, wind turbine generators. India's first 3x platform wind turbine generators has been installed in Karnataka. Karnataka is the right answer. PDF will be telegram pe. How much amount has been allocated for the new India literacy program for 5 years starting from this financial year to this? Can you tell me the answer? It is 1000 crores. It is approximately 1000 crore actually. Can you tell me the exact amount? Dekhe bhai, kaun badaega exact amount? Hai kisi mein dam jo ki new India literacy program ka exact amount bata de jo maine PIB mein bataya tha. है कोई है किसी में दम जो बता पाए जल्दी बताओ भाई वेरी वेल डन आया आंसर आया बहुत बढ़िया यार बहुत ही बढ़िया दिस शोज द लेवल ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन गाइस 1037 करोड़ यस वेरी वेल डन अच्छा चलो एक चीज और बता दो out of this much crores 1037 actually it is 1037.90 out of this much how much will be provided by the central government chalo ye bhi bata do bahut sahi bahut hi sahi 
बहुत बढ़िया गया इज वेरी वेल डन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी सेवन हंड्रेड क्रोर्स विल बी गिवन बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ठीक है विच सिटी होस्टेड द फर्स्ट एजुकेशन ग्रुप ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दिस विल बी दिस हैज बीन होस्टेड बाई चेन्नई चेन्नई इज द राइट आंसर विच हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया टू फुल्ली डिजिटलाइज इट्स बैंकिंग सर्विसेज बहुत ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है ये दिस कैन बी आस्ट इन योर एग्जामिनेशन द स्टेट इन क्वेश्चन इज केरला द स्टेट इन क्वेश्चन इज केरला Where is Bhitar Karnika National Park located? So all the major national park, wildlife sanctuaries are important for RBI grade B examination. They are the part of static GK. Bhitar Karnika National Park is located in Odisha, Odisha, which is very famous for olive ridley turtles and other types of turtles. Indian Navy has recently collaborated with Sagar Defence Engineering Private Limited for the development of armed uh, autonomous boat swarms as part of their Sprint initiative. The question is, what does N stand for in the full form of Sprint? Can you tell me the full form of Sprint? It is supporting pole vaulting, supporting pole vaulting in R and D through I D E X and double I O and Technology Development Acceleration Council. What is I D E X? Innovation Defence Ex Innovation for Defence Excellence and N and double I O is what? naval innovation and indigenization organization so that is a full form of sprint and supporting is the right answer option e supporting where is india planning to deploy a platoon of female peacekeepers female peacekeeper ka platoon india will deploy at the border between sudan and south sudan right sudan and south sudan ke border pe india will be deploying a platoon of female peacekeepers With which bank has Indian Institute of Science partnered to establish the Center for Mathematics and Computing? बहुत ही important question है. And once again, the correct answer is Axis Bank. Axis Bank is the right answer. Can you tell me who is the CEO of Axis Bank? Write down in the comment section because CEO of all the important banks are important. CEO of Axis Bank, बताओ जल्दी से. Union Cabinet, chaired by Honorable Prime Minister Modi, has approved a historic decision to set up and promote a national level multi-state. Seed Cooperative Society under uh, Multi-State Cooperative Society Act of 2002. When this, when did this act come into force? Okay, that is the question only. So this act came into force in the year 2002. Yes, 2002 uh, MSCS Act. ठीक है जी. Option B is the right answer. This question was something different in PIB. I hope you remember that. Union Cabinet has approved the incentive scheme for prom promotion of rupee debit cards and low value bhim upi transaction what is the meaning of low value bhim upi transaction up to rupees 2000 under the scheme acquiring banks will be provided financial incentive for promoting point of sale and e-commerce transactions using rupee debit cards and low value bhim upi transaction percent to merchant so how much money would the government spend 2600 crores is the right answer आई थिंक ये क्वेश्चन तो आपको सपनों में भी आप सही बता दोगे वेर एज द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज एंड आयुष सरबन सोनोवाल इनोग्रेटेड द स्कूल ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स वाटरवेज एंड कम्युनिकेशन इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन सो इट हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड इन त्रिपुरा त्रिपुरा इज द राइट आंसर हु हैज ज्वाइंट नास्ता एज द चीफ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर ए सी चरानिया इज द राइट आंसर ए सी चरानिया has joined as nasa as the chief technologist which of the following companies received the payment aggregator's license from rbi in the month of january 2023 which company is it it is hitachi payment service and encash these are the two companies which have received the payment aggregator's license so option d is the right answer hitachi and encash Which project aims to create shipping canal project in India that would connect the Gulf of Mannar and the Park Strait? Gulf of Mannar or Park Strait? Who? Which one project? Who? Who connect? Will connect? So it is Setu Samudram project. Under Setu Samudram project, Gulf of Mannar and the Park Strait will be connected. So you can see here, this is how will be connected. Okay, ji. Established in June 2020. in space which is indian national space promotion and authorization center is a single window autonomous agency under the department of space of the government of india it aims to give a level playing field to the private sector companies currently it is chaired by pavan k goenka 
Recently, it has signed an MOU with an agency for technical collaboration for development of various GIS applications. What is the name of that agency with which this MOU has been signed? So, it has been signed with Nascent Info Technology. Nascent Info Technology. Recently, Rights has signed an MOU with an IIT for mutual assistance and cooperation to strengthen and develop a sustainable future by transforming to green. Rights is a mini Ratna category 1 and schedule a CPSC under Ministry of Railways. Right. So, what is which IIT is this? Question is this with which IIT? The IIT is IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur, which was top in the innovation category in the rankings. Right. <clears throat> Recently, High Commission, Indian High Commission has signed an MOU to establish a Hindi chair at the Sabra Gamuwa University. Where is this university located? So, Sabra Gamuwa University is located in Sri Lanka. Namse clear about to Sri Lanka is the right answer. Which has become the first country to launch Hockeyverse, which is a metaverse platform for hockey tournaments. Everything is going on meta now, and the country which has become the very first to launch Hockeyverse is India only. Our Pyara Bharat. As per a newspaper article uh, published in the month of January, India has collaborated with, it, with which country to establish a new working group to build sustainable supply chains and boost the bilateral trade. So, India has collaborated with USA to establish a new working group to build sustainable supply chains and boost the bilateral trade. Option C is the right answer. Which state has collaborated with Indian Army for the Soul of Steel Challenge? So, Indian Army has collaborated with Uttarakhand for Soul of Steel Challenge, which is the right answer. Which country has announced its plans to establish a global south center of excellence to undertake research? on development solutions for developing countries. Which country has announced its plan? So, it is once again India, our Pyara Bharat. Option D is the right answer. Which company has developed India's first 5G enabled drone named Skyhawk? That is the capital of vertical takeoff and landing. Which company is this? This company is IG Drones. This company is IG Drones. Where will India's first center of excellence in online gaming be established to help startups from the northeastern region to build the next generation online gaming app and software? This we have discussed in PIB also. So that's Shillong. Where is Shillong? Meghalaya. Where was the two day long Think 20 meeting of G20 grouping held? Think 20 meeting of G20 in the month of January. It took place in Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. Bhopal or Madhya Pradesh bhot uh, chal rahe aaj kal news mein because of the obvious reasons kyunki maha pe elections hai. Thik hai ji? Question number 67. Which is the first district ever in India for on ground implementation of ground breaking 5G use cases proposed by startup? So the first ever district in India for on ground implementation of ground breaking 5G use cases it is Vidisha. Where is Vidisha? Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. Saharsh is the special education program of which state? Saharsh is the special education program of Tripura. Tripura ka hai bhai Saharsh. Which state has implemented the first ever policy for blindness control in the country to ensure the right to sight? Which state has implemented it? So the state in question is Rajasthan. Rajasthan is the right answer. Ashok Gelot is the chief minister. Where is the Indian Coast Guard ship Kamla Devi commissioned? Indian Coast Guard ship Kamla Devi kaha pe commissioned hua hai? So it has been commissioned in the month of January in Kolkata. With which country has India signed MOU for green hydrogen development in the month of January? India has signed an MOU for green hydrogen development with UAE, United Arab Emirates. Recently, India has announced to eliminate lymphatic filariasis by 2027, three years ahead of the global target through mission mode. We will be eliminating TB by the year 2025. Do remember it also. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia made this announcement through the National Symposium on India's roadmap to eliminate the disease. This roadmap outlines uh, a how many pronged approach. So, this roadmap contains a five pronged approach. Okay, ji? 
so these are the elimination targets these are mentioned here you guys can read it leprosy uh, eliminated nahi hua hai actually leprosy theek hai ji leprosy 2023 mein is saal inhone bola hai ki kuch kuch jagahon pe baki hai to usko hum eliminate kar denge वैसे कई जगहों पे इन्होंने बोल रखा है कि एलिमिनेट हो गया है ठीक है सो दिस इज द कंफ्यूजन विच हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ओनली काला अजहर विल बी एलिमिनेटेड बाय दिस ईयर 2025 टीबी लिम्फेटिक प्लेरिसिस 2027 मलेरिया 2030 एड्स एपिडेमिक 2030 व्हिच कंपनी हैज साइंड अ 3 बिलियन यूरो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू सप्लाई एंड सर्विस फ्रीट ट्रेंस इन इंडिया व्हिच इज द लार्जेस्ट एवर ऑर्डर This company in question is Simons. Simons is the company which has signed this contract. Gurbati Marketplace launched Womania on Gem initiative to empower women entrepreneurs and women self help groups to sell their products directly to various government ministries, departments, and institutions. The initiative is represented by Artwork Magan, which is an illustration of women empowerment and grace. By which of these personalities? It is Anukta M Ghosh. Anukta M Ghosh Which country has launched the world's first agri focused satellite which country is this the world's first country to launch agri focused satellite it's south africa it is south africa which bank of russia which bank of russia has launched direct payment in rupees to boost bilateral trade and investment in the month of january 2023 which bank is this this bank is vtb और बहुत ही अजीब से फुल फॉर्म है यू नीड नॉट रिमेंबर इट यू नीड नॉट रिमेंबर इट वी टी बी जस्ट रिमेंबर इट वी टी बी रिसेंटली द फर्स्ट एवर डिस्ट्रिक्ट गुड गवर्नेंस इंडेक्स एंड रिसेंटली का मतलब है यहाँ पे इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी 2023 ट्वेंटी हैज बिन रिलीज बाय द यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह इन जम्मू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर नॉट ट्रू अबाउट द इंडेक्स द इंडेक्स हैज बिन प्रिपेयर बाय जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद डी ए आर पी जी एंड लद्दाख सी इट हैज बिन प्रिपेयर बाय जम्मू एंड कश्मीर in collaboration with drpg only and not ladakh ladakh is not there so this statement is incorrect this index is based on 10 governance sectors yes 80 indicators nahi hai 58 indicators hai and 116 data action points hai so this is also incorrect the index has been topped by jammu district followed by doda samba pulwama and srinagar only three is correct so which are not true only one and two is the right answer option c option c is the right answer So these are the ten sectors, and these are the indicators written in the bracket. Total fifty-eight and one one six data action points. Aditya Birla is an insurance company limited has signed a bank assurance partnership. Bank assurance means when when bank and insurance company ties up with Punjab and Sindh Bank for distribution of healthcare insurance products through the bank's network of branches across the country. Aditya Birla Health Insurance is a joint venture between Aditya Birla and MMI Holdings. Which countries does the MMI Holdings belong to? MMI Holding belong to South Africa. South Africa is the right answer. Recently, RBI has proposed a framework for adoption of an expected loss-based approach for provisioning by banks in India. As per this framework, the banks are required to classify their financial assets into one of the dash categories. How many categories? the question is this only they have to classify into one of the three categories three categories is the right answer national awards were given to 82 best agri planners who were trained under the central sector scheme agri clinics and agri business of the government of india which is being implemented since 2002 as a central sector scheme in collaboration with nabard right for their significant contribution to farmers through agri clinics and agri business service And I think that is the question only which agency is spearheading this initiative. As I told you, it is NABARD. NABARD is the right answer. Question number eighty-one. SAI, which is Sports Authority of India, and the Indian Railways has have established their National Centre for Excellence. Where is this National Centre of Excellence located? It is located in the state of West Bengal. Chief Minister is Mamata Didi, Mamata Banerjee. What is the total outlay of the scheme for financial support for project development expenses of PPP project public private partnership India infrastructure project development fund scheme for the period of 2223 to 2425 various times it has been discussed 150 crores is the right answer by which year the entire country be covered with the network of doppler weather radars 
by which year the whole country will be covered with the network of this radar by the year 2025 2025 tak <coughs> how many distant agro meteorological units will be established by the year 2025 kitne distant agro meteorological units establish honge to 660 660 distant agro meteorological units will be established by the year 2025 Which UT has declared the whole Union territory as a free area for the purposes of prevention and control of infectious and contagious disease in Animals Act 2019. Which UT is this? This UT is Jammu and Kashmir. With which company has TDB signed an MOU in the month of January 2023 to extend loans to the MSME sector? Which company? Uh, with which company has TDB signed this MOU? It is BFS Capital. BFS Capital is the right answer. It is headquartered in Lucknow. Which bank has signed an MOU with Warehousing Development and Regulatory Authority to provide loans against EWRs, against which we can take maximum seventy five lakhs loan issued by WDRA registered warehouses? This we have discussed. It is SBI, State Bank of India, is the right answer. Who is the chairperson of SBI? Tell me, chairperson, tell me SBI's. RBI has released the master direction RBI acquisition and holding of sharings or voting rights in banking companies or directions 2023 as per the directions any person who intends to make an acquisition which is likely to result in major share holding in a banking company is required to seek previous approval of the reserve bank in this context major share holding means aggregate holding of 5% or more okay 5% or more of the paid up share capital or voting rights so option b 5% is the right answer dinesh khar yes dinesh khar is the chairperson of sbi which payment bank has recently released received final approval from rbi to operate as a bbpou bharat bill payment operating unit under bharat bill payment system which payment bank is this this payment bank is paytm payment bank chavla saab is the new ceo RBI has released RBI has released state finances a study of budgets of 2023 report on the theme of capital formation in India the role of states as per the report the gross fiscal deficit of state is budgeted to narrow to dash percent of gdp in 2022 2023 from 4.1% so it has been narrowed to 3.4% of gdp option a 3.4 is the right answer Which country has assumed the presidency of 13th Assembly of International Renewable Energy Agency? Which country has assumed the presidency? It is India. Once again, is the right answer India. Ministry of Minority Affairs has discontinued the Padhu Pradesh scheme that aimed at providing interest subsidy on educational loans. जो स्कीम discontinue हो गई है उससे भी question में आए question आ सकता है why? Because even if it has been discontinued, it was in news no. right so which bank was used to be the nodal agency of this scheme it was canara bank canara bank is the right answer where is the first g20 health working group meeting be held so it took place in tiruvananthapuram tiruvananthapuram who has become the first woman pilot of indian air force to participate and lead in an air combat exercise very important question is avni chaturvedi Avni Chaturvedi, she is the first woman pilot of Indian Air Force to participate and lead in the air combat exercise. Which country has inaugurated the European Union's first mainland orbital launch complex? Which country is this? This is Sweden. Sweden is the right answer. What is the capital of Sweden? Write down in the comment. Which country discovered the world's oldest dated rune stone? World's oldest dated rune stone. Has been discovered by Norway. Norway's capital, भी बताओ चलो. Norway का भी बताओ, Sweden का भी बताओ. देखो यार हमने जितना पढ़ाना था पढ़ा लिया है. Now is the time to ask questions from you. ठीक है भाई. So I hope आप सब लोग उनका आंसर करेंगे. What is the global unemployment rate in 2023 as per ILO's World Employment and Social Outlook report? What is the global unemployment rate as per this report? It is 5.8 percent. Very very important question. 
as per the ASER annual state of education report, how much percent of students in the age bracket of 6 to 14 years are now enrolled in the school. So this is a very, you know, here we have performed very well. It is 98.4%. Option B is the right answer. Yes. Sweden's capital is Stockholm and Norway's is Oslo. Why are you not answering guys? Why are you not answering Why are you not answering guys? Which company has announced to launch its uh, Girls for Tech STEM education program? Which company has announced to launch its Girls for Tech STEM education program? And of course, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. It is MasterCard. With which bank has Steel Authority of India Limited signed an MOU to provide financial assistance to the dealers of sale across the country? Steel Authority of India. With which bank? It is South Indian Bank. South Indian Bank is the right answer. So guys, 100 questions are done. If you guys have any problem with the speed, you can tell me. Otherwise, we, we will be continuing it. And speed, I think, will <coughs> आपको ये सब कुछ ऑलरेडी पढ़ाया जा चुका है ठीक है सब कुछ पढ़ाया जा चुका है टू जेड थिंग्स एंड दिस इज द क्विक फायर राउंड दे विल बी डूइंग यू नो द फाइनल रिवीजन थ्रू द क्वेश्चंस ठीक है जी नो प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक टी ब्रेक अभी थोड़ी मिलेगा भाई रुक जाओ इतनी जल्दी जल्दी ब्रेक लोगे तो कैसे काम चलेगा चलो Question number 101, where will the first meeting of G20 working group on environment and climate sustainability be held in February 2023? So, in the month of February 2023, it took place in Bangalore. G20 ke almost sari meeting ke question mein already aapko PIB ke marathon mein bhi kara chuka. Which edition of the Director General of Police or IG of Police conference was held in New Delhi? So, it was the 57th edition. 57th edition it was. Which IIT has developed? Bharos. Kali Padayam ne IIT Madras has been has developed Bharos, which is which is Bharat operating system. Bharat operating system. Like we have Android, now we have Bharat operating system. In January 2023, India announced to extend export benefits under the ROTEP scheme to domestic green hydrogen fuel manufacturers. In the light of the above statement, which of the following statements is are incorrect? Rotep scheme is designed to offer refunds against some local levies to exporters of only capital goods. No, it's not like that. It is not restricted to only capital goods for other goods as well. India targets for an annual production of 5 mmt of green hydrogen by 2030. Yes. And uh, India aims to provide at least 10% of global demand of hydrogen by 2030. Yes. These are the targets of National Green Hydrogen Mission. So, incorrect only one. Eh? Option A is the right answer. As per a newspaper report published in January 2023, the Prime Minister of India, uh, Sri Narendra Modi, announced to change the names of how many islands of Andaman in, and Nicobar after the Paramvir Chakra awardees. So, total 21 islands are there for which the names will be changed. 21 is the right answer. Which edition of India International Service Festival was organized in Bhopal? Once again, Bhopal. So, it was the 8th edition of India International Science Festival. As per a newspaper report published in January 2023, the average days of employment provided per household under Gadda Khodo Gadda Baro scheme reached a five-year low. That is Madhurega, of course. Five-year low in 22-23. How many days of employment were provided per household under the scheme in financial 23? Very, very important question. So, it is 42 days. 42 days is the right answer. What is the theme of B20, those are taste summit. Business 20, which is one of the engagement group of uh, engagement group under G20. The theme was race. The theme was race. Egyptian President Abde Fateh Al Sisi has been invited as the chief guest of Republic Day. On the occasion of Republic Day, BSF is conducting a seven day long vigilance exercise, which is named as what? It is named as Operation Alert. Operation Alert is the name. Himalayan Cataract Project co-founder Dr. Sandhuk Ruit has won the ISA award for service to humanity, a top civilian award of Bahrain. Dr. Sandhuk Ruit is fondly called as God of Sight 
because he saved 1 lakh 20 thousand people's eyesight who would have otherwise gone blind in the absence of treatment he belongs to nepal so which of the following is the correct terminology for his profession okay so this is quite twisted question raised the one who uh, treats one who take care of eyes is is an ophthalmologist right option a is the right answer Whereas the smart CEO conference conducted by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the smart CEO conference was conducted in Panaji, which is in Goa. Option B is the right answer. Central government will celebrate India Energy Week 2023 in the month of February. It has celebrated actually. During the celebration, a methanol blended diesel powered ship named MD-15. We have read this 15% methanol blended petrol. Se the methanol for this ship will be obtained from Mahabahu Brahmaputra project. The project is being implemented in which of the following states? It is being implemented in Assam because the name Brahmaputra here signifies telling the answer. Assam is the right answer. Which, where has American India Foundation established India's first STEM innovation and learning center? Where has American Indian Foundation established it? So it has been established in Chennai, which is the capital of Tamil Nadu, of course. Recently, Lungai Fire Station has won the Subhash Chandra Bose Abda Pravandan Puraskar for the year 2023. Which state does the fire station belong to? Lungai Fire Station belongs to Mizoram. It is located in Mizoram. Okay. Where is the three-day international summit on crafts being held? Very easy question. International summit on crafts. It was, you know, it took place in Jajpur, not Jaipur. कुछ लोग जयपुर बोल रहे हैं इसको जयपुर नहीं है भाई जजपुर है ठीक है ध्यान रखना बाय व्हिच ईयर डज द हिमाचल प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट एम टू बिकम द फर्स्ट ग्रीन एनर्जी स्टेट हिमाचल प्रदेश विल बिकम द फर्स्ट ग्रीन एनर्जी स्टेट बाय द ईयर 2025 2025 तक हिमाचल प्रदेश विल बी द फर्स्ट ग्रीन एनर्जी स्टेट रिसेंटली यूनियन एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर मिनिस्ट्री अप्रूव्ड so this cluster will be developed in Shopia, of course, which is in Jammu and Kashmir. And total 55 clusters will be developed. Pilot clusters 12. Initially, the number, total number was 53, but then it has been increased to 55. Whereas the largest biennial tri-services amphibious exercise named Amphex 2023 held. Amphex took place in Kaki Nada. Kaki Nada. What is the maximum sum ensured in the LIC Jeevan Azad plan? You are Azad, you are free. So the maximum sum ensured in the assured in the LIC Jeevan Azad plan is rupees 5 lakh. 5 lakh is the right answer. When was LRI uh, liberalized remittance scheme launched by RBI? This was discussed very detailed in RBI 247 by Gandima ma'am. And liberalized remittance scheme was launched in the year 2004. Option B is the right answer. Which of the following statements is are not true about the Monument Mitra scheme? The Monument Mitra scheme was launched in 2017 by Ministry of Culture. See, it was launched in 2017, but by Ministry of Tourism. But also remember that later it was transferred to the Ministry of Culture. Okay, and both these ministries uh, are headed by G. Kishan Reddy. G. Kishan Reddy is the minister. The Monument Mitra scheme allows the adoption of monument sites by people and organizations for the maintenance of ASI sites. This is correct, this is incorrect. The scheme will be revamped to enable private firms to partner for the upkeep and maintenance of 1000 Archaeological Survey of India monuments. So this is also correct. So only one will be the right answer, option D. Option D. Recently, South Africa has signed an agreement with India to introduce dozens of African cheetahs to India over the next decade. The question is not about cheetah, the question is about South Africa. We need to identify the correct option. The South Africa has two capitals, Cape Town and Johannesburg. It has three capitals. It is Cape Town, Cape Town, Pretoria, Cape Town, Pretoria, and uh, Blowing Fentine. Right? South Africa's currency is not low, it is rand. South Africa share land borders with Uganda in the north. No, north was Uganda. Nahi hai. Ye bhi incorrect hai bhai. 
साउथ अफ्रीका इज द ओनली अफ्रीकन कंट्री दैट इज सराउंडेड बाय टू ओशियन दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है जी ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर एंड इट हैज इट हाउसेस टू लैंड लॉक कंट्रीज विद इट्स ज्योग्राफिकल टेरिटरी व्हिच आर नॉट गाम्बिया एंड इक्वेटोरियल गिनी दीस आर इस्वातिनी एंड लेसोथो राइट ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर बहुत बढ़िया Egypt plans to allot land to Indian industries in Suez Canal Special Economic Zone. Name the port of Suez Canal in the Mediterranean Sea. Important question. It is Port Said. Port Said is the right answer. Union Cabinet has approved the Competition Amendment Bill 2022 to amend the Competition Act 2002 to regulate mergers and acquisitions based on the value of transactions. As per the bill. The deals with transaction value of more than how much amount will require Competition Commission of India's approval. So it is two thousand crore. Two thousand crore is the right answer. Option A. National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited has acquired its first trust asset, JP Infratech, from lender at a fifty-five haircut from which of these banks? So it is IDBI Bank. IDBI Bank is the right answer. Recently, India was elected as the vice chair of 12th session of FAO's Intergovernmental Technical Working Group on Animal Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture at Rome. USA is the chair of working group. Which of the following countries have been selected as vice chair of the group along with India? So, the vice chair along with India are Spain, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Tonga, and Brazil. Five, a uh, total six vice chairs, including India. So, option D is the right answer. Only A and D. In January 2023, the Care Organization has launched She Feeds the World program in India to improve the food security, to improve the food security and nutrition of poor rural households with a strong emphasis on women small scale producers. Which of the following organization has partnered with Care Organization with uh, for this program? The organization which has partnered is PepsiCo. PepsiCo. Who is the chairperson of PepsiCo? Indra, no, he must hold the name. Who is the chairperson, uh, CEO? Not chairperson, CEO of PepsiCo. Batao. Can you tell me? Who among the following from FMs, Crack Squad is responsible for carrying out the privatization of two public sector banks. So there is a finance minister's Crack Squad, uh, Crack Squad, where different responsibilities have been assigned to various eminent persons. So, privatization of public sector bank will be done by Mr. Vivek Joshi. Vivek Joshi. Yes, Ramon Laguarta. Very good. So, this is the details of the crack squad. You can read it through the PDF, which you will uh, get in the Telegram channel. Which country has developed the world's first photonic-based quantum computing? Quantum computing, world's first photonic-based. Canada. Is the right answer. Which company has launched Vikram Credit Card for Indian Defence, Paramilitary, and Police personnel? Very very important question. This company in question is B O B Financial Solutions Limited. Bank of Baroda Financial Solutions Limited. Which edition of Interpol's International Police Young Global Police Leaders Program was held in New Delhi? So the edition was third edition. यही हुआ था दिल्ली में प्रगति मैदान में. Which city will be hosting the Space 20 program of G20 in the month of April? The city which will be hosting Space 20 program of G20 in the month of April is Shillong. Meghalaya is the right answer. Recently, the Secretary of Ministry of Electronics and IT, Shri Alkesh Kumar Sharma, has inaugurated one ton per day PCB. Recycling facility at the Center for Materials for Electronic in which of the following cities? So this was uh, inaugurated in Hyderabad. Hyderabad is the right answer. With which company has Samir, which is India's premier R&D Institute of Ministry of uh, Electronics and IT, signed an MOU to contribute towards the development of new, improved, and innovative technologies? For advancing healthcare and diagnostic access in India in Bangalore, which company is this? This company is Simon's Healthineers. 
Simons, Heldenius is the right answer. And what is the full form of Samir? Society for Applied Microwave. Society for Applied Microwave Electronics Engineering and Research. That is the full form of Sami. Recently, Solvay, which is a chemical company, has partnered with UNESCO to launch a STEM education program in Asia, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. This is three year partnership aimed at engaging high schoolers and graduate students from India. Indonesia and South Korea to find solutions to national and regional environmental issues through science. The program will be focused on sustainable living for one planet theme. Which country does the company belong to? The company belongs to Belgium. Belgium. What is the capital of Belgium? Chalo bhai, batao. What is the capital of Belgium? Jaldi se batao likke. Which African country has launched the Afrigo? A domestic card to rival foreign cards like MasterCard and Visa and become a cashless society and save the country's foreign transaction fees. Which African country is this? It is Nigeria. Nigeria is the right answer. And capital of course Nigeria ki Abuja hai, hum sabko pata hai. Which edition of BRICS Summit will be held in 2023? In 2023 it will take place in South Africa and it will be the 15th summit. 15th summit it will be. Yes, the Belgium's capital is Brussels. In January 2023, NPCI and HDFC Life Insurance have partnered to allow the HDFC customers to pay their premiums by using one UPI 123 pay service. How many modes of payment are available in UPI 123 pay service? Kitne modes of payment available? Hai? So there are four modes of payment. Four modes of payment are there. Which company has launched? Samadhan Initiative, which is a one-stop solution center for oil palm farmers. The company's question is Godrej Agrovet. Godrej Agrovet has launched Samadhan Initiative to give a one-stop solution center for oil palm farmers. When is the data privacy day observed? It is observed on January 28th. January the 28th. Mighty Startup Hub, which is an initiative of Mighty and Meta, have announced the list of 120 startups and innovators for XR startup program. So under XR start startup program, a total of 20 shortlisted innovators will receive a grant of how much? So they will be receiving a grant of rupees 50,000, 50,000 rupees is the right answer, option D. Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways is developing a mega international container transshipment port at Galathia Bay of Great Nicobar Island of Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal. How much amount has been allocated for this project, right? So mega international container transshipment port, the amount which has been allocated is 41,000 crores. 41,000. The central government has launched a 20 point program in 1975, very important program. It has been revised twice since its launch in 1982 and 86. The scheme aims to eradicate poverty and improve the lives of rural people using 20 points. The MOSP is tasked, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, is tasked with monitoring how many schemes and initiatives under the 20 point program. So it is 65 schemes. 65 schemes is the right answer. Where in India was the Nobel's Helen found recently? Nobel's Helen, what is it? What is Nobel's Helen? It is found in Arunachal Pradesh. Nobles Helen hai kya ye batao chalo. Arunachal Pradesh is the right answer. Bata sakta hai koi? What is Nobles Helen? Which is India's top B school as per jab tak aage bad jata hu? Yes. Butterfly. Very good. Bahut badhiya. Which is India's top B school as per Indian Institutional Ranking Frameworks Top Management and Business Schools 2023 ranking and it is I am A again. Indian Institute of Management and the Bath. Which state has the highest number of universities in India as per the All India Survey on Higher Education 2020-2021? It is Rajasthan. Rajasthan has the highest number of universities in the country as per AISHE 2020-21. Very important question. All your study reports are important. Hai bhai. AISHE, ASER, all, uh, Annual Survey on Education, 
नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे पीरियोडिक लेवल फोर सर्वे बजट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे और अपना मल्टी डायमेंशनल नीति आयोग का जो पॉवर्टी रिपोर्ट आया था लास्ट ईयर वो ये सारी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट है विच ऑयल कंपनी हैज एक्सपोर्टेड द फर्स्ट एवर कंसाइनमेंट ऑफ अफगास हंड्रेड एल एल स्पेशल एविएशन फ्यूल मेंट फॉर पिस्टन इंजन क्राफ्ट एंड अनमैंड एरियर व्हीकल्स टू पपुआ न्यू गिनी राइट विच ऑयल कंपनी इज इट इट इज आईओ सी एल इंडियन ऑयल कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड वट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ पपुआ न्यू गिनी बेस्ड ऑन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन न्यूज इट इज फोर्ट मोस्ट बाय फोर्ट मोस्ट बाय इज द कैपिटल ऑफ पपुआ न्यू गिनी who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of uh, nmdc limited national mineral development corporation it is nikhat zareen nikhat zareen is a very famous boxer where is boxer hi hai na nikhat zareen bhai galat to nahi bata raha main i think boxer hi hai where is the soliga community found soliga community is found in karnataka soliga community is found in karnataka all right so january is done now Let's move ahead to the month of February. Let's move ahead to the month of February now. But before that, please tell me if you guys have any doubt, any queries, anything like that. एक दो मिनट का एक दो मिनट की बातचीत कर लेते हैं. There is no problem in that also. कोई दिक्कत कोई परेशानी तो बताओ. बताओ भाई कोई दिक्कत कोई परेशानी कोई गम कोई गम सता रहा है तुम्हें तो बताओ भाई ओह लास्ट अटेम्प्ट का गम है भाई जूही को कोई बात नहीं है गम नहीं है इस बार हो जाएगा आपका इस बार आप लिस्ट के उस पार होंगे टेलीग्राम लिंक जो है वो डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा डर का कोई माहौल नहीं है यार कोई तुम जंग लड़ने थोड़ना जा रहे हो देर इज नो माहौल ऑफ डर यू आर नॉट गोइंग फॉर अ जंग यू आर जस्ट गोइंग फॉर एन एग्जामिनेशन अभी डर लगेगा एक साल के बाद ये सब कुछ नॉर्मल हो जाएगा भाई एक साल के बाद दो दिन के बाद ही नहीं यार ब्रेक ब्रेक कुछ नहीं है चलो अब स्टार्ट करते हैं नर्वस होने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है यार ठीक है एग्जाम है दिया कोई दिक्कत थोड़ी है बस आपका वो दिन कल जो संडे वाला दिन है वो अच्छा होना चाहिए ठीक है उस दिन बस अपने नर्व को कंट्रोल करके रखना कोई बात नहीं दस पंद्रह क्वेश्चन गलत हो गए एक सौ पचास में से तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं आपकी कट ऑफ निकल जाएगी तब भी राहुल डोंट वरी चलो भाई लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द मंथ ऑफ फेबर टू थाउजेंड एंड डर सबको लगता है गला सबका सूखता है माउंटेन ड्यू डू द ड्यू फेबर पे आ जाओ जल्दी से चलो वेर एज पी मोदी लॉन्च द जल जन अभियान Where has Prime Minister Modi launched the Jal Jan Abhiyan? So Prime Minister Modi launched it from Sirohi. Sirohi is the launch who had. Ab mock mat dena, boy. Please do not attempt any mock right now. Ab chill karo bas. Jitna karna tha kar liya. Ab just uh, pat your back and just go for the examination on Sunday. Nothing more than that. What is the total budget allocation for the defence sector in the union budget? What is the total budget allocation? It is 5.94 lakh crore. This we have, I have provided it in very detail here. Okay, ji. How much is the seafood exports target of India by the year 2025? How much is the seafood exports target? It is US dollar 14 billion. US dollar 14 billion is the target of seafood exports by 2025. Where is India's first solid waste to hydrogen plant set up? It has been set up in Pune, and of course Pune is in Maharashtra. 
और महाराष्ट्र में बहुत आजकल बढ़िया बढ़िया काम हो रहे हैं ठीक है आप सबको पता ही होगा पॉलिटिकली आई एम सेइंग वे वॉज द ग्लोबल टेक्स समिट ऑर्गेनाइज ग्लोबल टेक्स समिट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन विशाखापट्टनम ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर वेर इज इंडियन आर्मी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ऑपरेशन सद्भावना ऑपरेशन सद्भावना ऑपरेशन सद्भावना वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई इंडियन इंडियन आर्मी इन लद्दाख द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ लद्दाख इज द राइट आंसर वट इज द टारगेट ईयर सेट बाई यूरोपियन यूनियन टू बैन द सेल ऑफ गैस एंड डीजल कार्स द टारगेट ईयर बाई विच यूरोपियन यूनियन कंप्लीटली बैन द सेल ऑफ गैस एंड डीजल कार इज टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी फाइव दो हजार पैंतीस हाउ मेनी सेगमेंट्स आर देर इन द सेकेंड ग्लोबल हैकेथन ऑफ आर बी आई हारबिंगर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हाउ मेनी सेगमेंट्स आर देर सो देर आर टोटल फोर सेगमेंट्स टोटल फोर सेगमेंट्स आर देर वेर इज इंडिया फर्स्ट ग्लोबल सपोर्ट सेंटर ऑफ बोइंग लोकेटेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इंडिया फर्स्ट ग्लोबल सपोर्ट सेंटर ऑफ बोइंग is located in gurugram gurugram is in haryana where the headquarters of isa international solar alliance is located when is international childhood cancer day 2023 kab hota hai bhai so it is it was on uh, february the 15th february the 15th where was the 23rd edition of india international seafood show held India International Seafood Show, the twenty-third edition, it took place in Kolkata. Kolkata is the right answer. Which municipal corporation has launched the green bonds for setting up solar power plants? Which municipal corporation is it? So the green bonds has been launched by Indore Municipal Corporation, and Indore is always at rank number one in such selection. Which of the following statements is are correct with respect to the Kavach 2023, which is a national level hackathon? The hackathon has been launched by AICTE Ministry of Education and BPRD. This is absolutely correct. Which means the second statement is incorrect, right? Because UGC का कोई काम नहीं था इसमें. The hackathon has been launched to innovate on cyber security and cyber crime challenges. This is correct. So correct बताना है. One and three will be the right answer. Option C. One and three only. Which IIT hosts the International Center of Excellence on Dam Safety? Which IIT hosts the International Center of Excellence on Dam Safety? This IIT is IIT Roorkee, and Roorkee, of course, in uh, uh, Uttarakhand. Hari Dwar se thoda sa pehle. Union Cabinet has approved the signing of an MOU between India and which country for cooperation in the field of agriculture and allied sector? Under this MOU, a Dash India Agriculture Working Group is to be established. The country in question is Chile. Chile is the right answer. Chile, hello, Chile, hello, child, hello, whoever you hello. What is India's rank in the Services Trade Restrictiveness Index? India's rank in uh, Services Trade Restrictiveness Index is forty seventh. Forty seventh is the right answer. What is the net worth requirement for the payment aggregators to receive license? The net worth requirement for payment aggregators to receive license is rupees twenty five crores. Twenty five crore rupee ki net worth requirement uski honi chahiye. Kam se kam usse kam me kam nahi chalega. Which payment bank has gone live with UPI Light, a feature enabled by the National Payment Corporation of India for multiple small value UPI transactions? Which payment bank is this? It is Paytm Payment Bank. Paytm Payment Bank is the right answer, guys. Which bank has launched the facility? अच्छा तुम में से कितने उन्हें Paytm के शेयर खरीदे थे जब वो IPO में गया था? जल्दी बताओ मैं तुम्हारे जख्मों को कुरेद रहूँ. Which bank has launched the facility of issuance of electronic bank guarantee in association with the National E-Governance Service Limited? Which bank is it? It is visible. Indian Overseas Bank. Indian Overseas Bank is the right answer. Union Minister of Culture, Tourism and uh, Department of North Eastern Region, Mr. G. Kishan Reddy, presented the Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar for the three years at Make Doot Theatre Complex in New Delhi. A total of one zero two artists have been given the awards. Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar given to artists up to the age of forty years. <coughs> इतने बुरे दिन नहीं थे 
यस चलो अच्छा है कि पेटीएम का नहीं खरीदा तो व्हाट इज द प्राइस मनी ऑफ दिस अवार्ड दैट इज द क्वेश्चन द प्राइस मनी इज 25000 एंड इट इज गिवन टू द पीपल पीपल अप टू द एज ऑफ 40 इयर्स इन फाइव फील्ड्स पांच फील्ड्स में ये दिया जाता है हाउ मेनी फील्ड्स हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड बाय इंडिया व्हिच विल बी कंसीडर्ड फॉर ट्रेडिंग ऑफ कार्बन क्रेडिट्स इन द इंटरनेशनल कार्बन मार्केट अंडर द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द पेरिस एग्रीमेंट ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज हाउ मेनी फील्ड्स हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड 13 फील्ड्स हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड 13 What is the bilateral trade between India and UAE during April to November 2022? Very very important question. The bilateral trade between India and UAE between April to November 2022, and this is due to CEPA signing of CEPA between the two countries. It is 57.8 billion dollars. B नहीं है यार. A है answer. 22 का answer A है guys. It's not B. Where was the fourth phase of Sagar Parikrama launched? So, ये तो भाई Sagar Parikrama के सातों के सात phase हमने अभी PIB marathon में पढ़े। The fourth phase was in Karnataka, which is the right answer. What is India's share in the global fish production in financial year 21-22 as per a PIB release? In financial year 21-22, India's share in the global fish production was 8%, 8%. Where is North India's first nuclear plant being set up? Very very important question. It is being set up in Fatehabad. It is being set up in Fatehabad. Fatehabad is the right answer. Where is Fatehabad? ये देखो ये state का एक map बना हुआ है. कौन से state का map है? बताओ भाई. है कोई इस state का यहाँ पे? Which state has announced to introduce AI traffic signals in its state budget for 23-24? Which state has is this? It is Karnataka. Karnataka is the right answer. Which country has recently lifted its temporary ban on the import of frozen seafood from India? Very important question. ये हमने कल भी पढ़ा था. It is Qatar. Qatar has lifted its temporary ban on the import of frozen seafood from India. Yes, Fatiha Bad is in Haryana. Well done. What is India's rank? In the Global Labour Resilience Index 2023, India's rank in in uh, Global Labour Resilience Index is 65th. 65th is the rank. Which country is developing its any OM project at a cost of 500 billion dollar? Which country is developing any OM project? It is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has uh, is developing an EOM project. Which bank has launched Amrit Kalash, which is a new retail term deposit scheme with a specific duration and benefits like a higher interest rate? Which bank has launched it? Amrit Kalash has been launched by State Bank of India. CEO is Mr. Dinesh Kumar Khair. Delhi Metro launched India's first ever indigenously developed train control and supervision system, the IATS, for operations on its first corridor. On which line is the system operated? The line on which the system is operated is red line, which is which was the very first line. And the very first metro station of Delhi metro was the welcome metro station, red line. I am I I stay in Delhi, that's why I know this, right? And this is not important for the exam. India's first hybrid sounding rocket has been developed under APJ Abdul Kalam satellite launching vehicle mission 2023, which company has collaborated with? This foundation to launch the vehicle mission 2023. The there are two foundations actually. These are Martin Foundation and Space Zone India. So both A and B will be the right answer. Who is the chair of panel on Mission Karma Yogi? It is Rajiv Gaba, the Cabinet Secretary of India. The chair. Who is the, the chairperson of the panel on Mission Karma Yogi? Is Mr. Rajiv Gaba, Cabinet Secretary. Frederick Andre, Henrik Christian, and Mary Elizabeth are the Crown Prince and Princess of which of the following countries? So Christian and Elizabeth are the Crown Prince and Princess respectively of Denmark. Denmark is the right answer, right? Tell me the capital of Denmark. Where was the Asia Economic Dialogue organized? 
एशिया इकोनॉमिक डायलॉग वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन पुणे महाराष्ट्र इज द राइट आंसर विद विच कंट्री इज इंडिया प्लानिंग टू क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल ट्रेड कॉरिडोर टू फेसिलिटेट क्विकर क्लियरेंस ऑफ शिपमेंट विद विच कंट्री इंडिया इज प्लानिंग टू क्रिएट दिस कॉरिडोर सो इट इज यू ए अगेन इस बार है ना सीईपीए से क्वेश्चन आने के चांसेस बहुत ज्यादा इंडिया यू ए का जो सीईपी है ना उससे क्वेश्चन आने के चांसेस वेरी हाई ठीक है इन विच इंडियन स्टेट विल मास्टर कार्ड एंड एक्सेस डेवलपमेंट सर्विसेज लॉन्च द मेन स्ट्रीमिंग एग्रीकल्चर through networks and development which is mandi project so this indian state is assam assam is the right answer capital is dispur yes denmark's capital is copenhagen very good which ut has launched sensor based smart agriculture project for integration of agriculture with technology driven by ai and iot for automation of practices enhanced resource use efficiency and profitability which ut is this it is jammu and kashmir again and that is why option a is the right answer which edition of international khajuraho dance festival 2023 was held in khajuraho madhya pradesh khajuraho is in madhya pradesh of course and uh, the edition of uh, international khajuraho dance festival was 49 49th is the right answer who heads the textile advisory group it is mr who is this person suresh kotak option a is the right answer recently minister of education dharmendra pradhan has launched jadoo pitara for learning at the foundational stage under the uh, new education policy jadoo pitara comprises of play books toys puzzles posters flash cards story books worksheets वगैरह वगैरह in how many language in how many languages is the jadoo pitara available it is available in 13 languages india has joined agriculture innovation mission for climate a4c to accelerate investment and support for climate smart agriculture and food systems innovation india joined a4c on the margins of i2u2 that is israel india usa and uae business forum in abu dhabi which of the following countries is among the founding members of the initiative this is uae UAE is the founding member. ठीक है जी UAE. Where is the Pangong Tiso Lake located? इससे आसान क्वेश्चन इस दुनिया में हो ही नहीं सकता This is the world's easiest question. Which state has launched robotics robotics scavenger named Bandicoot to clean sewage? Bandicoot has been launched by Kerala. Bandicoot has been launched by Kerala. For the first time, an Indian submarine docked in Indonesia to strengthen bilateral relations as part of diplomatic military outreach to ASEAN countries. What is the name of the submarine? Can you identify this submarine? Yes, it is INS Sindhu Kesari. INS Sindhu Kesari is the right answer. With which country does India conduct the exercise Desert Flag Eight? Desert Flag we do with UAE. UAE. Exercise Cobra Warrior is a Air Force exercise. It is an Air Force exercise and it is conducted by United Kingdom. Option B, Air Force is the right answer. Which country has curtailed its beef exports due to the mad cow disease? Mad cow disease के वजह से कौन सी country ने beef exports को curtail कर दिया है? That is Brazil, which is the right answer. Which country has signed an agreement with the ISA to increase the use of solar energy in the country? Which country is this? Uh, can you tell me the country? It is Bangladesh. Yes, it is Bangladesh, which is the right answer. What is India's rank in the International Intellectual Property Index 2023 of the United States Chamber of Commerce Global Innovation Policy Center (IIPI)? International Intellectual Property Index. India's rank is forty second. Forty second is India's rank. Which of the following statements is are true about the Atma Nirbhar Clean Plant Program? Very important question. Central government is planning to set up twenty clean plant centers. No, it is ten. The clean plant centers will reduce the time period for quarantine for horticultural crops to eight months. No. 
टू सिक्स मंथ्स ये दोनों इनकरेक्ट हो गए एन एच बी विल विदल नोडल एजेंसी यस एंड द क्लीन प्लांट सेंटर्स विल प्रोवाइड सर्विसेज ऑफ डिजीज डायग्नोस्टिक थेरापूटिक्स मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड जनरेशन ऑफ मदर प्लांट्स ये भी ठीक है तो ट्रू बताना है थ्री एंड फोर विल बी द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन बी थ्री एंड फोर As per a newspaper article of February 2023, ASI has discovered upon a 1300-year-old stupa right in the middle of a mining state in Odisha's which district? So it was uh, discovered uh, in Odisha's Jajpur district. Jajpur district. Which of the following is the correct projection of unemployment rate by the PLFS? So in 2017, ये incorrect है. Think, yeah, this is the right answer option E. 2021, 2020, 4.1%. एक बार चेक कर लेते हैं यार ये वाली चीज ना बिकॉज टेबल में देख लेते हैं yes, 2021 हजार इक्कीस बाईस मिनट वॉज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री यस नो नॉट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इट्स फोर पॉइंट वन कुछ गड़बड़ है भाई यहाँ पे नहीं ठीक है फोर पॉइंट वन करेक्ट पूछा है ना यस करेक्ट पूछा है तो यस ऑप्शन ई इज द राइट आंसर इन पी एल एफ एस ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू द एल एफ पी आर ऑफ अर्बन एरियाज वॉज फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन एंड रूरल एरियाज वॉज फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रीजन अप्रोप्रिएटली जस्टिफाइज दिस गैप वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली अनविलिंगनेस ऑफ वर्क फोर्स टू वर्क अन अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वर्दी जॉब्स फॉर एजुकेटेड अर्बन पॉपुलेशन provision of guaranteed working days through mandrega low female participation in urban employment so this can be the gap or not batao how high availability of working population in rural areas what can be the appropriate reason bata sakte ho are bahut hi badhiya bahut sahi it is the low female participation in urban employment What is the female workforce participation rate during 21-22? As per the latest PLFS, it was 31.7 percent. 31.7. With which country has India officially launched the Young Professional Scheme? India launched the Young Professional Scheme uh, with United Kingdom. UK is the right answer. Georgia Meloni. Will be the chief guest and keynote speaker at the eighth Rising Dialogue 2023 to be held in Taj Place, Taj Palace Hotel, uh, from March two to three. She is the Prime Minister of which country? Georgia Meloni is the Prime Minister of Italy. Option A, Italy is the right answer. Which state has launched India's first AI chatbot, Ama Crush AI? Right, AMA Crush AI for the agriculture sector. Crush here is Crush actually. Krish AI, a uh, A M A Krish AI for the agriculture sector. It is Odisha. It is Odisha. Chief Minister is Patnaik Sir. Which of the following statements is are incorrect about trends in maternal mortality? Twenty one, two thousand to two thousand twenty report of the UN. ठीक है incorrect बताना है. As per the report, an estimated two lakh eighty seven thousand women globally died from a maternal cause in twenty twenty. सही बात है. The global MMR in 2020 was estimated at 223 maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births. ये भी ठीक है. Average annual rate of reduction in global MMR from this to this period was 2.1 percent. ये भी ठीक है. The rate of reduction of global MMR was 34.3 percent over the 20 over the full 20 year period. ये भी. I think none is correct will be the right answer. None is incorrect will be the right answer. None is incorrect. New Delhi-based ICR IER Process Center for Internet and the Digital Economy has released the State of India's Digital Economy Report. The report focuses on the indicators which are specific to the Indian society. The report traces the digital transformation through its chip framework. What does H stand for uh, in this framework? Chip me H apko batana hai. What does First of all, what does chip stand for? Chip ki full form batao. It is connect. Chip stands for connect, harness, innovate, and protect. 
कनेक्ट हार्नेस इनोवेट एंड प्रोटेक्ट एंड दैट्स वाई द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ठीक है जी ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर आंसर बताते जा रहे हो ना भाई हाँ ठीक है आंसर बताते जाओ शाबाश इसरो हैज कंडक्टेड द रिकवरी ट्रायल्स फॉर द गगनयान मिशन इन अ प्राइवेट पूल इन कोलैबोरेशन विद इंडियन नेवी द ट्रायल्स वर कंडक्टेड द ट्रायल्स वर कंडक्टेड एट द वाटर सर्वाइवल टेस्ट फैसिलिटी कोची गगनयान इज इंडिया फर्स्ट ह्यूमन स्पेस मिशन एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी लॉन्च इन टू द इंडियन एस्ट्रोनॉट्स आर रिसीविंग ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम विच एजेंसी फॉर द गगनयान मिशन इट इज रॉस्कॉस्मोस रशियन स्पेस एजेंसी रशियन स्पेस एजेंसी है भाई Which company has launched India's first traffic management system for drones to allow drone operators to choose their routes? This company in question is Sky Air. Sky Air. Why right, option B? Or stop for a second. Okay. So, recently, ISRO has successfully launched the small satellite launch vehicle from Shri Hari Kota, Andhra Pradesh, with EOS zero seven. Azadi Sat 2 and Janus 1 satellites on board. Which company mentored 750 girls students to prepare the Azadi Sat 2 satellites? Very important question. It is Space Kids India. Space Kids India. Where will Ministry of Minister for Communication, Electronics and IT and Railways Sri Ashwini Vaishnav inaugurate the National Philatelic Philatelic Exhibition Amrit Pex? 2023 it is new delhi new delhi is the right answer with which regional organization has india set up a new trade and technology council to focus on green technologies connectivity and resilient supply chain with which regional organization india has set up this council it is european union recently the third asean digital ministers meeting with india was conducted virtually on the theme of synergy towards the sustainable digital future the meeting was chaired by india and dash india asean digital actually chaired by uh, philippines india and philippines philippines double p aata hai single l aur double p aata hai india asean digital work plan 2023 was also adopted at the meeting this year the asean summit will be hosted by indonesia which will be the chair of ADMM plus as well, ठीक है ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर एज पर न्यूज पेपर आर्टिकल पब्लिश इन फेबर दो हजार तेईस द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ जी एस टी इंटेलिजेंस एंड द नेशनल फॉरेंसिक साइंसिस यूनिवर्सिटी एज साइंड एन एमओ यू फॉर सेटिंग अप डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक लैब अलॉन्ग विद एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड नॉलेज टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट एंड स्किल डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स टू नैब टैक्स ऑफेंडर्स तो जितने भी टैक्स ऑफेंडर्स हैं तुम में से तैयार हो जाओ बेटा टैक्स ऑफेंड मत क्या करो सरकार जो भी टैक्स मांगती है दे दो यार कोई बात नहीं लेकिन हाँ आई ऑल्सो एग्री कि टैक्स बहुत ज्यादा है भाई बहुत ज्यादा टैक्स है हमारे देश में आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट डी डी जी आई इज द एपेक्स इंटेलिजेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अंडर एजिस ऑफ जी एस टी एन नो इट इज अंडर सी बी आई सी सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ इंडायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड कस्टम एल एफ एस यू इज एन institution of international of national importance established to promote studies and research in forensic sciences and related fields ye to theek baat hai lofi music say conjunctivitis ho gaya hai koi baat nahi yaar conjunctivitis choti moti cheez hai theek hai na dard dard agar ho raha hai dard ki dawai khao aur paper de ke aao thoda sa phone ko kab istemal karo uh, कंप्यूटर और लैपटॉप के सामने कम बैठो थोड़ा सा ये मैराथन है थोड़ा सा ब्रेक लगा लगा के आप देख सकते हो कंटिन्यूसली मत बैठो ठीक है एन एफ एस यू इज द फर्स्ट एंड ओनली इंस्टीट्यूट इन द फील्ड ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंसेज विच इज लोकेटेड नॉट इन लखनऊ ये लखनऊ में नहीं है भाई ये दिल्ली में तो दिस इज इन करेक्ट करेक्ट बता रहे तो ओनली टू विल बी द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी Which of the following payment service providers have recently allowed the linking of credit cards with UPI? This payment service provider is Paytm. Paytm is the right answer. What is the theme of what was actually the theme of World Pulses Day? 
it was pulses for a sustainable future pulses for a for sustainable future who has the who has won the hyderabad e pre e pro 2023 batao bhai who is this handsome he is john eric one john eric one is the right answer from which country is india planning to bring 12 cheetahs in india <coughs> very easy question south africa is the right answer और इससे पहले कहां से आए थे नाइजीरिया से आए थे वे स्टेट हैज लॉन्च द वेटलैंड एक्स टी टू कंजर्वेशन एस्टेब्लिशमेंट प्लान इन कोलैबोरेशन विद फ्रांस विच स्टेट इज इट इट इज राजस्थान विच एडिशन ऑफ इंडियन राइस कांग्रेस वॉज कंडक्टेड एट नेशनल राइस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट एट कटक उड़ीसा विच एडिशन वॉज दिस दिस वॉज द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ इंडियन राइस कांग्रेस विच वॉज कंडक्टेड एट नेशनल राइस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट एट कटक India has signed an agreement with which of the following countries to export the ALH Mark III helicopters to the country. The agreement was signed in January 2022. It is Mauritius. Mauritius is the right answer. Which country hosts the World Government Summit on an annual basis? This country in question is UAE, which hosts the World Government Summit on an annual basis. UAE is the right answer. As per the revised estimates, the direct Shun of tax collection in 2022-23 released by CBDT. The direct tax collection has been increased by how much percent in 22-23? It has been increased by 24 percent. 24 percent is the right answer. Who is the governor of Ladakh? It is the B D Mishra. B D Mishra is the new new nayi. Up to February, my point was the governor of Ladakh. When is the safer internet day observed the safer internet day is observed on february the 7th option d is the right answer what is the theme of rbi's financial literacy week 2023 very important it is good financial behavior your savior good financial behavior your savior is the right answer which country has been hit by cyclone gabriel bahut important hai bahut news mein raha tha it was new zealand which was hit by the cyclone gabriel with which company has mighty collaborated to launch the g20 stay safe online campaign to increase awareness on online safety which which company is this the company in question is once again meta meta is the right answer which is the first wto member to ratify the agreement on fisheries subsidies which is the first wto member it is switzerland switzerland is the first wto member now can you tell me the capital of switzerland aur geneva mat bol dena main bata diya pehle hi jo geneva bolega us pe 10 rupaye fine lagega which bank has recently received approval from the department of financial services under the ministry of finance to have four executive directors instead of three which bank is this it is indian bank Indian Bank has recently this uh, has recently received this approval. Bern, बहुत अड़िया. Bern is the capital of Switzerland. कुछ बहुत सारे लोगों को लगता है जिनेवा है. Which company owns the Biz Khata business platform? Which company is it? This company is Airtel Payments Bank. Which life insurance company has launched the Sustainable Equity Fund? Which life insurance company has launched it? It is Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance. Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance is the company. Which international organization has formally agreed to join the India Hydrogen Alliance and increase support for green hydrogen projects across India with indicative funding of one billion euros? Which international organization is this? This is very easy. It is EIB, European Investment Bank, is the right answer. Which company has launched its helicopter services on six routes in the state of Assam under RCS Odan? This company, very easy question actually. Pawan Hans Limited is the right answer. Pawan Hans Limited.
which state or ut has launched the alternate agriculture system for sustainability project to promote organic farming which state or ut is this it is jammu and kashmir adb has approved a us dollar 130 million loan to increase agricultural productivity and promote horticulture agri businesses to raise farmers income in which state it is himachal pradesh himachal pradesh will be provided with a loan of 130 million dollar from asian development bank which company has rebranded itself as zuno general insurance limited it is edelweiss general insurance edelweiss general insurance is now zuno general insurance limited what rank has been given to india by international civil aviation organizations universal safety oversight audit program programs report what rank has been given it to it it is 55th the rank is 55th choose the correct number of pairs from the options given below see a very important question bahut important hai ye up to which num question number month of april may june will be covered अप्रैल मंथ जू अप्रैल में जब भी कोई मंथ स्टार्ट हो रहा है तो उसके आगे लिखा हुआ आ रहा है डोंट वरी सेज पोर्टल इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट सेक्रेट पोर्टल इज आल्सो द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट जी डैम पोर्टल इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर रीजन पोर्टल इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस एंड खनन प्रहारी इज ऑफकोर्स द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कोल करेक्ट बता दें हाँ करेक्ट ओनली टू पेयर आर करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर ओनली फाइव नहीं है भाई टू नंबर ऑफ पेयर गड़बड़ कर रहे हो यार आप लोग ऐसे मत करो सी एजी इज होस्टिंग द डैश एस सी ओ सुप्रीम ऑडिट एसोसिएशन लीडर्स मीटिंग इन डैश सो दिस विल बी दिक्कत एडिशन एंड इट विल टेक प्लेस इन लखनऊ इट वॉज द सिक्स एडिशन एक्चुअली एंड इट टुक प्लेस इन लखनऊ आउट ऑफ दट एस सी ओ साई मेंबर कंट्रीज द हेड्स ऑफ साई साइज फ्रॉम फोर कंट्रीज कजाकिस्तान तजिकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान एंड उजबेकिस्तान अलॉन्ग साइड द सी एजी ऑफ इंडिया आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू टेक पार्ट इन द थ्री डे मल्टी लैटरल इवेंट द इवेंट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज ऑन द थीम ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इन ऑडिट ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट इंडिया साइंड टू एम यूज विद द साइज ऑफ कजाकिस्तान एंड तजिकिस्तान टू स्ट्रेंदन कोऑपरेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ ऑडिटिंग तो सिक्स्थ लखनऊ कजाकिस्तान एंड तजिकिस्तान इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन डी यस देर आर नाउ नाइन एस सी कंट्री यू आर राइट ईरान हैज बीन एडेड इंडिया इज प्लानिंग टू लॉन्च ग्लोबल इनिशिएटिव कॉल्ड मायरा और मिलेट इंटरनेशनल इनिशिएटिव फॉर रिसर्च एंड अवेयरनेस फॉर ग्लोबल कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ मिलेट रिसर्च प्रोग्राम इंडिया विल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट द इनिशियल मनी फॉर मायरा इनिशिएटिव वाइल ईच जी ट्वेंटी मेंबर विल लेट अप have to contribute to its budget in the form of a membership fee very important question the indian institute of millet research in dash will be supported as the center of excellence so the question is where is indian institute of millet research located it is located in hyderabad dash has launched india's first marine special planning framework to balance growth alongside sustainable management of ocean resources and coastal environment preservation The framework is a part of a pact under Indo uh, Puducherry. Uh, Puducherry, can you say? Under Indo Norway. Under Indo Norway Integrated Ocean Initiative. So Puducherry will come here. Puducherry has launched India's first marine spatial planning framework. Option C is the right answer. Very big, Savas. Very good, sir. You guys are very big. How much is the total pulse production estimate for financial year 23? How much is the total pulse production? It is 278.10 lakh tons. The Dash World Hindi Conference, 12th Mandal World Hindi Conference, is being organized from February 15 to 17 by Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, in association with Government of Fiji. Fiji's capital is Suva, and that's why option E is the right answer. Which company launched the Coal End, India's first fully automated escrow management solution for coal ending? 
Co-lend has been launched by cash-free payments. Cash-free payments is the name of the company. Which bank has launched a pilot known as Offline Pay to test offline digital payments for customers and merchants, enabling payments transactions even when there is no mobile network? This bank is again one of the DSIB. It is HDFC Bank, which is the right answer. Who has been selected as the president of ICAI? It is uh, Aniket Sunil Talati. Aniket Talati is the president of ICAI. हाँ जी तो फरवरी महीने के भी सौ क्वेश्चन कंप्लीटेड है ठीक है जी हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ फेब्ररी ऑल्सो कंप्लीटेड अब जल्दी से फेब्ररी का महीना खत्म करते हैं देन वी विल स्टार्ट विद द मंथ ऑफ मार्च चलो भाई इन अक्टूबर दो हजार बाईस द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर एज लॉन्च हर घर ध्यान कैंपेन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद दर्ट ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन to spread awareness about to spread one second awareness about mental health the ministry roped in the ugc and the school board cbse to participate in the campaign the mental health is an uh, emerging pandemic which needs to be dealt with at most sincerity according to the national mental health survey of 2015 16 there are how many indians suffering from mental illness So it is 150 million. 150 million Indians are suffering from mental illness. UK will be the partner country for Telangana's flagship pharma biotech event named Bio Asia, right? shaping the next generation. Advancing for one is the theme of the event. What does N stand for in the full form of one? One uh, may enjoy that is next generation. So what is O and E? O guys is uh, Oh me, I am forgetting the full form of one now. Let me try to recall it. आप में से कोई है जो बता सकता है? Because I am forgetting it. N से तो next generation है, because ये कि मैंने कल पढ़ाई है आप लोगों को पढ़ाने के लिए. O से I am forgetting it. Anyone? One stands for uh, yeah. One health, next generation, and equity. So that is the full form of one, and that's why next generation is the right answer. India conducts the beating retreat twenty twenty three ceremony on January twenty nine to end its Republic Day celebrations on Rajasthan Hills. Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force participate in the celebrations. Which country does the ceremony is taken from? This cult, uh, the ceremony uh, has been taken from UK. Option E is the right answer. Yes, it's one health, next generation, and equity. You are right. Which state has been ranked as the top buyer of MSME goods? Uh, which is worth nine six four two crores through government e market in two thousand and twenty two. It is Uttar Pradesh, which is the right answer. Justice G Rohini led commission for the sub categorization of OBC has now been given fourteenth extension in its tenure by the president. Or is it always extension? Will it? So, B B recommendation is that money is not going to be given. Under which article was the commission created? It was created under Article three forty of the Constitution of India. Which state has launched largely behana scheme to provide thousand per month to women from financially poor background in the state? Largely behana scheme uh, belongs to Madhya Pradesh. It belongs to Madhya Pradesh. Which state declared 2022-23 as the year of enterprises? It is Kerala, which has declared 2022-23 as the year of enterprises. Recently, IMF has provided 4.7 billion dollar loan to Bangladesh government to tackle the macroeconomic issues. Out of it, 3.3 billion dollar is given under the extended credit facility of IMF, 1.4 billion dollar facility of IMF. 1.4 billion dollar is given under resilience and sustainability facility for climate investments for the first time since the since its inception. 
when was the resilience and sustainability facility for climate investments created it was created last year only 2022 is the right answer how much is the projected inflation rate of india in 2024 by imf world economic outlook it is 4% 4% is the right answer january 29 was observed as world leprosy day on the theme of act now uh, end leprosy in 2023 when is the national anti leprosy day observed january the 30th january the 30th the death anniversary of the great mahatma gandhi which company has created india's first ever first of its kind drone with parachute integrated system the company in question is eminent air eminent air is the right answer new india assurance has launched its pay as you drive policy with features like discounts on renewal a coverage beyond distance limits and enhanced protections such as nil depreciation roadside help return to invoice etc the new india assurance is a public sector insurance company who is the cmd of new india assurance who is the cmd neerja kapoor is the cmd according to rbi's data there were 14.1 lakh 19 lakh micro atms across the country as of december 2022 which of the following banks own the highest number of micro atms the bank in question is india uh, not india post payment bank it is fino payment bank fino payment bank is the right answer on december the 1st 2022 rbi had launched the first pilot of e rupee retail segment in eight banks which of the following banks has not been chosen is the in the first phase the uh, bank which has not been chosen is canara bank who has been appointed as the india country head of morgan stanley morgan stanley india country head is now mr arun kohli and he is the gentleman arun kohli who won the lifetime achievement award at india uk achievers honors the lifetime achievement award at india uk achiever honors manmohan singh is the right answer dr manmohan singh which brand has appointed harman preet kaur who is the captain of indian women's cricket team as its brand ambassador so it is puma which has appointed harman preet kaur as its brand ambassador puma is the right answer who chairs the advisory committee or three infrastructure finance limited three infrastructure finance limited the advisory committee chairperson is mr v ramachandra and rbi has appointed it right that's why it is important what is the value of digital payment index september 2022 it is 377.46 very very important question Sagar Samrat is an offshore drilling rig facility located in Arabian Sea. Recently, it has been converted as a mobile offshore production unit, which will handle up to 20,000 barrels per day of crude oil, and is expected to add 6,000 BPD to India's production. Which company does the facility belong to? This belongs to ONGC. ONGC. Where was the Gandhi Sagar floating festival, which is Asia's first? floating festival organized it was organized in mansour mansour is the place where gandhi sagar floating festival was organized where did pvr cinemas launch india's first multiplex in an airport complex it was launched in chennai chennai is the right answer which state or uts commission for protection of child right launched bal mitra it has been launched by delhi commission for protection of child rights and the correct answer therefore is delhi general atomics a major american energy and defense corporation has started three significant projects in the country to uh, in the field of ai drones and semiconductors which company has collaborated with general atomics for next generation of technologies in ai which company is this it is 114 ai 114 ai is the right answer which has become the first merchant to accept rbi's blockchain based p2 
CBDC in store, which has become the first merchant. It is Reliance Retail. Reliance Retail is the right answer. Recently, Manuela Roca Bote has been appointed as the first female Prime Minister of Equatorial Guinea. What is the capital of Equatorial Guinea? Very easy, it's Malabo. Malabo is the capital and that's, uh, it, that is the right answer. What is the theme of World Wetlands Day 2023? The theme of World Wetlands Day 2023 was revive and restore degraded wetlands. Revive and restore degraded wetlands is the right answer. The revolutionaries, the other story of how India won its freedom book has won the Kalinga Literary Festival Non-Fiction Book Award 2022. Who has written this book? This book has been written by very famous Mr. Sanjeev Sanyal. Who is the author of the book? The Last Heroes. It has been written by P. Sainath. P. Sainath is the right answer. In which states will uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank implement the first phase of RBI's digital rupee? So it will be implemented. <clears throat> it will be implemented in all of these Mumbai, Ahmedabad, and Delhi, and that's why option E is the right answer. Center for Cellular and Molecular Platform CCAM has launched National Diagnostic Catapult. When was the platform launched for the first time? It was launched in the month of July in the year 2020. What happened, brother? You're tired, right? You're not tired now. February is complete, so we'll take a 10 minute break, right? Don't worry. Recently, the Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has partnered with the Development Innovation Lab to explore the opportunities to harness innovation to improve food security, address climate change, and allow farmers to increase their incomes. The Development Innovation Lab was founded by Nobel laureate Dr. Michael Kramer, University Professor in Economics at which of the following university? Very difficult question actually. University of Chicago. Option E is the right answer. Recently, Union Home Minister Amit Shah will lay the foundation stone for India's fifth nano urea plant. <clears throat> Where will this plant be set up? It will be set up in Deogar. Deogar is in Jharkhand. Jharkhand. Which of the following companies has launched Vihangam, which is a web based portal along with a drone and ground control system for introducing drone technology in coal mines? Which of the Following companies is it? It is Mahanadi Coalfields Limited. Mahanadi Coalfields Limited is the right answer. Which state has launched a helicopter service for high net worth individuals and luxury tourists? Which of the following? Ek minute, which state has launched a helicopter service for high net worth individuals and luxury tourists? It is Goa. Goa is the right answer. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and Engineer India Limited have signed an MOU to develop waste to energy and biomethanation project uh, in cities with a population of million plus. The initiative will result in an additional processing capacity of 15,000 TPD for biomethanation and 10,000 TPD for waste to energy respectively. Option B is the right answer, 15 and 10,000. The eighth meeting of US-India Civil Space Joint Working Group meeting was held in US to discuss collaboration in Earth and Space Science as well as Global Navigation Satellite Systems, uh, space, flight, space Flight Safety and Space Situational Awareness and Policies for Commercial Space Activities. When was the group created to expand cooperation in civilian space program? It was created way back in the year 2005 is the right answer. Which company has received RBI's approval to increase its stake to 26% in Indus Hind Bank? Very important question. The company in question is Hinduja Group. Hinduja Group is the right answer. Central PSU Railtel Corporation of India has received a work order from SDI for providing 4G LTE connectivity to 15,000 offside ATMs 
spread across the country. Who is the CMD of Railtel? CMD of Railtel is Mr. Sanjay Kumar. Sanjay Kumar is the right answer. Who is the author of Fantastic Beast? The Secrets of Dumbledore book. Of course, it must be J.K. Rowling. What is the theme of uh, strategic table top exercise of G20? The theme of strategic table top exercise uh, was synergy to counter global cyber crisis. Synergy to counter global cyber crisis is the right answer. Government has approved phase 2 of fame scheme with an outlay of 10,000 crore for a period of 3 years commencing from 1st April 2019. The correct uh, out of total budgetary support about 86% of fund has been uh, allocated for demand incentives so as to create demand for electric vehicles in the country. According to the Ministry of Heavy Industries uh, and Public Enterprises, up to sirf heavy industries reh gaya hai because the Public Enterprises Department has been transferred to Ministry of Finance. The top five states in India collectively account for over 56% of uh, the 0.85 million EVs brought bought through the scheme. Choose the correct order of states in the increasing order of their sales. The increasing order of the sale is Rajasthan, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Okay, so option D is the right answer. Okay, option D is the correct answer. Question number 143. A total of 7980 crore has been committed to 99 AIF under the fund of fund scheme for startups as on December 31st, 2022. The fund of funds for startup scheme was approved and established in the year 2016 with a corpus of 10,000 crore with contributions spread over 14th and 15th finance commission cycle based on the progress of implementation to provide capital to the Indian startup. Dash has been given the responsibility of choosing the IF, AIF, it is SIDB. So, option C is the right answer. Which state has announced to establish green hydrogen hubs at a cost of 200 crores? The state in question is Kerala, which will be establishing green hydrogen hubs at a cost of 200 crores. Bihar State Tourism Development Corporation has built MV Ganga Bihar, which is a floating restaurant at the NIT Ghat on the Ganges. Where was the India's first floating restaurant established? So, India's first floating restaurant was established in Sarhind. <coughs> Sarhind is the right answer. Yaya Sto, known as Birds Paradise for its beautiful lake located at an altitude of 4820 meters, has been proposed as Ladakh's first <coughs> bioheritage site under Biodiversity Act of 2002. The resolution was signed after multiple rounds of consultations between the village stakeholders and secure Himalaya project to declare the high altitude lake and its catchment as a biodiversity heritage site. Under which section of Biodiversity Act does the state government in consultation with local bodies notify the areas of biodiversity importance as biodiversity heritage site? It is section 37. It's a long question, but it's section question. Which state's police is operating the operation ARG to arrest fugitives? The state police is Kerala police. Former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton announced a global climate resilient fund for women to fight climate change. The fund will empower women and communities to fight climate change and help provide new livelihood resources and education. The fund will have, will have a corpus of 50 million dollars. 50 million dollars and that is the right answer, option D. How many moons does the Jupiter have? Very easy, 92. Okay, let's go. I will not time. Which has... Yes. Which has joined the ISA as its 113 signatory? It is Republic of Congo which has joined uh, the ISA as 113th uh, signatory. 
which IIT will be provided with a grant of 242 crores over a period of five years to undertake research on lab grown diamonds. IIT Madras is the right answer. Recently, Supreme Court of India hosted the 73rd anniversary of its establishment. Article 124 of the Constitution establishes the Supreme Court. Supreme Court came into existence on 30, 26 January 1950 and is located on Tilakma. Okay. This year's event was aired on social media platforms and saw Dash Chief Justice Sundaresh Menon. Achha, se country ke sun, uh, Chief Justice aate, to Singapore. Singapore Chief Justice. Sundaresh Menon was also there. Singapore is the right answer. Who is the chairman? Who is the chairman of Hajj Committee of India, a statutory body of Indian government that organizes Islamic uh, pilgrimages to Saudi Arabia? It is Mr. A.P. Abdullah Kutti. It is A.P. Abdullah Kutti. Which ministry has set up? A committee on digital competition law to examine the need for a separate law on competition in digital markets. It is Ministry of Com Corporate Affairs headed by Nirmala Sita Raman. Whereas Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia inaugurated the Department of Integrative Medicines. So the Department of Integrative Medicine has been inaugurated in Safdarjang Hospital, which is located in New Delhi. Bilkul aims ke saamne ye where did the Prime Minister Modi lay foundation stone of South India's first industrial corridor project? Very, very important question. Tumakuru. Tumakuru is the right answer. Apollo Naita bhai uska answer. Sabdarjang. Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal, Husbandry and Daring, Purushottam Rupala, informed the Lok Sabha that India is the highest milk producer in the country in the world, sorry, contributing 24% of global milk production in the year 21-22. Milk production of India has registered a dash percent growth during this 24-15 to 21-22. 51% growth. Option A. With which company has Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare signed an MOU to build a national level digital extension platform under public-private partnership framework? With which company? We have signed uh, this framework. This is Digital Green. How much is the per capita GDP income of Bangladesh for financial year 22-23? What is the per capita GDP income of, Bang GDP income of Bangladesh? US dollar 2793. Recently, central government uh, announced its plan to launch IPO of IREDA. And the state-owned engineering consultancy firm Vapcos in 23-24. So, in Kanta Pandey has been given the official responsibility of carrying out disinvestment divestment process of CPSCs. So, in Kanta Pandey is the secretary of which of the following departments? Department of Investment and Public Asset Management, DPAM, which in short is DPAM. Option E is the right answer. Chalo, bhai, ye tha month of March 2023, and that's it from my side. Mary Taraf sa itna hi. After this, Kandima ma'am will be taking the month of March and April. Alright guys, so that is all I could do for you in terms of uh, teaching. Uh, I We have provided a lot of things to you, right? I believe all these things will help you in the actual examination. Noida sector 62 mein jin logo ka center hai, I will see you there. Uh, in the afternoon shift, right? Or iske baad Kandima ma'am will take over. I wish you very all the best. I wish you. Thank you very much, Akhil. And uh, break for how many minutes? 15 minutes ka break kar lete. So it's 11, 10. Uh, we'll be 15 minutes to zada ho gaya. Daste Pandra Minute ke beech mein, ma'am will be here. Theek hai? So I wish you all the very best guys for your examination. And phase 1 clear karne ke baad, phase 2 maybe we will be doing something for you. Aisa nahi hai ki phase 1 ke baad hum chhod denge. Phase 2 ke liye bhi we will be conducting various sessions on YouTube. Theek hai? So all the very best.
ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट गाइस यस इट इज साई पवन सिरान हैज ईरान हैज बीन रिसेंटली इंक्लूडेड एज द मेंबर ऑफ एससीओ ड्यूरिंग द एससीओ वर्चुअल समिट ओके गाइस तो मिलते हैं फिर एग्जाम एनालिसिस में अब हम एग्जाम एनालिसिस की वीडियो में मिलेंगे संडे को शाम को ठीक है बाकी पढ़ते रहो और आगे बढ़ते रहो जस्ट कंट्रोल योर नर्व्स डोंट गेट नर्वस ठीक है और दैट्स वेरी स्वीट ऑफ यू लॉरेंस दैट्स वेरी स्वीट ऑफ यू बट आई जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट कि आप दोबारा मुझे यहां पे देखो जस्ट गो अवे फ्रॉम मी जल्दी से क्लियर एग्जाम करो और निकलो यहां से कट ऑफ अभी कैसे बताएंगे यार पेपर तो हो जाने दो तभी तो कट ऑफ बताएंगे ऑल राइट गाइस सो इट्स इलेवन टेन कंडिमा मैम विल सी यू एट इलेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव ठीक है तो जल्दी से चाय पानी जो भी है कर लो फटाफट से वापस आ जाओ ठीक है बिकॉज इससे ज्यादा ब्रेक हम नहीं ले सकते वी नीड टू कवर थाउजेंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन एक हजार पचास क्वेश्चन कवर करने हैं तो इससे ज्यादा ब्रेक नहीं मिल सकता ठीक है बबाई टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस
Okay. Hi everyone. I hope I am audible. Can you give me a thumbs up in case I am audible? Hello. Good morning. Can you tell me if I am audible? Okay, let's focus here. Let us now discuss the current affairs for March 23 and April 23. Okay, I am going to discuss the current affairs for two months and then Neha ma'am is going to take over. I hope you all know the number of questions that we are going to discuss today. In case any doubt, you can ask us here audible. Thank you. Now, let's focus on the questions. We are here to revise everything. Thanks, Divya. Okay, let us continue with Question number one for the month of March. What is the limit of minimum amount per project under the Members of Parliament Local Area Development MP LAD scheme? MP LAD scheme mein, what is the limit of minimum amount? Is me pura outlay nahi pucha hai ya amount given to the uh, you know the members of the parliament wo nahi pucha hai per project ka pucha hai so the answer will be D. 2,50,000. Isse pehle kya tha? I think 1 lakh tha and increased to 2,50,000. Next question. Recently, the Union Cabinet approved the extension of the term of 22nd Law Commission of India up to dash. Very easy question. Hai. We have done this a lot of times. Mocks may be a question. I have the answer is B. Can you tell me who is this person? Law Commission. This is Just Justice Ritu Raj Avasti. Okay. Next question. Recently, INS Nirikshak. Awarded on the spot chief of the naval staff unit citation for deep sea diving undertaking rescue operations under the most challenging circumstances. When was this ship commissioned into the Indian Navy? Thoda se difficult hai. However, remember INS Nirikshak. Uh, when was it commissioned in the Indian Navy? This is 1995. Next question. In February 2023. Okay, before I start, I won't, just want to mention ki hum thoda se seat taste karenge because in exam you just have 25 minutes to do 80 questions. So not even 30 seconds per questions. That is why we are going to at least solve per question in 30 seconds. That is going to be our target. Okay. In February 2023, the NSE indices, the subsidiary of India's National Stock Exchange, launched the country's first ever municipal bond index in the backdrop of rising appetite. The index will track the performance of municipal bonds issued by Indian civic bodies across maturities with an investment grade credit limit. It currently has dash municipal bonds. Kitne municipal bonds hai? Very good. 28 is the right answer here. Who has been appointed as the Drug Controller General of India? An important question here. Who is appointed as the Drug Controller General of India? Rajiv Raghuvanshi. And kiss organization ko head karte hai? CDSCO. CDSCO. Can anyone tell me the full form of CDSCO? Central Drug Standard Control Authority. Central Drug Standard Control Authority. Headed by the DCGI. And who is appointed? As the DCGI, it is Rajiv Raghuvanshi. Okay. How many pairs are matched currently with respect to the diseases? Okay. How many pairs pucha hai? You do not have to tell kon kon se correct hai, but just how many pairs. So, iska answer hai. Okay. Leprosy, I think it was 2005. Kalazar, 2023. And TB, 2025 is correct. Lymphatic filariasis, 2027. Malaria, 2023. So, kitne pairs ho gai? Three pairs. Okay, and here the targets are given to you. Where was Barisu Kannada Dim Dama Cultural Festival organized to celebrate Kannada's, Karnataka's cultural traditions and history? This was not in Karnataka, it was held in Delhi. Okay, so Pradhan Mantri Ji ka vision hai Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat, just may intercultural programs honge, and one of this cultural festival was organized in Delhi. Dash and Dash will become the first foreign universities to set up their campuses in India in Gujarat gift city. It is very easy hai Australia ki hai. Deakin University and Wollongong University. Union Minister of Fisheries and Animal Husbandry Purushottam Ripala launched the phase 2 of the NSPAAD. The phase 2 of NSPAAD has been launched under the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana scheme. Padke jana, Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. Can anyone tell me kabai thi ye scheme? Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. Launch year. The government has launched 
the national surveillance program of aquatic animal diseases nspd in dash to kab ye launch hua tha very easy question 2013 mein launch hua tha As, even if you know the correct answer aage kuch padhne ki zarurat hi nahi padegi and kis department uh, the state fisheries department along with dash kon kon implement kar raha hai mpeda 2020 What is the corpus of genetic improvement program of Pinacus Indicus? बहुत easy question है. This is very easy. The answer is 25. ये इस वाली scheme से connected है. Okay. Which state is has established India's first government mother milk bank for orphan children? Very important. बहुत ज़्यादा news में था. The answer is Uttarakhand. How much is India's real GDP estimate for 2023 as per the latest second advance estimate? However, अब India's real GDP का data भी आया है. so here the correct answer is as per the second advance estimate real gdp estimate batana hai it is 159.71 trillion yahi hai okay okay so the gdp growth rate was 7% as per the second advance estimate however ab jo recent data aaya hai wo mujhe bata dijiye what is the gdp growth rate it is not 7% the real gdp of the year 22 23 ye yahi pe hai as per again second advance estimate According to the Department of Pharmaceuticals data, the Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Parayojana important scheme is very much in the news. It has achieved sales of more than dash in the current financial year, which has further led to savings of approximately dash to the citizens. So, how many sales have been made? How much sales are achieved in this year? And savings how many have been made? So, the correct answer here will be 17. No, correct answer here will be E. 1100 crore and 6600 crore. तो सेल्स हुई है 1100 करोड़ की एंड सेविंग्स हुई है 6600 करोड़ की ओके हु इज द चेयर ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्सपर्ट कमेटी टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द कॉजेस ऑफ रेगुलेटरी फेलियर व्हिच लेड टू इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स सॉरी इन्वेस्टर्स लूजिंग करोड़ फॉलोइंग हिंडनबर्ग रिसर्च रिपोर्ट ये इंपॉर्टेंट है दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो द चेयर ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्सपर्ट कमेटी इज हियर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी जस्टिस अभय मनोहर साखरे इजी क्वेश्चन है डिफिकल्ट कुछ भी नहीं है बिल्कुल Recently, Ministry of Home Affairs has cancelled the FCRA license of Dash. Important here. This is a prominent public think tank. So CPR is the answer. Center for Public Research. C. What is the theme of it? Raisina Dialogue. What is the theme? Theme important here. कहाँ पे हुआ and theme क्या थी? Both of these things are important. So the theme is provocation, uncertainty, turbulence, lighthouse in the tempest. ये तो बहुत easy है. Next, where is the Borth Thikera medicinal plant found in India? The correct answer here is Assam. इसमें कुछ समझाने वाला नहीं है, बस ये जो plant है, it is found in Assam. Recently, IIT Guwahati has signed an MOU with Samagar Shiksha Assam under the Rashtriya Avishkar Abhiyan to develop scientific temper and strengthen students' ability to handle challenging environment. The Rashtriya Avishkar Abhiyan (RAA) was launched in Dash. Easy question and difficult नहीं है, the Rashtriya Avishkar Abhiyan was launched in 2015 by late APJ Abdul Kalam, former president of India. Okay, Rashtri Avishkar Abhiyan will target students in the age group of 6 to 18 years. And who has signed the MOU with SSA, IIT, Guwahati? MOU with Samagra Shiksha Assam under this Rashtri Avishkar Abhiyan. Which country has launched the senior mission leaders? Course to prepare senior personnel for future roles and responsibility as mission leads in UN. Peacekeeping operations enabling them to plan, manage, and lead such missions. The correct answer here is Japan. So, which country has launched the senior mission leaders course? Course launched kara hai to prepare senior personnel of future roles and responsibilities as mission leads in the UN peacekeeping operations. Japan ne ye launch kara hai course. How much penalty has been imposed on? The MCX by SEBI for violating regulations pertaining to the data entries of Sikkim-based clients. Answer is D. Six lakh. Six lakh penalty is imposed. Along with this, we recently uh, in RBI two four seven sessions we discussed the penalty imposed by RBI on Standard Chartered. Can you tell me the answer to this question? It is not fifty lakh. The correct answer is thirty lakh. So this was the penalty imposed. Okay. So this was a correction. Tha, I have told you. Uh, uh, here, RBI has imposed penalty on standard charter for not complying with the KYC regulations. And what is the penalty? 30 lakh ki penalty hai, 50 lakh ki nahi hai. Also, uh, there is one correction, the CRAR data and CET1. Ye data achche se padke jana. 
as per the financial stability report last time i have corrected this in the last uh, you know rbi 247 session jo abhi recently hua tha on tuesday so i have corrected this two data in the document as well and uh, youtube ki video ke niche bhi comment where has minister of youth affairs and sports and information and broadcasting anurag singh thakur launched yuva utsav india at 2047 the answer is मिस्टर ऑफ यूथ अफेयर स्पोर्ट्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन लॉन्च युवा उत्सव ये तो बहुत इजी है रोपर थर्टी लाख रोपर बिल्कुल सही बोल रहे हो बहुत ज्यादा न्यूज में है वी ऑल नो वाई नानोडा प्यूरिया के लिए एंड टू हियर दूस द एम डी ऑफ इफको इट इज यू एस अवस्थी विच कंट्रीज आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द फ्रीडम शील्ड एक्सरसाइज अ कंप्यूटराइज simulated command post and training easy hai south korea and us it is not a difficult question however an important question so kaun si two countries ne kara hai us and south korea kya organize kara hai freedom shield exercise a computer simulated command post training which country does the nobel peace prize winner alex bialetsky belong to alex bialetsky belong to belarus What is India's rank in the Liberal Democracy Index as per the Dems Democracy Report 2023? So here, pe the correct answer, because it's asked, is Liberal Democracy. Liberal Democracy Index, me India's rank, how many? The answer is 97. However, Electoral Democracy, me, how many? You will tell me. Electoral Democracy Index, me. What is the rank? What is the rank in Electoral Democracy? ओके सो यहीं पे ही गिवन है 108 108 इज द रैंक बिल्कुल श्रुति इज द फर्स्ट वन टू गिव द राइट राइट आंसर वेरी गुड श्रुति 108 इज द आंसर लिबरल डेमोक्रेसी इंडेक्स में है 97 एंड लिबरल कंपोनेंट इंडेक्स में है 90 इगालिटेरियन कंपोनेंट इंडेक्स में है 123 ये दोनों बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है 97 एंड 108 एंड इन्हीं दोनों में द टॉपर इज डेनमार्क तो ये चार चीजें तो अच्छे से पढ़ के जानी है हाउएवर इफ यू नो दिस स्टिल टाइम एंड यू हैवंट रेड तो ये भी पढ़ लेना If you have read already, तो ठीक है तो बहुत ही बढ़िया बात नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिसेंटली आरबीआई लॉन्च टू की सर्वे इन्फ्लेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन सर्वे ऑफ हाउस होल्ड एंड कंज्यूमर कॉन्फिडेंस सर्वे फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मार्च ये आरबीआई बाय मंथली करता रहता करता रहता है यू नो इन एवरी टू मंथ सो द रिपोर्ट ऑफ दिस सर्वे प्रोवाइड यूजफुल इनपुट ऑफ द सेंट्रल बैंक बाय मंथली मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी के बाद होता है IESH, which is the Inflation Expectation Survey of Household, aims at capturing uh, capturing subjective assessment on price movements and inflation based on their individual consumption baskets across dashed cities. Easy question and not difficult. Nineteen cities. Bilkul. Minister of Power and Renewable Energy R K Singh has launched South Asia's Distribution Utility Network. Important hai ye news puri padh ke karna and we have I think P I B may be a discussion hui thi. to modernize distribution of utilities in south asia via knowledge sharing among the regions discom sadun which is the south asia distribution utility network is a joint initiative of ministry of power power finance corporation and international organization kaun si international organization hai love is the first one to answer usaid very good food and commerce minister piyush goyal said that all the states should implement smart pds can anyone tell me the full form of smart pds and actually wahi pucha hai what does m stand for in the full form of smart however can anyone tell me the full form of smart pds who's going to tell me the full form of smart pds here the answer is modernization b m airs fellowship has been launched by india in collaboration with kaun si country ke sath australia not austria australia ओके ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंडिया रिसर्च फेलोशिप ठीक है वेर आर द पिरामिड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स नोन एज मॉडम्स लोकेटेड ये इजी क्वेश्चन है इसमें कुछ समझाने वाला नहीं है असम इज द राइट आंसर क्यों वेर इज मीना सलमान सी पोर्ट लोकेटेड हमारा आई एन एस त्रिकंड गया था इस सी पोर्ट पे दैट इज वाइट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बहारे विच एडिशन ऑफ द मिडल ईस्ट एनर्जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज एट दुबई वर्ल्ड ट्रेड सेंटर correct answer here is 48 so 48th edition of the middle east energy 2023 was organized where it dubai world trade center so ye teen cheeze yaad karni hai the edition and where was it organized dubai world trade center team for modernization and reforms through technology in pds kaushal joshi kaushal joshi is the first one to answer and very good kaushal bilkul sahi 
scheme for modernization and reforms through technology is the right answer for smart PDS. Recently, CSIR has decided to start exclusive research grant for women scientists under CSIR Aspire. PIB may be humne padha hai bahut baar. And an exclusive portal in this regard will be available from which date? April 1, 2023. The total budget of the research proposal, including research fellow stipend, yahan pe stipend ka question hai, what will be the stipend? The answer is 25 to 30 lakh. Very good. Everybody has said this uh, right answer here. 25 to 30 lakh. Namita is the first one to answer. US has handed over NASA ISRO NISAR NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar which is NISAR important hai padke jane iske bare mein agar abhi tak bhi nahi padha hai to to ISRO yes so NASA ne ye ISRO US ne ye ISRO ko uh, hand over kar diya hai which aircraft of the US was used to transport the spacecraft to India very easy C C17 Bilkul, C-17. Recently, the central government has launched the PUSH initiative, PUSH ki full form, PUSH ki full form yaad rakhna, to ensure greater availability of power during the peak demand season. Abhi recently, power ka kuch aur bhi tariff changes aay hai, wo bhi padne hai. What does S stand for in the full form of PUSH? So, S stands for surplus, PUSH portal, surplus, surplus exchange kar sakte hai aap. Okay. Which state has launched Arogya Mahila scheme, women's health program? To provide medical service to women at health center for free of cost. This is easy, hai, Telangana, however, very important. So, Telangana government has launched a very initiative. Kera hai, Mahila scheme launch kari hai. It is a women health program to provide medical services to women at health centers for free of cost. So, free of cost, mein, uh, women ko at various medical centers, uh, medical services provide. Ki Which state UT has begun commercial cultivation of mullet? This is a very easy question. Hai. Himachal Pradesh is the right answer. Okay. Which of the following states is implementing Bhavan, Bhavantar Bhuktan Yojana? So I think that yes, those states hai, it is Punjab and Madhya Pradesh, Bhavantar Bhuktan Yojana. Those states same uh, scheme kar rahi hai, follow. That is Punjab and Madhya Pradesh. So kya answer ho jaga? A and B, D answer hai. The answer is D. Which state has launched the Livelihood Cluster Development Initiative under the Mukhya Mantri Janjatiya Jeevika Mission to invest 500 crore for empowering tribal communities in the state? Very easy. Mukhya Mantri Janjatiya Jeevika Mission, naam se aapko yaad jana chahiye. The answer is A, Odisha. So, Odisha has launched the Livelihood Cluster Development Initiative under the Mukhya Mantri Janjatiya Jeevika Mission to invest kitna amount? 500 crore for empowering tribal communities. A question can also be asked. So, Odisha is launching this scheme uh, you know, towards which community? So the answer is for empowering tribal communities. How, how many districts are there in Madhya Pradesh? Ye easy hai. Recently, 53rd district aya tha Madhya Pradesh ka. Who is going to tell me which is the 53rd district in Madhya Pradesh? Can anyone tell me the correct answer? What is the 51st district of Madhya Pradesh? Morgan. 51st, 53rd district of Madhya Pradesh. Which bank has launched the Unpause Initiative? The Unpause Initiative, a program designed to assist women. This is very easy. The Unpause Initiative is very easy. The current, correct answer is Jeevan Small Finance Bank. Bilkul, uh, the Dark Dude and Shivam. Uh, these the, are the first ones to answer. So, Jeevan Small Finance Bank ka initiative is Unpause Initiative. For which, uh, you know, what is this initiative going to work towards? The program designed to assist women who have taken a career break for any reason and now are ready to return to workforce. So, reason bhi yaad rakhna hai. Which of the following statement is our incorrect, incorrect pucha hai? With regard to MSME competitive lean scheme, under the MSME, MSME competitive lean scheme, the center's contribution will be 90% of the implementation cost. The scheme aims to provide hand-holding and consultancy support for lean manufacturing and the scheme has been divided into three parts, basic, intermediate and advanced. So, I think all of the above here are correct. So, the answer will be none are incorrect. All are correct. Bilkul. All are correct. Okay. As announced in the central government, oh, sorry, as announced by the central government, the sale of only gold jewelry with HUID shall be permitted from 1st April date. We are rakhni hai. HUID stands for Hallmark Unique Identification Full Form. You also you have to remember it is a dash digit alphanumeric code consisting alphabets and numbers. HUID is a stamp, is stamped at VIS certified assaying and hallmarking center. This also you have to remember. So, what is the answer here? 
How many digit alphanumeric code? Six. Very good. Six digit. Forty three ka answer is six. Who is the first one to answer? I think Namita again. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Namita, so I think love has also answered. In March twenty twenty three, Honorable Union Minister of Power and New and Renewable Energy, Sri R K Singh, launched the Star Star related appliances program and I Diksha portal. So, two things he launched. Kariye Star related appliances program, I Diksha portal at the twenty first Foundation Day of B E E. Kab hota hai ye? First March. What does D stand for in the full form of Diksha? Who will tell? Very easy. Bilkul. E decarbonization. Minister of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare has approved three Center of Excellence for Horticulture crops under the Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Important hai. You have to remember ye mission ka kya targets hai and when was this launched? So here, Kamlam, Gujarat, Mango, Odisha, Vegetable, Goa. Kamlam, I think it's in Karnataka. Okay, Bangalore mein hai. Karnataka. So here, what correctly matched two and three. So answer kya ho jayega? Two and three E only. Bilkul. Why am I not receiving answer? Okay. Very good. Somebody has also mentioned the full form of I Diksha. Divya Onkari. Industrial decarbonization and EE knowledge sharing platform. Very good. Kamlam is in Karnataka. Namita, yes, you are right. Lockheed Martin, the US based defense and aerospace giant and Tata Group have signed an agreement to commence production of fighter wing ship set at their joint venture so ye joint venture kahan pe hai wo batana hai very easy it is in hyderabad kis kis ka joint venture hai tata lockheed martin astro structural limited this is the name hyderabad very good how much is india's share in the global arms import during 2018 to 2022 as per sipri trend and international arms transfer 2022 How much is the share? So India top pe hai with eleven percent share. बिल्कुल eleven percent. Okay. Here India is at the top when it comes to importing and ये कब का data है twenty eighteen to twenty twenty two with eleven percent share. Next is Saudi Arabia and then Qatar. When it comes to suppliers, suppliers and their share of importers total imports it is Russia USA. Okay, Russia and France. First, second, and third. ठीक है, बिल्कुल. 2018 and 2020 का डेटा. और यहाँ पे एक्सपोर्टर का डेटा है. However, यहाँ पे तो U.S. है. So there is some problem in these two data. Okay, हमें ये डेटा समझना है. U.S., Russia, France. When it comes to exporter, 2018 to 2022. Okay, and what is their share? 40, 16, and 11. Okay. Which of the following is the top most landslide flow prone area as per landslide atlas of India? कौन लेके आया था ये landslide atlas of India? Can anyone tell me who brought out this landslide atlas of India? And uh, the top most landslide flow prone area here is it is Rudraprayag. And Tehri Gharwal bhi tha usme, but the top most is Rudraprayag. Okay. बिल्कुल Rudraprayag उत्तराखंड पे. Tehri Gharwal bhi hai, Thrissur Kerala third pe. And who brought out? Hyderabad based National Remote Sensing Center of ISRO okay here aapka answer NRSE ISRO yes namita the first one to answer very good which company has recently received payment aggregators license payment aggregator aap sab logo ko padhaya hua hai license from RBI in March 2023 the answer is phone pay very easy where was the elephant whispers documentary shot ye bahut badhiya question hai please uh, you have to know who directed this kis pe based hai elephant whispers So the correct answer here is Mudumalai Tiger Reserve. Where did Minister of Road Transport and Highway Nitin Gadkari flag off first 100% Mithila Flower prototype truck? बहुत easy है. Bangalore is the correct answer. Who is the Secretary General of Australia India Trade Association? A I T A Australia India Trade Association Secretary General कौन है? Vineet Rai. Very easy. बिल्कुल. Which company has received the contract from Ministry of Defence for undertaking refitting of Sindhu Kirti submarine? Not a difficult question at all. Hindustan Shipyard Limited has the answer. Which company has received the contract from the Ministry of Defence for undertaking refitting of Sindhu Kirti submarine? The answer is Hindustan Shipyard Limited. Any problems? Love is the first one to give the answer here. Bilkul Hindustan Shipyard. Mr. Azrael is also right. Which edition of the Laperus Laperus multilateral exercise will be held in the Indian Ocean region in twenty twenty three? 
कौन है इन एक्सरसाइज में हु इज कहाँ की एक्सरसाइज है एंड इंडिया इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दी एक्सरसाइज दिस इज दर्ड एडिशन इंडिया इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग विद विच कंट्री बेंगलुरु द डार्क डूट कहाँ का आंसर दे रहे हैं बेंगलुरु थर्ड एडिशन यस एवरीबडी इज राइट थर्ड एडिशन ओके विच बैंक हैज लॉन्च द ब्लॉसम विमेन सेविंग अकाउंट विद सेवन परसेंट पर एनम इंटरेस्ट रेट विद मंथली इंटरेस्ट क्रेडिट ब्लॉसम विमेन सेविंग्स अकाउंट विद सेवन परसेंट पर एनम इंटरेस्ट रेट बहुत ईजी है इट इज सूर्योदय स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक सूर्योदय से आप याद कर सकते हैं ब्लॉसम and suryoday you can connect these two france who is the first one to answer this france led mm, love is the first one to answer yes france bilkul sahi bahut badhiya chaliye next question rbi has granted infrastructure company status to iread a ye important hai rbi 247 sessions mein bhi humne ye kara hai so here you have to find out it was earlier classified as icc investment and credit company now it is ifc infrastructure finance company considering the above statement identify the correct statement I R E D A is a mini Ratna category one enterprise under the administrative control of uh, M N R E. This is correct. So the first statement is correct. How many can I tell you? Identify the correct statement. I R E D A will keep contributing towards the government of India's target of 500 gigawatt installed capacity of non-fossil fuels. Target is wrong. This is this statement is incorrect. And it was established as N B F C in 1987 under the Societies Registration Act. This is also incorrect. So the first uh, correct answer here will be A. Only one. बिल्कुल हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज एम डी ऑफ एल आई सी बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी क्वेश्चन है एम डी ऑफ एल आई सी तबलेश पांडे एनी प्रॉब्लम ओके यू जी सी राहुल प्रियंका सम पीपल आर सेइंग वन एंड थ्री फाइव हंड्रेड गी गो वॉट बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी वो तो ठीक है यू जी सी हैज डेवलप दत्साह पोर्टल टू ट्रैक qualitative reforms by higher education institute heis in the country the portal was launched to monitor the implementation of nep 2020 in higher education institute what does u stand for koi mere ko utsa ki puri full form hi bata do utsa who is going to tell me undertaking bilkul theek hai undertaking c undertaking can anyone tell me the full form undertaking transformation in higher education undertaking transformation in higher education बिल्कुल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन हैज अनाउंस दैट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विल कंटिन्यू द डैश ईयर इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन ये बजट में आया था टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फॉर वन मोर ईयर द इनहैंस्ड कैपेक्स ऑफ रुपीस डैश लाख करोड़ फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इज इक्वल टू 3.3% ऑफ द जीडीपी ये इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी द आंसर बिल्कुल सही द आंसर इज 50 50 ईयर इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन एंड 10 लाख करोड़ का टोटल For infrastructure development, total capex है. बिल्कुल. D is the answer. Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog. One second. Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog launched Atal Sarthi, a comprehensive self-monitoring framework to strengthen the Atal Tinkering Lab. It provides a monitoring and evaluation framework to enhance the performance of ATLs. Now, it has four pillars which will ensure the performance of enhancement of atls through regular process involvement itni badi news pucha kya hai where will this project be launched on a pilot basis so it will be launched i think in karnataka gujarat and andhra pradesh all three so answer ho jayega e bilkul answer is e e hai answer okay 59 ka bata rahe hain kya yes 59 ka d 60 ka e all of the above ठीक है द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड बैंक हैज साइंड एन अग्रीमेंट फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ग्रीन नेशनल हाईवे कॉरिडोर प्रोजेक्ट द मोमेंट यू लिसन टू दिस ग्रीन नेशनल हाईवे कॉरिडोर प्रोजेक्ट आपको पहले ही पता लगना चाहिए किसने सपोर्ट दिया है वर्ल्ड बैंक ने द वर्ल्ड बैंक सपोर्ट इज हाउ मच यू एस डी फाइव हंड्रेड मिलियन दीज आर द टू थ्री थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम दिस टोटल प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट इतनी है वन टू एट एट करोर विच आर द स्टेट्स बेनिफिशरीज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट तो हिमाचल प्रदेश आंध्र प्रदेश राजस्थान यूपी एंड आंसर हो जाएगा ऑल ऑफ दी अबाउट दी वेयर हैज वोट फेस्ट 2023 ऑर्गेनाइज्ड टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस ऑन द इलेक्शन प्रोसेस तो अवेयरनेस के लिए था वोट फेस्ट वेरी इजी बेंगलुरु कर्नाटका में अभी इलेक्शंस थे दैट इज व्हाई सो हु इज द चीफ इलेक्शन कमीशन कमिश्नर श्री राजीव कुमार ये इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स श्री अनूप चंद्र पांडे एंड अरुण गोयल 
Which state has become the first state in the country to start ration kit Vima scheme for protecting its sericulturist? This is important. In every mock test, this question was asked. So the answer is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is the first state in the country to start ration kit Vima. Can anyone tell me toddy tapers? For which state has the scheme for toddy tapers? Which state for toddy tapers? Which state for toddy tapers? Okay, Resham Keet Bhima Scheme for Celiculturist, answer is Uttarakhand. Next question, which state celebrate Yaoshang festival? Ye important hai, Manipur celebrates Yaoshang festival. Where is Gujarat? Kaun bol rahe bhai? Shri Krishnan Kumar, Gujarat to nahi hai. Where is Madhav National Park located? Bhoat easy hai, Shivpuri district, Madhav National Park, Shivpuri district. Telangana, bilkul sahi, Yashpal is the first one to answer, Telangana, toddy tapers ke liye. Identify the correct statement with regard to basic animal husbandry statistics 2022. So, what do we have to tell the correct statement? It analyzes two major livestock... Okay, so it analyzes two major... Just a second. 66. It analyzes two major livestock products for the year 2021, namely meat and dairy. This is an incorrect statement. As per statistics, the annual growth rate of meat production is... In India is 5.62. This is a correct statement. The total production of eggs stands at ye bhi galat hai. Rajasthan, Jammu Kashmir and Gujarat and Maharashtra and Himachal Pradesh all are the top 5 milk producing states. This statement is also incorrect. The correct statement is here. Per capita availability of milk is 444 gram per day during 21-22 and increased by 17 gram per day over previous year. The correct answer here is only 2 and 5. So, kya konsi statement sahi hai? 2 and 5. Okay. Which country, ye aapko PID mein bhoat detail mein Manish sir ne samjhaya hua hai, is ka answer. Which country hosted the 19th Crimstex Ministerial Meeting? Very easy, Thailand. Which country hosted the 146th Inter-Parliamentary Union Assembly? Which country hosted this? Bahrain. Rajasthan or Jammu. Okay, Bahrain hosted this. Recently, the state-owned LIC has sold 2% of its equity stake at, uh, sorry, in NDM, N, NMDC. NMDC mein, kitna total stake hai? Ye puchha na, yes. How much stake does LIC hold in NMDC at present? The correct answer here is A, 11.69%. Which company has introduced sustainable equity fund to invest in companies which are leading in environment Social and Governance, ESG. Which company has introduced a sustainable equity fund? PNB, MetLife. Ye important hai, kafi news mein tha. 79th ka. A, bilkul. Sorry, 70th ka. Ministry of Finance has amended the prevention of money laundering. Money laundering rules for widening the scope of KYC norms. Yeh humne padha hua hai. To include politically exposed person, NPOs and those dealing in virtual digital assets as reporting entities. So, they have made reporting entities. Hai. Uh, and the ministry has also lowered the ownership percentage from 25% to 10%. The answer is D, 25% to 10%. In reporting for reporting entity for the purpose of PMLA rule. Who has been appointed as United Nations resident? Coordinator in Tajikistan. So, United Nations Resident Coordinator in Tajikistan who has been appointed K.R. Parvati. Somebody saying Edelvis. Dark dude, thoda refresh kariya. Aap shahi turane answers bata rahe hai. When is the International Day of Women Judges observed? Ye easy or achcha question hai. International Day of Women Judges, March 10th. WHO has given partnership for Healthy Cities 2023 award to five cities. Can anyone tell me which are these five cities? Which of the following cities is given the award? So, in me se hai Montevideo, India se kon hai? Can anyone tell me the partnership for Healthy Cities? India se Bangalore hai. Other cities kon si hai? Bangalore, Montevideo, Athens, Mexico and Vancouver. बिल्कुल बेंगलुरु मॉन्टेवीडियो एथेंस मेक्सिको एंड वैंकूवर तो इंडिया से बेंगलुरु बेंगलुरु बिल्कुल विच इंडियन एयरपोर्ट इस मेंशन अस इन द वर्ल्ड टॉप 100 एयरपोर्ट्स 2023 ये तो इजी है कैंपेगोड़ा 
टॉप हंड्रेड में कौन सा है हमारा कैंपेटिया टॉप पे है सिंगापुर संगी एयरपोर्ट ठीक है वॉट इज द वेन्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्ल्ड पैरा एथलेटिक्स चैंपियनशिप इंपॉर्टेंट है ये क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्ल्ड पैरा एथलेटिक्स चैंपियनशिप जापान में होगी नेक्स्ट वेर वॉज वेर वॉज द फर्स्ट सीनियर ऑफिशियल मीटिंग ऑफ एस ए आई ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट ग्रुप अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेजिडेंसी ऑर्गेनाइज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज गोवाहाटी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है फर्स्ट सीनियर ऑफिशियल मीटिंग ऑफ एस ए आई ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट ग्रुप गोवाहाटी Which country Space Commission's delegation led by CEO Dr. Mohammad Saud Al Tamimi visited India to hold discussions on space operations? So, which country's Space Commission delegation led by CEO Dr. Mohammad Saud Tamimi? Here, you have to understand that it is Saudi Arabia. So, Saudi Arabia's Space Commission delegation led by CEO Dr. Mohammad Saud Al Tamimi. Visited here to discuss on space cooperation. The correct answer here is Saudi Arabia. Which country hosted the two-day international conference of Shanghai Cooperation Organization in shared Buddhist heritage? बहुत ही easy है. It is India. Which state organized the third Divya Kala Mela? Important है. Third Divya Kala Mela कब हुआ था? कहाँ हुआ था? मध्य प्रदेश में. अभी recently also uh, uh, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment conducted the Divya Kala Mela for Divyangjans. Can you tell me where was this conducted for Divyangjans? Very recently, I think in the month of June, June end में. Okay, which state has recently given approval to the tenth horizontal reservation to the statehood activities in the state government? जब किसी ने horizontal reservation दिया है, and the correct answer here is Uttarakhand. Which state? Okay, ये हो गया. Which Indian ship participated in the Maritime Partnership Exercise (MPX) with French Navy in the Arabian Sea? ये easy है. This is INS Sahyadri. INS Sahyadri is the Indian ship which participated in the Maritime Partnership Exercise with French Navy in the Arabian Sea. दिव्यांग कला एमपी में पहला हुआ था अब ही हुआ है जयपुर में हु इज द फर्स्ट वन टू गिव द करेक्ट आंसर हियर प्राची एंड नीलेश वेरी गुड बहुत बढ़िया जयपुर में सिग्नेचर बैंक बिलोंग्स टू विच कंट्री आरबीआई टू फोर सेवन में ये पढ़ा हुआ है बहुत ज्यादा इजी है सिग्नेचर बैंक बिलोंग्स टू यूएसए ओके वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई रूपी इन सर्कुलेशन एज ऑफ फेब ट्वेंटी एट ये ज्यादा अब इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है न्यूज हाउ एवर उस टाइम पे द वैल्यू वॉज वन थर्टी करोड़ द वैल्यू ऑफ ई रूपी इन सर्कुलेशन ई रूपी के बारे में जितना आप पढ़ सकते हैं पढ़ लीजिएगा अबाउट सी बी डी सी अबाउट ई रूपी वेन वॉज द पायलट लॉन्च पायलट लॉन्च ऑफ बोथ होल सेल एज वेल एज पायलट लॉन्च ऑफ रिटेल आई थिंक नाइन बैंक थे जिन्होंने पायलट लॉन्च में पार्टिसिपेट करा था पहले या एट बैंक थे नाइन या एट में से कोई बैंक थे इनिशियली इट वॉज फोर एंड देन एक्सटेंडेड टू फोर ऑल्सो How much is the export of millets in India in 21-22? Importance millets को हम क्या बोलते हैं? Shriyanna, this everybody knows this. अभी तक तो कुछ बताने वाला नहीं है. So how much is the export of millets? The correct answer here is 64 million dollars in 21-22. 64 million dollar was the export. And हमारा target क्या है? Can anyone tell me what is the new target of export? Which country has received approval? From RBI to special rupee was to accounts for bilateral trade settlements. ये easy है. The answer is Tanzania. So SRBA special rupee was to accounts. कौन सी country को approval मिला है from RBI to set up special rupee was to account for bilateral trade settlement? This is Tanzania. Hundred billion. Very good. And किसी ने बोला है nine banks push pender. Okay. Nine for wholesale, eight for retail. CBDC. किसने बताया है Samir Gode. Very good. बहुत सही answer दे रहे हैं यार आप लोग. ओके बिल्कुल ठीक है आगे बढ़ते हैं विच कंपनी हैज बैक द फर्स्ट ग्रीन को सिल्वर रेटिंग बाय सीआईआई फॉर इट सस्टेनेबल माइनिंग ऑपरेशंस इज इट एनडीएमसी हिंदुस्तान जिंक हिंदुस्तान जिंक इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर विच कंपनी हैज बैक फर्स्ट ग्रीन को सिल्वर रेटिंग बाय सीआईआई फॉर इट सस्टेनेबल माइनिंग ऑपरेशंस सो हिंदुस्तान जिंक इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द थीम ऑफ इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फॉरेस्ट बहुत इजी है ये इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फॉरेस्ट बहुत ज्यादा इजी थीम थी फॉरेस्ट एंड हेल्थ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फॉरेस्ट यहां से ये भी पता लग गया फॉरेस्ट एंड हेल्थ वाज द थीम ओके 
वेयर इज द नेपाल इंडिया लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल ऑर्गेनाइज वेरी इजी मेरठ में ऑर्गेनाइज हुआ था वेयर इज द नेपाल इंडिया लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल ऑर्गेनाइज इन मेरठ और हेल्थ बिल्कुल हिंदुस्तान सिंह सही विच स्टेट हैज अनाउंस टू प्रोवाइड वन थाउजेंड मंथली असिस्टेंस टू एलिजिबल वुमेन हेड्स ऑफ फैमिली ये अच्छा क्वेश्चन है करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज तमिलनाडु तमिलनाडु इज हैज अनाउंस टू प्रोवाइड वन थाउजेंड मंथली असिस्टेंस टू एलिजिबल वुमेन हेड्स ऑफ फैमिलीज तो ऑल हाउस होल्ड विच आर हेडेड बाई वुमेन उगाड़ी इज द हिंदू फेस्टिवल विच इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री उगाड़ी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज युगाड़ी विच स्टेट सेलिब्रेट्स उगाड़ी एज देयर न्यू ईयर डे कौन बताएगा इसका सही आंसर तमिलनाडु मेरठ मेरठ कौन बोल रहा है भाई मेरठ किसका आंसर है तो हियर ऑल द थ्री साउथ इंडियन स्टेट्स आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटका एंड तेलंगाना उद्दू माई पेन स्कीम बिल्कुल सही ये तमिलनाडु की स्कीम है ओके विच कंट्री ऑर्गेनाइज एलिवेट अ पिचिंग सीरीज इन दुबई फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग अ प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर स्टार्टअप टू कनेक्ट विद इन्वेस्टर्स कौन सी कंट्री ने ऑर्गेनाइज करी है एलिवेट अचिंग सीरीज इन दुबई फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म तो आंसर इज यू एजी ओके वेन इज इंडिया इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर एलिमिनेशन ऑफ रेशियल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑब्जर्व द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर एलिमिनेशन ऑफ रेशियल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वेर इज रानी गर्ल्स हॉकी टर्फ लोकेटेड तो रानी रामपाल के नाम पे हॉकी टर्फ जो है वो कहाँ पे है उत्तर प्रदेश वेडिट द इनोग्रेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ एशिया लार्जेस्ट फोर मीटर इंटरनेशनल लिक्विड मिरर टेलीस्कोप टेक प्लेस ये इंपॉर्टेंट और अच्छा क्वेश्चन है इनोग्रेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ एशिया लार्जेस्ट क्योंकि एशिया लार्जेस्ट है फोर मीटर इंटरनेशनल लिक्विड मिरर टेलीस्कोप इट वॉज इन आई थिंक देवास्थल देवास्थल What is the theme of World Water Day 2023? Can anyone tell me when is World Water Day celebrated? The theme is what is the theme? World Water Day accelerating change is the theme. Accelerate change is the theme. When is this celebrated? It is celebrated on 22nd March. Okay. वेर वॉज द सी पे सेंटर सेट अप ये इजी क्वेश्चन है इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स डी एंड सी पे सी पे की फुलफॉर्म क्या है सेंटर फॉर प्रोसेसिंग एक्सेलरेटेड कॉर्पोरेट एग्जिट कॉर्पोरेट एग्जिट के लिए लाया गया है ये दिस इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सी पेस एंड इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर जल्दी जल्दी आगे बढ़ते हैं वेर इज इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इन ग्रीन पोर्ट एंड शिपिंग कहाँ पे है ये दिस इज इन गुरुग्राम E is the right answer. Which state has launched a unique human-driven initiative named Gajamitra, Friends of Elephants, to check the rising incidence of human-elephant conflict? Which is the state? West Bengal is the state. Okay. Which of the following places will have India's first PM Mitra Park? PM Mitra Park. PM Mitra ki full form yahan pe hai. PM Mitra Park first hoga Virudhnagar mein. Can anyone tell me the seven states? जहां पे ये पीएम मित्रा पार्क बनेगा सेवन स्टेट्स पीएम मित्रा पार्क कौन बता सकता है जो भी बताएगा उसको मनीष सर की तरफ से चॉकलेट मिलेगी बिकॉज उन्होंने पढ़ाया हुआ है ये तमिलनाडु में है फर्स्ट यस yes. विरुद्धनगर बिल्कुल केरला कौन बोल रहा है अमन सिंह केरला नहीं ओके आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर फॉर सेवन स्टेट्स तब तक आगे बढ़ते हैं वेर इज द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट इंक्लूसिव डिसेबल्ड पार्क इस्टेब्लिश ईजी है नागपुर विच ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म विच ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म हैज साइन एन एम यू विथ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट ऑन बोर्ड रूरल वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स इन वेरियस स्टेट्स टू लॉन्च एंड ग्रो देयर बिजनेस ऑनलाइन ये ईजी है द आंसर इज मीशो तो मीशो ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है विच एज साइन एन एम ओ यू विथ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट टू ऑन बोर्ड वॉट रूरल वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स इन वेरियस स्टेट्स टू लॉन्च एंड ग्रो देयर बिजनेस ऑनलाइन India Pulses and Grains Association IBGA and IBRAFE have signed MOU aapko batana hai kaun si country ka hai ye IBAFE this is easy IBRAFE this is Brazil so India uh, ke Pulses and Grain Association and Brazil ke Pulses and Grain Association ne sign kara hai MOU at the recent health exhibition of the pulses conclave kahan pe hui thi Mumbai mein hui thi so this is Brazil 
ओके टोकामक एनर्जी हैज डेवलप्ड डेमो फोर सुपर मैग्नेट टू टेस्ट द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन पावर प्लांट्स इट इज द वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ सुपर मैग्नेट्स दैट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर टेस्टिंग न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन पावर प्लांट व्हिच कंट्री डज टोकामक एनर्जी बिलोंग टू द आंसर इज यूके बिल्कुल somebody is given the correct answer here poland nahi hai uk hai kisi ne abhi tak seven states nahi batayi bilkul manish sir ko bahut bura lagega where is india's ola electric mobility private planning to build world's largest electric vehicle hub to so, ola se hi aapko samajh aana chahiye ola electric mobility private is planning to build the largest electric vehicle hub in tamil nadu very easy वेर वॉज इंटरनेशनल बायो रिसोर्स कॉन्क्लेव ऑर्गेनाइज बहुत ही ज्यादा ईजी है इंटरनेशनल बायो रिसोर्स कॉन्क्लेव वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन इम्फाल विच स्टेट हैज लॉन्च द यादगिर मल्टी विलेज ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सप्लाई स्कीम अंडर द जल जीवन मिशन यादगिर मल्टी विलेज यादगिर से ही समझ आना चाहिए द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज कर्नाटका ओके वॉट इज जी एस टी रेट ऑन प्री पैकेज रैब द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज फाइव परसेंट GST Council has decided to reduce the GST rate on pension sharpeners, jaggery, and examination institutions. GST on pension sharpeners will be twelve percent. Earlier, it used to be eighteen percent. And uh, that is the liquid jaggery. Me, kya hoga? It is slashed from eighteen percent to nil if loosely packed and if pre-packed or labeled. Jo ki yahan pe question me aapse pucha gaya tha. Pre-packed, the answer will be five percent GST. Okay. Which state has signed an MOU with? UNEP for implementing urban cooling program in the state बहुत ही ज्यादा very 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 easy question urban cooling की बात आए तो कहाँ है तेलंगाना में however rooftop cooling कौन बताएगा rooftop cooling plan okay somebody has answered Prachi is the first one Mahar UP Maharashtra Gujarat Tamil Nadu Telangana Karnataka one more state MP बिल्कुल so Prachi is the first one I'll tell Manish sir to give you a chocolate very good चलिए आंसर इज तमिलनाडु हू लॉन्च द रूफ टॉप तेलंगाना रूफ टॉप बिल्कुल सही नमिता एंड लव फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर नेक्स्ट पे बढ़ते हैं व्हाट इज द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी 2023 एज पर सी अब इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है डेटा हाउ एवर द करेक्ट आंसर इज 7.45 पॉइंट फोर फाइव परसेंट वेर वॉज द थर्ड रीजनल वर्कशॉप ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सस्टेनेबल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन ऑर्गेनाइज सस्टेनेबल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन ऑर्गेनाइज इन हैदराबाद इज द करेक्ट आंसर कौन कौन से ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस हैं जो इसमें इन्होंने कोलैबोरेट करा है इट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म आई आई टी एंड एम एंड एक और भी है यू एन ई पी एंड यू एन ई पी और वर्कशॉप ऑफ सस्टेनेबल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इन हैदराबाद देन हु इज द मिशन डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ मिशन लाइफ ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा ईजी है यूगल जोशी इज द राइट आंसर हियर Where was India Denmark Silver Exhibition organized? Again an easy question. India Denmark Silver Organization Exhibition organized. तो बहुत सारा Denmark के साथ हमारे बहुत सारे collaboration हुए हैं. Tamil Nadu has collaborated with Denmark. IIT Madras has collaborated with Denmark. And this India Denmark Silver Exhibition, जिसमें silver products uh, of India and both Denmark will be exhibited, is launched here in Delhi. Which of the following schemes has been highlighted in the ILO UNICEF? more than a billion reasons the urgent need to build universal social protection for children so inhone pm cares ki baat kari hai which of the following schemes has been highlighted inhone bahut tareef kari hai in the ilo's unicef more than a billion reasons urgent need to build ye ek report hai ilo ki so we have talked about you pm cares for children okay where is the world's first bamboo made crash barrier 200 meter installed iska naam kya hai aap wo bhi batayenge answer to sabko pata hai india mein ये तो बहुत इजी क्वेश्चन है कहां पे लॉन्च हुआ है एंड व्हाट इज द नेम हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी व्हाट इज द नेम ओके वेयर वाज द सेकंड मीटिंग ऑफ ग्लोबल पार्टनरशिप फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन हेल्ड अंडर जी20 ये इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि हम आरबीआई का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं ग्लोबल पार्टनरशिप फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज हैदराबाद में हुई थी ये सेकंड मीटिंग PM cares for children ठीक है बाहुबली who is the first one to answer this very good सभी ने आंसर करा है नमिता 
वेर वॉज द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स टाइम एस सी ओ बी टू बी कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन एक्सपो एंड ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन हेल्थ ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज गोहाटी फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड एस सी ओ बी बी टू बी कॉन्फिडेंस एंड एक्सपो ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन हाउ मेनी वुमेन वन द स्वच्छ जल शक्ति सम्मान बहुत ईजी है थर्टी सिक्स वॉश आई होप आपको वॉश की फुलफॉर्म तो पता ही होगी ठीक है ये रहा मिनिस्टर जल शक्ति ऑर्गेनाइज द स्वच्छ जल शक्ति सम्मान 2023 ट्वेंटी टू ऑनर वुमेन चैंपियंस ऑफ रूरल इंडिया एंड सैनिटेशन सेक्टर वॉश की क्या फुलफॉर्म है वाटर सैनिटेशन एंड हेल्थ चैंपियंस थर्टी सिक्स वॉश चैंपियंस वर कन्फर्ड एंड हियर इज इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट जल शक्ति अभियान कैच द रेन पर्पज क्या था टू कंजर्व रेन फॉर रेन वाटर एंड स्कीम ये दो चीजें याद रखनी है सोर्स सस्टेनेबिलिटी फॉर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर टैगलाइन क्या है कैच द रेन वेर इट फॉल्स ये तो इसी का ही टैगलाइन है ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज बिकम इंडिया फर्स्ट मेट्रो इन इंडिया टू एक्सेप्ट डिजिटल करेंसी फॉर पार्किंग फैसिलिटीज वेरी इजी दंसर इज कोची मेट्रो बहुत ईजी है अभी सब जगह एक्सेप्ट नहीं हुआ है डिजिटल करेंसी इसलिए दो तीन जगह जिन्होंने एक्सेप्ट करना शुरू कर दिया है डिजिटल करेंसी कोची मेट्रो एंड ऑल्सो रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज ने भी डिजिटल करेंसी पे काम करना शुरू कर दिया है टू एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ डिजिटल करेंसी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज हैज प्रोवाइडेड इन प्रिंसिपल अप्रूवल टू फोर फ्लोटिंग जेटी प्रोजेक्ट्स इन कर्नाटका एंड फोर इन तमिलनाडु तो कर्नाटका में ऑलरेडी कुछ थे दीज फोर एडिशनल प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ कर्नाटका नाउ देर आर टोटल ऑफ हाउ मेनी तो देर वर ऑलरेडी सर्टन जेटीज फ्लोटिंग जेटीज इन कर्नाटका हाउ एवर नाउ फोर हैज कम अप सो द टोटल विल बी इलेवन ओके विद विच कंट्री हैज इंडिया साइन एंड ऑडियो विजुअल को प्रोडक्शन अग्रीमेंट अंडर विच प्राइवेट कॉसी गवर्नमेंट और द गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज ऑफ टू कंट्रीज एंटर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू प्रोड्यूस फिल्म टूगेदर This is important. Australia is the right answer. So Australia के साथ इंडिया ने audio visual co-production agreement sign करा है. Under which private quasi government and government agencies of the two countries will enter into contract to produce films together. Okay. How much liquidity has RBI infused into the banking system via 14-day variable in March 2023? ये इतना important नहीं है. बिकॉज आर बी आई कीप्स इन्फ्यूजिंग लिक्विडिटी थ्रू वेरियस वेरिएबल रेपो ऑपरेशन तो ये मार्च का डेटा है हियर दी आंसर इज एटी टू सिक्स फिफ्टी करोर हु इज एशिया फर्स्ट वुमेन लोको पायलट सुरेखा यादव इज दी आंसर कैन एनी वन टेल मी कौन सी सिटी से बिलोंग करती है कौन सी स्टेट से है ये सुरेखा यादव जी एंड कहाँ से कहाँ तक इन्होंने ये लोको पायलट ट्रेन को चलाया था कैन एनी वन टेल मी हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी Which state does Surekha Yadav ji belong to? Okay, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has announced that the central government will continue the dash year interest-free loans to the state government. ये अभी हमने करा है. The answer is fifty and ten lakh crore. ये हमने अभी करा है. Maharashtra. Some who said Maharashtra? बहुत ही बढ़िया यार. वर्षा वॉज द फर्स्ट वन टू से महाराष्ट्र उनसे पहले नमिता ने भी बताया है सी एस टी टू शिरडी साई बाबा आई यू श्योर छत्रपति शिवाजी से तो था सोलापुर ये सोलापुर टू छत्रपति शिवाजी बिल्कुल सही बिल्कुल अब अविनाश अविनाश इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर बहुत ही बढ़िया बहुत ज्यादा बढ़िया According to the National Statistical Office data in SO, the per capita income in terms of net national income in current Current prices stood at dash in 22-23. So you have to tell me per capita income kya thi in terms of net national income. So the correct answer here is one lakh seventy-two thousand. And growth rate kitni hai? Fifteen point eight percent from the previous year. Recently, the central government has approved the additional central assistance of over rupees one eight one six crore under the NDRF. NDRF to five states. Five states ko mila hai ye central assistance. So what is the correct answer here? Which were affected by floods, landslide? ठीक है. Which of the following state is not a beneficiary of this amount? Which of the following state is not a beneficiary? Who is going to tell me? So Assam है, Himachal Pradesh yes, Karnataka yes, and Meghalaya also yes. So Arunachal Pradesh is not there. Which state instead is Nagaland? कौन सी पांच states को मिले हैं? Assam, Nagaland, Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, and Meghalaya. Recently, Union Minister of Home Affairs and Cooperation has said that India will be contributing 30% of the world's total milk production by 2023-24. India's milk production will reach 330 million metric tons per annum 
how much is the correct current milk production can anyone tell me india's rank in total milk production in the entire world what is india's rank very easy question so current milk production kitni hai it is uh, 126 million liter per day 126 bilkul 109 kon bol raha hai 126 hai koi baat nahi bilkul sahi namita 126 top rank first rank yes love and namita the first one to answer where will the meeting of sto heads of tourism administration 2024 be held to ye hogi kazakhstan mein so sto heads of tourism administration 2024 will be held in kazakhstan remember this recently ministry of textile has approved the setting up of seven mega integrated textile region apparel apparel kisi ne bhi answer diya tha iska seven states unhone batayi thi so you have to tell me the correct pair of states which are eligible for grant under this scheme तो असम कर्नाटका नहीं है कर्नाटका वेस्ट बंगाल नहीं है ये भी नहीं है तेलंगाना एंड गुजरात आर द राइट आंसर इज द राइट आंसर बिल्कुल 129 का है तेलंगाना एंड गुजरात रिसेंटली प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी इनोग्रेटेड ग्लोबल मिनिस्ट्री अन्ना कॉन्फ्रेंस इन न्यू डेली अलॉन्ग साइड द मीटिंग द यूनियन एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर जी हेल्ड बायोलैटरल मीटिंग विथ हिस्स काउंटर पार्ट फ्रॉम वेरियस कंट्रीज ठीक है ठीक है एक्सेट्रा अपेडा इज द नोडल एजेंसी फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस During the conference, APEDA has formulated a robust strategy to increase India's millet exports to achieve dash. This is important. Now, we have studied recently, and I have asked this question already: 100 million by 2025. How much is the budgetary outlay of PLI scheme for specialty steel? Very easy. 6322. Budgetary outlay is asked. Who is the PLI scheme for specialty steel? 6322. Recently, V8 Tech Vibag, a water technology firm, has won 800 crore project. Funded by World Bank and AIIB Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Where will the project be launched? The answer here is Bangladesh. However, abhi V8 Tech Vibag ko 44, I think 4400 crore ka bhi project mila hai. Kahan pe? Kis cheez ke liye? Desalinization ke liye mila hai. But in which state? Can anyone tell me the state? Okay. Identify the correct statement with regard to recently released the what, why, and how of the world crisis. Global. बांग्लादेश ठीक है ग्लोबल कमीशन ऑन द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ वाटर फेज वन रिव्यू फाइंडिंग्स रिपोर्ट द रिपोर्ट प्लेस ब्राजील आर द टॉप तो इसमें हमें क्या बताना है द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू टेल सो द रिपोर्ट प्लेस ब्राजील आर द टॉप ऑफ वर्ल्ड वाटर सप्लाई दिस इज इनकरेक्ट एज पर द रिपोर्ट इंडिया विल फेस रिडक्शन ऑफ ओवर थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द फूड सप्लाई दिस आई थिंक दिस इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट द रिपोर्ट रिलीज द ग्लोबल कमीशन ऑन द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑन द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ वाटर दिस इज करेक्ट द ग्लोबल कमीशन ऑन द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ वाटर इस कन्वीन बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ डेनमार्क फेसिलिटेटेड बाई ये भी करेक्ट है सो इन करेक्ट निकालिए ना हमें करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विल बी ओनली थ्री सी ओनली ठीक है तो द रिपोर्ट प्लेस ब्राजील एट द टॉप फॉलोड बाई अर्जेंटीना आई थिंक इट वॉज नेदरलैंड ओके चलिए वेर इज द सेकेंड सस्टेनेबल फाइनेंस Working Group meeting held. Udaipur is the answer. Second Sustainable Finance Working Group meeting held. Udaipur is the correct answer. E. Okay. Recently, Tamil Nadu Millet Mission has been launched for a period of five years. Okay. The mission will provide subsidies for bringing millet cultivation to fallow lands, crop diversification to millets in fifty thousand acres. What is the budget of this mission? Not difficult at all. Eighty two crore. Eighty two crore. का बजट है कितने क्या टेन है पीरियड फॉर फाइव इयर्स व्हाई मिलेट कल्टीवेशन टू फॉलो लैंड तमिलनाडु मिलेट मिशन ओके हाउ मच एक्सटेंडेड फंड फैसिलिटी हैज बीन अप्रूव्ड फॉर श्रीलंका ओके यहां पे आपसे एक्सटेंडेड फंड फैसिलिटी पूछा है तो टोटल इमरजेंसी फैसिलिटी मिली थी आई थिंक थ्री बिलियन डॉलर की प्लीज करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग थ्री बिलियन डॉलर की इनिशियली मिली थी एंड एक्सटेंड हुई थी थ्री बिलियन डॉलर ओके हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स वर एडेड बाय ईपीएफओ इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी ये हमें अभी नहीं करना आंसर इज 14.86 लाख हाउएवर हमारे लिए अब नहीं रेलेवेंट जनवरी का डेटा ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं ठीक है इन मार्च 2023 द सिटी फाइनेंस रैंकिंग द सिटी फाइनेंस रैंकिंग पोर्टल दिस इज द पोर्टल हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स Which of the following statement is are correct with regard to the city finance ranking? Okay, 
the city finance ranking 22 was launched by hardeep singh puri honorable minister for urban development in 2023 in 2022 okay so this is an incorrect statement the ulbs urban local bodies are assessed on 15 indicators and three key municipal finance assessment parameters esi hai the source mobilization expenditure performance fiscal governance infrastructure development and public health management system are the key nahi sirf three key parameters hain these are the key parameters resource mobilization expenditure performance fiscal governance so this statement is also incorrect so all cities jo hai unka score char population categories mein hoga this is correct above four above four million one to four million hundred k to one million and less than so this statement is correct so hame kya batana tha we had to tell the correct statement two and four will be the correct answer here फर्स्ट का होगा 2022 एंड इसमें एक्स्ट्रा पैरामीटर्स गिवन है सी वन टू एंड फोर इंडिया फर्स्ट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हैज रिसीव फाइनल अप्रूवल फ्रॉम सेबी टू लॉन्च इट्स आईपीओ आईपीओ लॉन्च कर रहे हैं व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बैंक्स इज द प्रमोटर ऑफ दिस लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इट इज नॉट आईडीएफसी इट इज तो पहले तो इंडिया फर्स्ट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी है प्रमोटर बैंक है बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा रिसेंटली यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह विल इनोग्रेट द वैदिक हेरिटेज पोर्टल for helping researchers in deeper understanding of the vedic knowledge tradition and help the common people to have general understanding of the ancient scriptures which of the following institutions hosts the platform a very easy question kaun batayega iska sahi answer the correct answer here is indira gandhi national center of art a very easy question which state has launched the mukhya mantri briksh sampada yojana a mega scheme aimed at encouraging commercial production this here the correct answer is chatisgarh a theek hai okay chatisgarh is the correct answer 50 uh, under this mukhya mantri vriksh sampada yojana 50% ki subsidy milegi commercial uh, plantation ke liye 5 acres se zyada jo bhi apne land pe commercial plantation karta hai they will get 50% subsidy by the chatisgarh government mukhya mantri vriksh sampada sampada yojana which company has developed ins and roth a very easy kaun si company hai grse how many countries participated in af index africa india index sorry africa india defense exercise africa india defense exercise so how many countries participated in in 24 kahan pe hua tha can anyone tell me this index oh, sorry this exercise why am i saying index again and again africa india exercise defense exercise kahan hui thi recently ins sujata a ship based at southern naval command kochi visited port maputo and you have to tell where is this port maputo located it is in mozambique ins sujata a ship based in southern naval command kochi pe ye hai and this visited this port maputo port in mozambique okay national agricultural cooperative marketing federation of india nafed has signed an mou with ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare to extend its support to millet initiative under the collaboration nafed has started extending marketing linkages to millet centric startups setting up a millet corner in nafed bazaar retail store bahut hi lamba question hai hame kya batana hai who is the chair of nafed bas okay the correct answer here is bijender singh bahut hi zyada lamba question hai okay where was the two day g20 riig ye important hai riig कहा ऑर्गेनाइज हुई थी सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज दिब्रुगर पुणे यस हुएवर सेड अफ्रीका इंडिया डिफेंस एक्सरसाइज इट वाज कंडक्टेड इन पुणे बिल्कुल सही द इंडियन हायर एजुकेशन मीट 2023 विल बी हेल्ड इन ढाका बांग्लादेश इट इज बीइंग कंडक्टेड अंडर द एजेस ऑफ द स्टडी इन इंडिया प्रोग्राम सो आई थिंक आपको बस यही बताना है इट इज अ फ्लैगशिप प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन व्हिच ईयर who is going to tell me kaun se year mein aayi thi very easy question study in india government schemes mein bhi humne ye padha hai so it was in 2018 recently the union minister of port shipping and waterway sobanda sanowal ji he launched the green tak transition program which of the following statement is are correct with regard to this program so hame kya batana hai correct statement theek hai green tak transition program aims to have green tugs in all majority ports by 2030 this is incorrect it is 2025 under the green tak transition program 50% of all tugs are likely to be converted into green trucks by 2030 50% by 2030 india aims to reduce carbon emissions per ton of cargo handled by ports in india by 50% in 2035 i think this is also incorrect 
so here the correct answer will be none are correct okay none is correct love only to nahi hai none is correct okay theek hai okay central government has launched the digitized claim settlement module digi claim under the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana to help farmers receive the disbursed amount electronically like in the case of pm kisan in how many states is the module launched in the initial phase the correct answer is six states six states mein ye launch hua hai module so central government has launched digitized claim settlement module digi claim kaun si ke, uh, scheme ke liye pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana ke liye okay claim settlement ke liye hai initially six uh, states mein hai. then it is an easy question indian highway management company limited has collaborated with meeti startup hub to organize hackathon and we, what do you have to tell judy has short listed five applicants in the hackathon including senior officials from nha meeti and which iit five applicants in the high, uh, in the hackathon from which iit this is iit madras very easy question okay so namita has also told the six states six states in which digi claim will be launched in initial phase very good namita bilkul theek hai cabinet committee on economic affairs has extended the subsidy of rupees dash per lpg bahut hi zyada easy question hai yahi se hi main bata sakti hu 200 per lpg aage kuch padhne ki zarurat bhi nahi padegi the answer will be a fir bhi dekh lete hain so for a period of one year under pradhan mantri ujwala yojana सब्सिडी मिल रही है द सब्सिडी विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द बेनिफिशियरी फॉर अप टू ट्वेल्व रिफिल्स पर ईयर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च प्रधानमंत्री उज्ज्वला योजना इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू प्रोवाइड डिपॉजिट फ्री एल पी जी कनेक्शन टू अडल्ट वुमेन ऑफ पुअर हाउस होल्ड सो ए विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व एंड ओके यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज श्री भूपेंद्र यादव जी लॉन्च दी Uh, Aravalli Green Wall Project, a major initiative to make five kilometer buffer area around the Aravalli Hill Range in four states. So, you have to know four states. Which state is the project launched in the initial state? Okay, you have to know the initial state. Initially, it will be in Haryana. And can anyone tell me these four states? Can anyone tell me these four states? Okay, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and Madhya Pradesh. Okay, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and Madhya Pradesh. Okay, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and Madhya ओके द सेंट्रल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज रेस्ड द डेली वेज रेट्स अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री सॉरी महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी स्कीम एम जी नरेगा अप टेन परसेंट बाई अप टू टेन परसेंट फॉर एस वाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो यहाँ पे किसकी डेली वेज रेट्स की बात हो रही है द गवर्नमेंट हैज रेस द डेली वेज अप टू टेन परसेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फ्रॉम अयर बिफोर इन एप्सल्यूट टर्म्स डेली वेज हैव बिन रेस्ड इन दिस रेंज इस रेंज में इंक्रीज हुआ है विद स्टेट रिसीव द हाईएस्ट इंक्रीज ध्यान रखना यहां पे इंक्रीज की बात हो रही है कौन सी स्टेट ने हाईएस्ट इंक्रीज करा है द आंसर हियर इज राजस्थान हाउएवर हिट व्हिच स्टेट्स गिव द हाईएस्ट वेज इट इज हरियाणा हरियाणा दिल्ली गुजरात राजस्थान बिल्कुल सही किसने बताया है सही आंसर सबसे पहले इट इज ऋतिका एंड उनसे भी पहले किसी ने नहीं बताया ओके देयर आर पीपल नमिता इज द फर्स्ट वन अगेन वेरी गुड यार बहुत ही बढ़िया Where has the second environment climate sustainability working group meeting? Where was the second environment climate sustainability working group meeting? It was in Mahatma Mandir Convention and Exhibition Center. From which company is Ministry of Defence procuring two integrated electronic warfare system under the Project Him Shakti? Important question here. At an overall cost of three thousand crore. So this is B E L Bharat Electronics Limited. ऐसे याद रख सकते हैं टू इंटीग्रेटेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वॉरफेयर फ्रॉम भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक लिमिटेड यू एन डी पी एंड ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड हैव साइन न्यू अक्रेडिटेशन अक्रेडिटेशन मास्टर अग्रीमेंट ए एम ए अप टू ओके पूरा पढ़ लेते हैं टू डिलीवर वाइटल क्लाइमेट फाइनेंस टू कंट्रीज इन क्रिटिकल डेकेट फॉर एक्शन द ए एम ए वुड एक्सटेंड द पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन यू एन डी पी एंड जी एफ सी ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड अप टू विच ईयर इज गोइंग टू टेल मी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर आई थिंक फाइव ईयर्स के लिए है So the correct answer here will be twenty twenty seven. Okay, what is IIT Mumbai's rank in engineering and technology? 
कैटेगरी ऑफ यू एस वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी रैंकिंग बाई सब्जेक्ट ट्वेंटी तो दो तीन चीजें याद रखनी है फर्स्टली ये सब्जेक्ट पूछ रहा है रैंकिंग बाई सब्जेक्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी However, very recently QS World University ranking आई है I think in the month of June only for 2024. Okay, तो so, इसमें आपको किसकी rank पूछी है IIT Bombay बॉम्बे की द रैंक इज फोर्टी सेवन ओके ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री में अभी रिसेंटली ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर का भी डेटा आया है ओवरऑल नॉट बाई सब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज ओवरऑल रैंकिंग आई आई टी डेली फोर्टी एट हु एवर सेट दिस नमिता बिल्कुल सही आई आई टी डेली इसके बाद आई आई टी बॉम्बे की रैंक है फोर्टी सेवन ओके okay, यहाँ पे मेंशन है आईआईटी दिल्ली आईआईटी बॉम्बे फोर्टी सेवन आई टी दिल्ली फोर्टी एट टॉप करा है इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में एमआईटी में एमआईटी के बाद कौन है क्या एनी वन टेल मी हु इज द सेकंड आफ्टर एमआईटी आई थिंक इट इज केम्ब्रिज ओके एंड देन आर्ट्स एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज में हार्वर्ड ने एंड लाइफ साइंस एंड मेडिसिन ने मे भी हार्वर्ड ने देन विच ऑफ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर करेक्ट विद रिगार्ड टू द सिंथेसिस रिपोर्ट On IPCC sixth assessment report 2023, you have to tell me the correct statement here. Okay. The synthesis report SYR integrated the main findings of sixth assessment report, which was released in 2021, 22. Yes, sir. AR six synthesis report climate change 2023 summarizes five years of the report. So yes, this report me five years summarizes hai. on global temperature rises. Or this report ne ye bhi bataya hai. It is likely that this will reach 1.5 degree Celsius between 2030 and 2035 GHG emissions की बात हो रही है GH GHG greenhouse gas emissions will lead to increasing global warming in the near term and it is likely that it will reach 1.5 percent between 2030 and 2035 this is also correct उसके अलावा global temperature अभी कितना है 1.1 degree Celsius and the current climate policies are projected to increase the global warming by 3.2 degree Celsius by 2100 तो हियर सारे ही स्टेटमेंट्स करेक्ट है आंसर विल बी एंड आर करेक्ट केम्ब्रिज बिल्कुल सही ओके ठीक है विच मल्टीलैटरल एजेंसी हैज अनाउंस टू इन्वेस्ट 600 करोड़ इन न्यू लास्ट माइल मोबिलिटी वेरी इजी महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा की लास्ट माइल मोबिलिटी पे कौन सी मल्टी एजेंसी इन्वेस्ट करने वाली है दंसर इज आई एफ सी वर्ल्ड बैंक ग्रुप के अंदर आती है इट गिव लोन टू प्राइवेट कंपनीज फॉर देयर प्रोजेक्ट वेर आर आर बी आई ग्रीन फील्ड डेटा सेंटर एंड इंटरप्राइज कंप्यूटिंग सिक्योरिटी ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट बींग डेवलप वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओडिशा इसका आंसर है भुवनेश्वर ओके हु चेयर आई एफ एस सी एस कमिटी फॉर्मड टू एनकरेज द इंडिया फिनटेक एंड स्टार्टअप डोमिसाइल अब्रॉड टू रीलोकेट द आई एफ एस द गिफ्ट आई एफ एस सी हु चेयर द आई एफ एस सी एस कमिटी फॉर्म टू एनकरेज इंडियन फिनटेक्स एंड स्टार्टअप डोमिसाइल अब्रॉड टू रीलोकेट गिफ्ट आई एफ एस सी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज जी पद्मनाभन ये हमने आर वी टू फोर सेवन में भी कवर करा हुआ है ओके भुवनेश्वर यस बिल्कुल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं वॉट इज द लिमिट ऑन डिपॉजिट एंड महिला सम्मान सेविंग सर्टिफिकेट अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बहुत ज्यादा बार ये हमने पढ़ लिया है बहुत ज्यादा बार सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज टू लैख सो दिस इज द डिपॉजिट लिमिट टू लैख के नहीं वन टेल मी द इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड ऑल्सो द टेन ऑर कितने साल के लिए है ये What is the interest rate and tenure? Which national park hosted the Gaj Utsav? Very, very, very easy. Kaziranga National Park. Who heads the Finance Ministry's panel to suggest reforms in the national pension scheme? This is also easy. T V Somana. So T V, a panel was made by Finance Ministry, ka, and the head was T V Somana. In which state has Quality Council of India launched its first of its kind Gunvatta Sankalp? Very easy. The answer is Uttar Pradesh. इजी क्वेश्चन है कुछ क्वेश्चन तो काफी इजी है ओके समरी सेम टू ईयर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बिल्कुल सही क्वार्टरली भी बता दिया है बहुत ही बढ़िया वेरी गुड सबने बता दिया विच हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू पास राइट टू हेल्थ बिल बताओ कौन बताएगा द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज राजस्थान वॉट इज द न्यू एम एस पी फॉर रॉ जूट फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर सीजन इंपॉर्टेंट है The new MSP for raw jute is five zero five zero. Number easy is five zero five zero. Which organization? I think five zero five zero per quintal. Which organization has released the triple threat report? TTT. The triple threat report. Easy is UNICEF. Who is saying Raj? Raj, who is? Rajasthan. Okay. Right to okay okay ठीक है 
which of the following statement is are correct in relation to world happiness report okay you have to tell me the correct statement un sustainable development solutions network has been re, uh, releasing this report annually since 1978 this statement is incorrect the parameters of the report include social support income health freedom generosity and absence of corruption this is correct this year the report has reduced the number of countries stressed from 146 and to 136 this is also correct so pehle uh, yes pehle 146 assess hue the now 136 can anyone tell me india's rank i think ye economic survey or budget mein bhi mention hai lithuania is the new entrant in the top 20 of this report this statement is also correct so the second third and fourth is correct answer ho jayega b ओके वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स बिल्कुल बहुत बढ़िया ओके यहीं पे ही मेंशन है ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज यू एन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट हैज रिलीज वर्ल्ड हैप्पीनेस रिपोर्ट द रिपोर्ट हैज बीन रिलीज एनुअली सिंस 2012 थाउजेंड यस आई फॉर द ईयर 2012 है नॉट 1978 उसके अलावा 136 कंट्रीज टोटल एंड दीज आर द पैरामीटर्स इंडिया की रैंक है वन इन ट्वेंटी इंडियन रैंक वन सिक्स वन थर्टी सिक्स आउट ऑफ वन फोर्टी सिक्स कंट्रीज इस बार वन थर्टी सिक्स टोटल कंट्रीज है एंड बॉटम रैंक पर कौन है अफगानिस्तान रिसेंटली दिलमा रोसफ हैज बिन सिलेक्टेड एज द हेड ऑफ एन डी बी न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक विच कंट्री डज ही बिलोंग टू वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन द आंसर इज ब्राजील हु हैज वन द जेन नेक्स्ट ऑन्टरप्रनोर अवार्ड ये तो सभी को पता होगा इसमें आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव टू इवन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन who has won the gen next entrepreneur award at the 12th edition of the forbes india leadership awards it is not uh, mani bhai naik it is not abha soni it is isha ambani recently g20 export uh, sorry expert group on strengthening multilateral development banks has been constituted under g20's india's presidency the panel would ascertain the scale of funding required by by and from mds by addressing their and member countries increasing financial needs for sdg bahut hi lamba who is the convener of this expert group okay so g20 expert group on strengthening multilateral development bank who is the convener of this group the correct answer here is not keep this this nk singh nk singh is the correct answer yes c d nk singh meeti that is ministry of electronics and it has constituted a task force to make india a product developer and manufacturing nation the task force will be chaired by the additional secretary bhuvnesh kumar with joint secretary amitesh kumar sinha of as the member convener what is the strength of this panel to koi panel task force jo bana hai like the, the task force will be chaired by kon kon chair karega iski strength batani hai very easy the answer is 9 9 uh, who is the first one to give the answer uh, i think it is namita again Which state has received 108 million dollar loan from the World Bank to improve disaster preparedness? Easy hai. Answer is Assam. Where is the Gandhamar Hill located? Bio heritage site hai in Odisha. Okay. Yes, Odisha me kitni bio heritage sites hai? Can anyone tell me? असम यस इसका असम है बिल्कुल ओडिशा लव इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर थ्री ईशानी इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर एंड लव आल्सो थ्री बिल्कुल सही हु चेयर्स द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंज्यूमर अफेयर्स न्यूली कंस्टिट्यूटेड कमिटी टू मॉनिटर द स्टॉक ऑफ टुर हेल्थ बाय इंपोर्टर्स मिलर्स ट्रेडर्स एंड अदर सच एंटिटीज द आंसर हियर इज नितिन खरे सॉरी निधि खरे who chairs the department of consumer affairs newly constituted committee to monitor the stock of tur the correct answer here is nithi hare what is the score of india in the global terrorism index ye easy hai also please tell me what is india's rank in the global terrorism index so the correct answer here is a 7.175 who is going to tell me india's rank in global terrorism index ओके okay. यहीं पे आ गया ग्लोबल टेररिज्म इंडेक्स इंडिया की रैंक है थर्टीन कौन रिलीज करता है इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड पीस आई ई पी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड पीस इकोनॉमिक्स एंड पीस 
has released the Global Terrorism Index 2023 and also its 10th edition. 163 countries in total most affected. Afghanistan, somebody said 77, 13 is the rank. Okay, so 13 is India's rank, 7.175 score head, top pe hai Afghanistan, second Burkina Faso and 8.82 is the rank, oh, sorry, is the score of Afghanistan. Which company has launched India's first anywhere cashless feature important hai for health insurance policy? So, ye do things hai padni hai, which company has launched this industry's first anywhere cashless feature for Health insurance policy, it is ICICI, Lombard General Insurance. A is the answer. Which company has received RBI's approval to commence operations as an NBFC account aggregator? This has been explained uh, in RBI 247 sessions. Account aggregator kya karte hain? So which company has received? A, sahi answer hai, CIRIS Connect Private received approval from RBI to become NBFC account aggregator. Who has been appointed as the CMD of Cotton Corporation of India? Bohat easy hai, Cotton Corporation of India, Lalit Kumar Gupta. Can anyone tell me CIC ka head kon hai, Competition Commission of India? CRIF Connect, bilkul sahi hai, ICIC Lombard bhi sahi hai, aage badte hai. Which metro was honored with the prestigious Asia Book of Records certification for three different categories? Yes, so this metro ne three different categories mein, uh, Asia Book mein records leke aai hai. So this is Nagpur Mahametro, Nagpur Metro. Where was the first meeting of G20 Chief Science Advisors Round Table held? Acha question hai. First meeting of the G20 Chief Advisors Round Table Conference. It was held in not Shimla. It is Ramnagar. B. Ravneet Kaur, bohat badiya. Siddharth Chonkar is the first one. Uh, usse pehle Namita ne bhi answer hai. Namita bohat hi badiya. Which state has received 363 million loan to provide clean drinking water supply to 2 million rural household? in the state through pipe water connection in their homes. So, which state hai which has received 363 million loan? So, here the correct answer is Karnataka. Okay. Choose the incorrect pairs. Okay. We have to choose the incorrect pair. So, in the Lika National Park, Himachal Pradesh, yes. Madhav National Park, Madhya Pradesh, yes. Kudremukh National Park, Karnataka, yes. Silent Valley National Park, Kerala, yes. Pench National Park is not UP. I think Pench National Park is an MP. So, incorrect ho jayega only 5. Can anyone tell me where is Pench National Park? Where is the port Ansiranamana located? It is located in Madagascar. Okay. Madagascar may located here. MP, bilkul thik, thik hai. Pension MP. Okay, so the, so the capital of Madagascar is Anta, Anta, Na, Na, Rivo. Okay, the currency is Arayari and government type unitary semi presidential republic. Thik hai, itni detail mein India. Next question. In March 2023, the WHO has certified Azerbaijan and Tajikistan as malaria free countries. So, which of the following statements are correct? For, elimination, uh, for achieving elimination of malaria, malaria free countries ho hai, Azerbaijan and Tajikistan. Hai. Ab hume batana hai which of the following statement is correct. A total of 41 countries and one territory have been certified as malaria free by WHO including 21 countries in the European region. This is correct statement. 11 countries are classified as high burden, high initiative for malaria. Hai. India aims to eliminate malaria by 2030. Burkina Faso, Cameroon, DRC, Ghana, India, Mali, Mozambique, Niger, etc. etc. are 11 high burden, high initiative for malaria. This statement, this pura fact you have to remember. So I think all the correct statements are answer kya ho jayega? None is incorrect. E. All are correct. Pench is both in Maharashtra and MP. Okay. Okay. Juhi. Okay. GTRI, which is Global Trade Research Institute, has released report blueprint for realizing India's e-commerce export potential. India's merchandise import for the fiscal year ending March 23 are estimated to touch USD 710 billion, up from 613 billion in 2022, an increase of over 15.8% over the last year. As per the report, India's major importing partner China, oh, oh, bhoot bada question hai. 
विद सेक्टर अकाउंट्स फॉर द मेजर प्रपोर्शन ऑफ चाइनीज इम्पोर्टेड प्रोडक्ट्स इन इंडिया ठीक है लास्ट लाइन पे आ जाते हैं विद सेक्टर अकाउंट्स फॉर द मेजर प्रपोर्शन ऑफ चाइनीज इम्पोर्ट प्रोडक्ट्स इन इंडिया ये बहुत ईजी आई होप सबको पता होगा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज द राइट आंसर ईयर ठीक है वट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन द पासपोर्ट इंडेक्स अच्छा क्वेश्चन है हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी वॉट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन पासपोर्ट इंडेक्स सेवेंटी वन Who is the topper? Passport index. Who is the topper? I think UAE. Yes, UAE. Top pe hai UAE. India's rank ke seventy one shared with Tajikistan and Zimbabwe. Art and capital ki ye report hai. Metals kon bol raha hai bhai? Metals to nahi hai. ठीक है. World Food Programme of FAO has released the state of school feeding uh, worldwide twenty twenty two. The state of school feeding worldwide publication is issued every two years. ठीक है. and uses the best data available best available data sources to provide an overview of coverage implementation practices cost of school based health and nutrition programs worldwide again bahut lambi statement here we are talking about world food Pro Pro program of fao unhone ek report release kari hai this report lauds the work done by the school meal coalition when was this initiative launched bahut easy question hai it is 2021 school meals coalition 71 bilkul 70% ठीक है, 2021. This initiative was launched in 2021. ठीक है. अच्छा है. The correct answer, बहुत इजी इसका अमाउंट है एटी एट हंड्रेड करोड टू रिमेम्बर दिस अमाउंट इट इज इजी द इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉज गिवन बाय द कम्पलाइंस ऑडिट रिपोर्ट ये नंबर ठीक है कैग ने हमें ये इन्फॉर्मेशन दी है द इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गिवन बाई कैग डी एफ एस had given 8800 crore ka loan to sbi as part of its recapitalization exercise in fy18 okay so with this we come to 190 questions se march mein we come to april if there is any problem you can mention here otherwise april month mein chalte hain Okay, I will just get water. Give me a minute. ओके अप्रैल आई होप ये सेशंस आपको ठीक लग रहे हैं एंड आल्सो द क्वेश्चंस आर ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी एंड आल्सो आप लोग सॉल्व भी कर पा रहे हैं योर एग्जाम इज जस्ट इन टू डेज एंड आई विश एवरीबॉडी ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर द एग्जाम अप्रैल मंथ के क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट करते हैं इज एवरीवन रेडी ठीक है एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल प्लीज डू सो अभी यू विल गेट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन ओनली वेन यू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल Let's get started with the month of April. Okay, the first question. Recently, the Parliament has passed Competition Amendment Bill 2023 to amend the Competition Act 2022. 2002, क्या? Okay. Yes. Which of the following is the correct statement about the bill? Correct statement बतानी है about the bill. The bill. Gives the power of CCI to penalize entities found engaging. So, we have only asked about amendments. Amendment. So, here this is not the right answer. The bill and the companies will have to seek CCI's approval for mergers acquisition in case the deal's value is worth four thousand crore. I think it is two thousand crore. The bill has also reduced the time limit for approval of mergers and acquisition from existing two ten days to one fifty days. This is a correct statement. So, we have asked about correct, and this is the correct statement here. C is the correct statement. So C will be the correct statement because A B C E me hi answer hai. You guys haven't given the answer abhi tak. Okay. Ab reply nahi aa rahe hain. Kya baat ho gayi? Next move. Next question. Which 
विद विच यूरोपियन कंट्री हैज इंडिया कोलेबोरेटेड टू क्रिएट रियल टाइम अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम फॉर फ्लड बहुत ज्यादा न्यूज में था द आंसर इज यूके ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर इज करेक्टली मैच विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर इज करेक्टली मैच वाई एम आई नॉट रिसीविंग एनी आंसर नाउ इम्प्रेस शगुन इंशोर सागर सेतु जंग समर्थ तो इम्प्रेस जो है इट इज सोशल साइंस की सोशल साइंस रिसर्च ओके शगुन शगुन इज फॉर एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन इंश्योर इंश्योर इज फॉर आई थिंक पेमेंट सागर सेतु सागर सेतु इज टू प्रोवाइड रियल टाइम इंफॉर्मेशन एंड एक्टिविटीज इनेबलिंग डिजिटल पेमेंट दिस इज करेक्ट ठीक है then uh, jan samar jan sub okay so i think this is for uh, ensure to make subsidiary payment to provide better simpler transfer nahi nahi ensure is for payment services and jan samar is for inclusive growth and development inclusive growth and development so the correct answer here will be sagar setu hame kya batana tha correctly matched so the answer is four okay yahan pe answer given hai impress portal is for social security research in policy relevant areas so as to provide vital uh, inputs to policy formulation bilkul sahi shagun to capture and showcase innovations in progress in elementary education theek hai ensure to make payment process better simpler and transparent and jan samarth theek hai jan samarth is to encourage inclusive growth and development bilkul sagar setu chat error okay theek hai okay varsha sabke comments band hue the bilkul Okay, so there might be a chat error, but thanks for replying. The answer is Sagar Setu. Okay, credit guarantee scheme for MSME, बहुत ही ज़्यादा important scheme है. I think Manish sir ने तो बहुत ही ज़्यादा बार बता दिया है ये scheme को. The credit guarantee scheme for MSME has been revamped with effect from first April twenty twenty three. The new changes include reduction. अब ये ध्यान से पढ़ना. What is this component talking about? Reduction of annual guarantee fee. This is talking about guarantee fee for loans up to dash from a peak rate of two percent to as low as zero point three percent. So यहाँ पे बात हो रही है annual guarantee fee की. The correct answer here will be E. One crore. सबको समझ आ गया? One crore. बिल्कुल ठीक है. It is not five crore. It is one crore. Rahul. यहाँ पे रिडक्शन इन दुअल गारंटी फी की बात हो रही है हुई किसान गौरव सम्मान अच्छा क्वेश्चन है राजेश रजवान इज द आंसर हियर विच प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश हैज गॉट द प्रोटेक्टेड जी आई टैग फ्रॉम यूरोपियन कमीशन ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी क्वेश्चन है हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन कांग्राटी बहुत बार हमने बहुत सारे मॉक्स में ये क्वेश्चन देखा हुआ है कांग्राटी हैज रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम यूरोपियन कमीशन सो इफ दिस कम्स इनटू क्वेश्चन कि कहां से मिला है इट इज यूरोपियन कमीशन व्हिच कंपनी हैज डेवलप्ड द थर्ड जनरेशन मैन पोर्टेबल एंटी टैंक गाइडेड मिसाइल अमोग 3 अमोग 3 किसने बनाया है इट इज भारत डायनामिक्स लिमिटेड ओके व्हिच कंट्री हैज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द लिस्ट व्हिच कंट्री हैज बीन रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द लिस्ट ऑफ हाई रिस्क Third countries by European Union. The answer here is Pakistan. बहुत ही ज़्यादा easy. Who is mentioned on the list of astronauts on Artemis II mission? Who is mentioned on the list of astronauts? So here the answer is Christina Koch. So uh, what is special about this mission is one person of color and one woman will be included. So this is an inclusive mission, and the woman is Christina Koch. Can anyone tell me or कोई member का नाम At least you should know the name of this person. Okay उत्पाल no issues as long as you are answering it is fine. Christina Koch yes first is the correct answer. Okay which of the following is not among the pillars of FTP ये important और बहुत अच्छा question है not among the pillars of FTP. Export promotion through collaboration, exporters, states, district, Indian missions. Yes. Incentive to remission. Yes. Reduction in emission intensity of GDP. ये नहीं है. So not पूछा है. I think yes. Three will be the correct answer. C. V is Redmond करके था. Okay. Victor Glover. Yes. Victor Glover. बिल्कुल सही. Jeremy. Yes. Red Wiseman. Okay. 
वेरी गुड सबके आंसर आ गए चलो बहुत बढ़िया इमर्जिंग एरियाज ई कॉमर्स डेवलपिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज एक्सपोर्ट हब एंड स्ट्रीम लाइन कॉमेट पॉलिसीज कॉमेट की फुलफॉर्म याद रखनी है ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस रिडक्शन इन ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट एंड ई इनिशिएटिव सो करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज थ्री बिकॉज ग्रीन यस एमिशन इंटेंसिटी को रिडक्शन ये दैट वॉज नॉट एन पिलर हियर ओके फॉरन ट्रेड पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फोकस ऑन स्ट्रीम लाइनिंग दिस कॉमेट पॉलिसी जस्ट मैंशन हियर कॉमेट में एम की फुल फॉर्म बतानी है कैन एनी वन टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ कॉमेट एम होता है मटीरियल कॉमेट तो कॉमेट इज केमिकल ऑर्गेनिज्म मटीरियल एंड एस और ई टी से भी कुछ होता है फुल फॉर्म ऑफ कॉमेट नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द टैग लाइन ऑफ यूको बैंक करेक्ट आंसर ए ही है ऑनर्स योर ट्रस्ट Which fintech company has partnered with Women Entrepreneurship Platform (WEP) as part of its CSR initiative to equip women entrepreneurs with domain language as well as financial and technical know-how needed to fulfill business goals? This is easy. The answer is Bharat Pay. Okay, ma'am. Utpal hai na ki Utpal. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Special chemicals, organisms, material, engineering, technology. Very good. Thank you. Avinash is the one who answered. ओके अविनाश इज द वन हु आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बहुत ही बढ़िया थैंक यू अविनाश एंड कौशल एंड साक्षी अब तो सभी का आंसर आ गया ओके सो विच फिनटेक कंपनी हैज पार्टनर्ड विद डब्ल्यू ई पी इट इज भारत पे विच बैंक हैज लॉन्च व्हाट्सएप बैंकिंग सर्विसेज बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी है एयरटेल और आई पी पी बी इंडियन पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक व्हाट्सएप बैंकिंग सर्विसेज करेक्ट आंसर विल बी डी Which bank has launched Digi Portfolio an investment solution based on the risk appetite of investors a very easy question DBS so D and Digi Portfolio you can remember it like this How many advance pricing agreements again an easy question humne bahut zyada suna hua hai were signed by the CBDT with Indian taxpayers 95 Pin code is the e-commerce app of which company bahut easy hai phone pay फोन पे इस फोन पे की ई कॉमर्स एप इज पिन कोड द रीजन एम यू नो गोइंग फास्ट इज बिकॉज ये बहुत ईजी वन लाइन क्वेश्चन है नथिंग टू एक्सप्लेन हियर यू हैव टू रिमेबर द फैक्ट्स और रिविजन चल रहा है एंड यू विल नॉट गेट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन योर फाइनल एग्जाम वॉट इज द इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑन किसान विकास पत्र फॉर क्वार्टर वन ऑफ एफ वाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑन किसान विकास पत्र विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलीजेस India Development Update (IDU) report. Which organization is this? India Development की बात हो रही है. The organization will be World Bank. Who is the CEO and MD of Tata Power? अरे बहुत ही easy question है. CEO and MD of Tata Power is Praveer Sinha. India has become the first country in the world to develop its own sophisticated mathematical model to track and spread TB across. TB cases in consideration of the above statement, which of the following is our correct statement? So, is statement me kya hai? Is question me kya hai? WHO ke model ke according or India ke model ke according, alag alag incident rate hai India ka. Let's look at the question. Correct statement nikalni hai. According to WHO, India's TB incident rate per 10,000 one lakh population was 210. This is correct. According to India TB model for 2022, estimate the TB incident report. As per India TB model was not 106, I think it was 196. Okay. As per India's model estimates, India rate of reduction, India's rate of reduction in TB cases was not 22 percent. It is 18 percent, and the global rate is I think 11 percent. Can anyone tell me are these is this data correct or incorrect? 21 ka E all are correct. कौन बोल रहा है भाई? A is correct है. Avinash थोड़ा सा गलत हो गया यार इस बार. A is the correct answer here. 196 नॉट 198 ठीक है ये करेक्ट है फिर मतलब 196 करेक्ट है नमिता कैन यू आल्सो टेल मी 22 इट इज 18 ठीक है एंड दिस इज 11 देन आई एम श्योर ठीक है रिसेंटली इंटर ऑस्ट्रेलिया सेंटर फॉर एस्ट्रोनॉमी एंड एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स अंडर द यूजीसी हैज पार्टनर्ड विद नासा टू डेवलप आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड मॉडल फॉर प्रेडिक्टिंग सोलर स्टॉर्म्स व्हिच कंट्री डस द इंटर यूनिवर्सिटी सेंटर फॉर एस्ट्रोनॉमी एंड एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स बिलोंग टू सबसे इजी क्वेश्चन दुनिया का India is the correct answer here क्योंकि UGC जी सी भी गिवन है यहाँ पे ठीक है यस मैम यू आर करेक्ट ओके चलो थैंक यू विच कंपनी हैज डेवलप्ड द धवन टू क्रायोजेनिक ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा ईजी क्वेश्चन है धवन टू क्रायोजेनिक रॉकेट इंजन स्काई रूट एरोस्पेस 
the sorry ministry of new and renewable energy has announced a plan to add dash gigawatt of renewable energy capacity in the next 5 years to achieve its target of 500 gigawatt of clean energy by 2030 a very easy question 250 नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स में 250 लेके आएंगे तभी 500 गीगावाट ऑफ क्लीन एनर्जी का टारगेट होगा बाय 2030 सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज रीच्ड द हाईएस्ट एवर जीआई रजिस्ट्रेशन इन 22-23 बाय कंप्लीटिंग 33 33 न्यू जीआई रजिस्ट्रेशन अंडर द ज्योग्राफिकल इंडिकेशंस ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट 1993 हाउ मेनी प्रोडक्ट्स आर जीआई टैक्स नाउ ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी क्वेश्चन है 465 रिसेंटली यूपी स्टेट के सेवन प्रोडक्ट्स को जी आई टैग मिला है डू रीड दिस इन द मंथ ऑफ जून ओनली ओके एंड हु गिव्स दिस जी आई टैग कैन एनी वन टेल मी हु गिव्स दिस जी आई टैग इज इट डी पी आई आई टी और कोई और देता है अब तो ये क्वेश्चन रटा रट चुका है येस वेरी इजी और स्पेशली जब आप यू नो रिविजन कर रहे हैं तो डेफिनेटली सारी चीजें आपको रटी गई होंगी ओके who is the chair of 14 member committee formed by union housing and urban affairs minister to examine stalled real estate project ye bhi bahut easy hai 14 member committee hai remember this and who is chairing uh, this committee it is amitabh kant bahut easy questions hai chennai based headquarter hai darjeeling t was first theek hai seven bilkul dpiit bahut badhiya thank you whoever answered this Which state has launched India's first cool roof policy? ये हमने पहले ही पढ़ लिया आंसर इज तेलंगाना ईयर याद रख लेना इंडिया फर्स्ट कूल रूफ पॉलिसी रिसेंटली यू के हैज अनाउंस टू बिकम दिल्थ मेंबर ऑफ द सी पी टी पी पी विच इज कॉम्प्रेहेंसिव प्रोग्रेसिव अग्रीमेंट ऑन फॉर ट्रांस पैसेफिक पार्टनरशिप आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट विद रिगार्ड टू Uh, the progressive agreement of okay cptpp is pre trade agreement between australia brunei darussalam canada chile japan malaysia mexico peru new zealand uh, singapore and vietnam this is correct inclusion of uk is the first inclusion yes and uh, the regional trade block came into effect in 2015 when did it come into effect it is not 2015 can anyone tell me kab aaya tha ye 2018 okay so uh, the block accounts for 13% of the world's income theek hai so the correct answer here will be b first two are correct and the 13% is the uh, sorry 2018 mein it came into place and india is not a member of this block also remember this and uk has been included ye bhi humne ab yaad kar liya and it is the 12th member which of the following issues is the washington treaty related to a very easy question washington treaty is related to the establishment of nato can anyone tell me when was nato established 2018 बिल्कुल अविनाश इट इज 2018 थाउजेंड एटीन कैन एनी वन टेल मी वेन डिड नेटो कम इन टू प्लेस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विद स्टेट हैज टॉप इंडिया लार्जेस्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ इंडिया जस्टिस रिपोर्ट आई जे आर ट्वेंटी तो कौन सी स्टेट ने टॉप करा है लार्जेस्ट कैटेगरी वेरी इजी इट इज कर्नाटका टोटल मेंबर थर्टी वन हु इज दर्टी वन थर्टी फर्स्ट मेंबर कैन एनी वन टेल मी नमिता कैन यू टेल मी हु इज दर्टी फर्स्ट मेंबर नेटो केम इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन में आया यार सब लोग क्या आंसर दे रहे हैं अच्छा वॉशिंगटन ट्रीटी नाइन आई थिंक वॉशिंगटन ट्रीटी नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन में आई होगी आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग एम आई राइट नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन में नेटो है या वॉशिंगटन ट्रीटी है नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन ही आंसर है एंड फिनलैंड येस इज ए न्यू मेंबर थर्टी फर्स्ट मेंबर ठीक है चलो कन्फ्यूज नहीं करना किसी ने भी फिनलैंड येस वॉट इज द टेन यूर ऑफ अमृत महोत्सव एफ डी ये क्वेश्चन हो गया येस कर्नाटका टेन ऑफ अमृत महोत्सव एफ डी इट इज वेरी इजी फोर फोर्टी फोर ट्रे ऑफ आई डी बी आई बैंक ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दिस किस बैंक की है तो अमृत महोत्सव एफ डी स्कीम इज ऑफ आई डी बी आई बैंक फोर फोर फोर्टी फोर डेज इज द टेन यूर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट बैंक इन द कंट्री टू ओपन स्पेशल रूपी वॉस्ट्रो अकाउंट थ्रू इट्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग बैंक इन मलेशिया तो कौन से बैंक ने मलेशिया में स्पेशल रूपी वॉस्ट्रो अकाउंट खोला है इट इज Indian that is India International Bank of Malaysia ठीक है तो the correct answer here will be Union Bank of India Union Bank of India recently the SBI has extended its We Care Senior Citizens Term Deposit Program for period of up to 30 June the interest rate offered under the scheme is 7.5 for 10 year ranging 5 to 10 years ये सारे facts याद रखने हैं 
uh, who has brought the scheme uh, SBI and purani scheme hai ab i think extend hui hai and uh, when was this product introduced by SBI easy hai this is 2020 okay has extended yes so it has extended the period of implementation 2020 may launch hui thi which bank launched digi digital dukan a comprehensive digital solution to empower merchants to accept payments through various digital modes and manage their day to day business digitally very easy digital dukan kon leke aaya hai axis bank okay who has been appointed as the executive director of rbi very easy question the answer is neeraj nigam neeraj chopra se yaad rakh sakte hain neeraj nigam executive director of rbi who has been appointed as the 40th president of fikki ladies organization who is the 40th president can anyone also tell me fikki ka headquarter kahan hai and iska answer very easy sudha shiv kumar who has been appointed as the md and ceo of axis securities for a tenure of 3 years very easy question answer md and ceo of axis security the answer is pranav haridasan when is the international day of conscience observed bahut easy hai april 5 kisi ka birthday hai april 5 ko so you can remember international day of conscience which npo has won the children's champion award 2023 in the health and nutrition category to so, kaun se npo ko mila hai uh, in uh, which award children's champion award in the health and nutrition category it is i think tapoban is tapoban the right answer 5th april theek hai 39 ka tapoban who was conferred Cavaliers de la Légion d'Honneur, which is French ambassador, the Knight of the Legion of Honor. Very easy question. I think Kiran Nadar is the right answer. Tapuban Assam, बिल्कुल. Tapuban is in Assam. ठीक है. ये भी सही बात है. Okay. Kiran Nadar received the Knight of the Legion of Honor of French. Okay. Which With which country has India signed defence cooperative agreement to set up and expand military cooperation between both countries? Both easy but important question. So the correct answer is Romania. With which country is India, India signed defence cooperation agreement to set up expand to set up and expand the military cooperation between these countries? It is Romania. Okay. With which OTT platform has union has Union Ministry of uh ib signed to deal signed a deal to stream tv shows and movies produced by government run studios it is easy amazon amazon ke sath ye deal sign hui hai which state has induced the first solar powered tourist vessel named suryamshu again easy solar powered tourist vessel hai suryamshu launched by kerala kerala first state tourism As per newspaper report published in April 2023, Union Cabinet has approved signing of the tripartite agreement with the German Development Bank (AFD) for signing a loan for the green uh, energy corridor project being implemented. The tripartite agreement kya hua? Government of India, the state government ka electricity board, and AFD, which is the German Development Bank. So with AFD, you can remember this Kerala State Electricity Board, both K. Okay, Kerala State Electricity Board. So the, the, this is how it is a tripartite. Gujarat niye beta na meta. It is Kerala. Remember it from K. So Kerala State Electricity Board and KFD. Koi baat nahi. Next question. Recently, the World Trade Organization has released the global trade global trade outlook. And uh, which of the following statement is are incorrect? Incorrect. Pucha hai. The world motion trade volume is projected to grow by grow one point seven percent in twenty three before picking up. Yes, sahi hai. पहले pick up करेगा and then finally growth will be uh, before picking up. To, yes, so twenty twenty four में growth is three point two percent. Value of world merchandise trade rose twelve percent to USD twenty five point three trillion. This is the correct statement. The value of world commercial service trade increased fifteen percent to twenty twenty two. सारी ही आई थिंक करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है तो हमसे इनकरेक्ट पूछा है आंसर विल बी नन आर इनकरेक्ट ऑल आर करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑल आर इनकरेक्ट नहीं ऑल आर करेक्ट है ओके 
वॉट वॉज द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ बैंक क्रेडिट ईयर ऑन ईयर बेसिस ये इंपॉर्टेंट है बैंक क्रेडिट में कितनी ग्रोथ थी एज पर आर बी आई डेटा इट इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट ओके इन दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर ऑन ईयर बेसिस पे ओके ओके नमिता नो प्रॉब्लम वॉट इज इंदिरा गांधी इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट पोजिशन इन एयरपोर्ट काउंसिल इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड बिजिएस्ट एयरपोर्ट ये बिजिएस्ट एयरपोर्ट फॉर पैसेंजर्स आई जी आई की क्या पोजिशन है हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी बहुत ईजी है Yes, ninth. Ninth is the position. In its bi-monthly policy of April twenty twenty-three, RBI announced the launch secured web-based centralized portal named Prava. हमने अभी recently RBI two point seven sessions में करा है Prava की full form. कौन बता सकता है? Who is going to tell me the full form of Prava? Very recently only I have discussed this. Okay. So यहाँ पे V. What does V stand for? It is validation. कौन बताएगा वेरिफिकेशन नहीं है वैलिडेशन है दीज वर्ड्स आर कंफ्यूजिंग प्रवाह की फुल फॉर्म यहाँ पे लिखी हुई है प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर रेगुलेटरी एप्लीकेशन रेगुलेटरी एप्लीकेशन वैलिडेशन एंड ऑथराइजेशन ए टी एच यहाँ से लिया हुआ है प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर रेगुलेटरी एप्लीकेशन वैलिडेशन एंड ऑथराइजेशन एनी प्रॉब्लम बिल्कुल किस किस ने भी सही आंसर किया है इट इज नमिता फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर वेरी गुड यार बहुत ही बढ़िया and then kaushal ishani shivam avinash jha very good amazing these are the policy rates and ye portal kiske liye aaya tha for application processes recently india has been elected as un statistical commission uh, sorry elected to the un statistical commission by un ecosoc south korea was another country to win another seat and theek hai bahut zyada lambi information hai the un ecosoc is one of the six principal organs theek hai of the un system which was established in un charter of 1945 The Statistical Commission is the highest body dealing with international statistical activities and is responsible for standard setting. Oh ho! Question: What is what is the tenure of India in this commission and when did India join? Can anyone tell me the correct answer here? Four years, two thousand four. Very good. Namita and Priyanka, you both are correct. Four years, two thousand four. Which state has been awarded as the best performing state among the northeast states in the implementation of e-procurement? Very easy question. The answer is Tripura. E-procurement ki baat ho rahi hai. Which of the following statements are correct about Indian space policy 2023? हमें क्या बताना है correct statement? So here uh, the correct statement is I think it is D. Yes, the correct statement is D. It aims to increase its share in the global space market from two percent to ten percent. Okay. Recently eighth anniversary of Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana कब launch हुई थी? Can anyone tell me? अब वैसे तो eighth anniversary लो यहीं पे ये answer है 2015. Okay, forget it. To facilitate easy collateral free micro credit of up to ten lakh to non corporate, non farm, small micro enterprises. Since its inception, the scheme has sanctioned around dash in forty point eight two crore lakh. Sorry, forty point eight two crore loan accounts. About dash percent of the accounts under the scheme belong to women. So, its the answer. It is very easy. The correct answer is B. Twenty three point two trillion. इन फोर्टी करोर लोन अकाउंट सो दिस इज द अमाउंट ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू ट्रिलियन पी आई बी में हमने पढ़ा हुआ है सिक्सटी एट परसेंट ऑफ दउंट आर बिलोंग टू वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स एंड फिफ्टी वन परसेंट बाय एस सी एस सी एनी प्रॉब्लम ओके बिल्कुल सही टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड दिस इज द आंसर विच कंट्री हैज रिसेंटली रिसीव द स्टैंड बाई क्रेडिट फेसिलिटी ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मिलियन फ्रॉम इंडिया यहीं से ही समझ जाएंगे स्टैंड बाई क्रेडिट फेसिलिटी किसको मिली है भूटान What is the amount? Two hundred million and India se mili hai. Okay, Bhutan is the right answer. Let's move to the next question. Identify the correct statement. We have to find out the correct statement. Diplomatic relations between India and Bhutan were established in nineteen sixty eight. This is correct. The Treaty of Friendship and Cooperation was signed between India and Bhutan. Bilkul. And uh, India has been extending financial assistance to Bhutan for its five year plan. Yes. So Bhutan is going to create five year plan and financial assistance. Has been given to Bhutan for this. So all of these statements here are correct. Answer will be A, B, C. Fifty-four, बिल्कुल सही. All are correct. Recently, Ministry of Education has released the draft of the National Curricular Framework for School Education. When was the last National Curricular Framework of School Education launched? 
लास्ट पूछा है इट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव तो दोनों याद रखने हैं रिसेंट वन एज वेल एंड द लास्ट वाल कब आया था टू थाउजेंड फाइव में ओके हाउ मेनी टोटल एनरोलमेंट वर रजिस्टर्ड अंडर नेशनल पेंशन स्कीम एंड अटल पेंशन स्कीम रिस्पेक्टिवली एज पर डेटा रिलीज इन अप्रिल नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एनी मोर हाउ एवर रिसेंटली आई थिंक हमने फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट में पढ़ा है ये तो यू कैन रिमेंबर दैट एंड हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सिक्सटीन लैख एंड वन पॉइंट वन नाइन करो तो एन पी एस में सिक्सटीन लैख एंड वन पॉइंट वन नाइन करो इन अटल पेंशन स्कीम बिल्कुल विच आर्टिकल ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड सेटिंग अप ऑफ फाइनेंस कमीशन ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा ईजी है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल द आंसर फिफ्टी सेवन का आप लोग मुझे बताएंगे Can anyone also tell me the recent finance commission जो बनेगा and what is the tenure? Question appear होने से पहले answer आ रहे हैं बिल्कुल कौशल देख लो इतना competition है everyone everybody knows everything fifty seven finance commission कौन सा finance commission है and what is the tenure you are going to tell me what is the estimated number of tigers as per the latest tiger sensor connected with the recent big cat alliance tab ye news aayi thi and uh, the recent number of tigers is 3167 tigers okay 16th yes pura tenure 26 27 to nahi hai who is going to tell me the tenure bilkul 25 26 tak okay bilkul namita is the right person to answer this i mean uh, Namita has answered it correctly, and it is yes, fifteenth Finance Commission, not sixteenth. Three one six seven है, बिल्कुल not three two six seven. ठीक है. Next question. Where was the festival of, of innovation and entrepreneurship fine organized? Very easy, Delhi में. Which state has launched a new project, Sanjeevani, to provide quality treatment to livestock? Yes, dairy sector के लिए है. आप ऐसे याद कर सकते हैं संजीवनी इज लॉन्च बाय हिमाचल प्रदेश ठीक है वेयर वॉज द फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल क्वांटम कम्युनिकेशन कॉन्क्लेव ऑर्गेनाइज ऐसी मोस्टली ऐसी चीजें दिल्ली में ही ऑर्गेनाइज होती हैं हाउ एवर ऐसे तुक्का नहीं लगाना इफ यू नो इट देन ओनली यू शुड आंसर इट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर करेक्ट अबाउट वाइब्रेंट विलेज प्रोग्राम ये प्रोग्राम बहुत ही ज्यादा न्यूज में था और मनीष सर ने तो बहुत बार ही कराया है ये सो यू आर गोइंग टू टेल मी दंसर टू दिस स्कीम हैज सेंट्रल फंडिंग कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ फोर्टी crore this is correct 2967 districts in 46 blocks of 19 districts have been chosen under the scheme this is also correct in the first phase 62 villages have been identified this is i think incorrect yes so this is incorrect and sikkim to nahi hai can anyone tell me the states and ut selected under the vibrant village program and first vibrant village kahan pe ban raha hai kaun si state mein which city 455 arunachal pradesh okay ठीक है uh, आगे बढ़िए ओनली वन एंड टू बिल्कुल सही बी इज दी आंसर कैन एनी वन टेल मी द स्टेट्स एंड यूटीज हुएवर विल टेल मी द स्टेट्स एंड यूटीज मनीष सर की तरफ से चॉकलेट वाइब्रेंट विलेज फाइव है टोटल यूटी इज लद्दाख स्टेट्स बता दो फटाफट कि बीतू यस शिवम आई थिंक ही इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर दिस शिवम इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर वेरी गुड मिल गया प्राइस बिल्कुल ठीक है शिवम इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर दिस बहुत सही हु हैज वन द वर्ल्ड चेस अर्म गेडोन एशिया ओशियाना इवेंट ओशियानिया इवेंट इन बर्लिन जर्मनी सो क्यर द करेक्ट आंसर इज जी दुकेश कैन एनी वन टेल मी जी दुकेश फ्रॉम विच स्टेट ऑफ सिटी ही बिलोंग्स टू जी दुकेश विच सिटी शिवम वेरी गुड पूरी डिटेल आपने दी थी यहीं पे ही फर्स्ट इन एच पी नहीं है जतिन इसका आंसर कौन बताएगा जी दुकेश फ्रॉम विच सिटी चेन्नई आई थिंक ही सेवनटीन ईयर ओल्ड पर्सन फ्रॉम चेन्नई इफ आई नॉट रॉन्ग ठीक है डैनियल मेंडोवीव वन मायामी ओपन कहाँ के हैं डैनियल मेंडोवीव हु विल टेल मी फॉर हिज फोर्थ टाइटल सॉरी वन हिज फोर्थ टाइटल ऑफ द ईयर एंड नाइनटीन ओवरऑल हु वॉज डिफीटेड बाई मेंडोवेव एट मायामी ओपन दिस इज जानिक सिनर Can anyone tell me uh, from which country does he belong to? कौन बताएगा 
कश्या वेरी गुड बहुत ही बढ़िया एकता इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर वेरी गुड यार वेर इज द वैकुंठ मेहता नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉपरेटिव मैनेजमेंट लोकेटेड दिस इज इजी इट इज इन पुणे वैकुंठ मेहता नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉपरेटिव मैनेजमेंट लोकेटेड इन पुणे विच इंडियन स्टेट हैज शेयर द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड डिजिटल कैबिनेट मीटिंग फ्रॉम क्योटो दिस इज ओडिशा तो ओडिशा इज द स्टेट दैट हैज शेयर द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड डिजिटल कैबिनेट मीटिंग फ्रॉम क्योटो जापान वेर इज द जटायु कंजर्वेशन एंड ब्रीडिंग सेंटर लोकेटेड ये तो बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी क्वेश्चन है यूपी में कैन एनी वन टेल मी किसके लिए है ये जटायु कंजर्वेशन एंड ब्रीडिंग सेंटर कौन सी बर्ड के लिए है वेरी इजी यूपी तो है आगे बताओ विच स्टेट यूटी विल ऑर्गेनाइज ईट राइट मिलिट मेला ई आर एम एम ईट राइट मिलिट मेला विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय जम्मू एंड कश्मीर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर Which city houses India's first 3D printed house? Important question है. Chennai is the correct answer here. Which city houses India's first 3D printed house? Chennai is the answer here. Vultures, very good. Who is the first one to answer this? Great Indian vulture. बहुत ही बढ़िया. Ishani, I suppose Ishani is the first one to answer this. Which country developed the kamikaze drone? बहुत easy है. It is Iran. MF Hydra is the world's first liquid. Hydrogen powered ferry. Which country houses the ferry at present? Very easy. Norway is the answer. MF Hydra, Norway. ऐसे याद रखना. OPEC 13 spy satellite. आगे कुछ पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है. It belongs to which country? OPEC 13. It is Israel. U.S. Navy guided missile destroyer USS Milius conducted a navigational rights and freedom mission in South China Sea near Spratly Islands. The islands are a disputed archipelago. ओके सो स्ट्रैटली आइलैंड्स के बारे में बताना है डिस्प्यूटेड एरिया बिटवीन चाइना एंड विच कंट्री कैन एनीवन टेल मी इट इज फिलीपीन फिलीपीन विच कंट्री हैज लॉन्च द गोल्डन लाइसेंस इनिशिएटिव फॉर इंसेंटिवाइजिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड जॉब क्रिएशन दिस इज बहरेन गोल्डन लाइसेंस इनिशिएटिव किसको मिला है बहरेन को What is the corpus of corporate debt market development fund? Very easy, thirty three thousand crore, and I think initially three thousand crore will go. Corporate debt market development fund. Recently, NSE, a subsidiary. Recently, NSE, a subsidiary, NSE Industries, a subsidiary. We have not studied it. NSE Industries, a subsidiary of NSE, has launched India's first ever real estate REITs, and in which index was taught in RBI two four seven sessions. The new index Nifty REITs and INVITS index aims to track the performance of REITs and uh, REITs and INVITS that are publicly listed and traded on the NSE. What is the base year of this index? Very easy, two thousand nineteen. Somebody said one thousand. Yes, ये भी सही नहीं one thousand नहीं है. So two thousand nineteen is the answer. बिल्कुल. What is the interest rate on General Provident Fund for April to June quarter? Important question है. Interest rate on General Provident Fund is seven point one percent. Who is the author of Courting India, England, Mughal India, and Origins of Empire? The correct answer here is Nalini Das. Can anyone tell me where is she working? Nalini Das. She is a professor in Oxford University, teaching English Lit. Okay, Nalini Das. Which book did she write? Courting India. One thousand base. Yes, yes, you are right. Bilkul. One thousand was the base. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. What is the global inflation projection by for 2023 by IMF? April खरीदा है अभी तो ना important नहीं है but हाँ global projection है by an important organisation IMF और उनकी एक important report में World Economic Outlook report में this was seven percent okay any problems here? Yes Oxford University नमिता बिल्कुल ठीक चलो when is CRPF Whaler Day observed? This is ninth April. Okay. Recently, the Startup Incubation and Innovation Center (SIIC) has signed a corporate social responsibility agreement with Kanpur-based Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited (SIIC) is the te uh, technology business incubator of which IIT? Okay, who is going to tell me the answer here? It is Kanpur. यहाँ पे लिखा है Kanpur-based Advanced Weapon and Equipment Limited. So Kanpur IIT. Question में hint है. 
who is the chair of inter services panel formed by iaf to examine different aspects of disability pension to their personnel this is important army's adjutant general d is the correct answer here what which state has had the highest utilization to realized fund ratio of mp lad funds in fy 2023 according to the data given by mosfi so ye hai modi ji ki favorite state gujarat highest utilization to realized fund ratio theek hai gujarat which is the top rated tiger reserve in the fifth cycle of mee periyar can anyone tell me periyar tiger reserve kahan pe hai very easy question which ministry will organize the shanghai cooperation young authors conference who is going to tell me this is not ministry of youth affairs this is not ministry of youth affairs who is going to tell me the answer kerala very good bahut hi badhiya tapan sco yes ministry of education bilkul identify the correct statement from the options given below India will get 9% of its electricity from nuclear sources by 2047 hame kya batana hai correct statement i think this is a correct statement okay from nuclear sources by 2027 uh, this is an incorrect statement and yahan sari hi incorrect statement hai india is establishing world's first thorium based bhavani in tamil nadu here the answer okay so ye jo hai this should be incorrect sabhi correct statement hai bilkul 9% of its electricity from nuclear sources this is correct sari hi correct statement hai तो इनकरेक्ट बताना है इंडिया विल अचीव 20 गीगावाट कैपेसिटी ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर जनरेशन बाय 2030 दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट इंडिया विल सून बिकम द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अंडर द यूएस एंड फ्रांस दिस इज करेक्ट आफ्टर सॉरी आफ्टर यूएस एंड फ्रांस इंडिया विल बिकम द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी याद रखना है एंड इंडिया इज एस्टैब्लिशिंग द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट कोरियम बेस्ड न्यूक्लियर प्लांट भावनी इन तमिलनाडु इंडिया इज द थर्ड हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ फंक्शनल न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स नो दिस इज ठीक है तो दिस इज एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट और बाकी सब स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट है आई एम मार्किंग दिस एटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन एंड आई विल करेक्ट इट ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स ओके ठीक है सिक्स हाइस नंबर वेरी गुड ठीक है तपन इज द फर्स्ट वन टू आंसर विच यूनिवर्सिटी हैज बिन नोटिफाइड एस a center of protection of plant varieties and farmers rights authority under the ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare this is easy the correct answer here is d kerala agricultural university apan very good bahut jaldi answer de rahe hain ye okay which with which institute has uidi signed an mou to develop a robust touchless biometric capture system for easier usage by people power by people anytime anywhere the correct answer here is iit bombay so biometric se aap yaad rakh sakte hain bombay so touchless biometric capture system for easier usage by people anytime anywhere iit bombay which country or state region territory signed good friday agreement good friday agreement to end its civil war it is not north island it is north ireland first is the correct answer here a तो सिविल वॉर चल रही थी एंड टू एंड सिविल वॉर गुड फ्राइडे अग्रीमेंट वॉज लॉन्च हियर विच कंट्री इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द मल्टी नेशनल वॉर गेम कंडेम्ड कोड नेम्ड सॉरी कोड नेम्ड ओरायन ओरायन दिस इज फ्रांस बिल्कुल ई कैन यू गिव मी वन मिनट आई जस्ट सी बैक इन अ मिनट आई नीड वन मिनट ब्रेक
Okay, I apologize for that. Okay, बातें शुरू हो जाती हैं यहाँ पे एक ही मिनट में फर्स्ट टाइम ओके ठीक है लेट कंटिन्यू दिस इन द ब्रेक सेशन कुछ ही क्वेश्चन रह गए हैं आई थिंक ओनली फोर्टी फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन अले ऑन विच रूट आर इंडिया फर्स्ट सेमी हाई स्पीड रीजनल रेल सर्विस अवेलेबल एम आई ऑडेबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी वन सेमी हाई स्पीड रीजनल रेल सर्विस अवेलेबल डेली मेरठ इज द करेक्ट आंसर योर फर्स्ट सेमी हाई स्पीड रीजनल रेल सर्विसेस अरे बाद में पूछ लेना हाउ मच आई यू गाइज गेटिंग इन मॉक बिल्कुल डेली मेरठ चलो वेर वॉज द जी ट्वेंटी साइंस ट्वेंटी कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन क्लीन एनर्जी एंड ग्रीनर फ्यूचर ऑर्गेनाइज द करेक्ट आंसर क्यूर इज देर वॉज दिस ऑर्गेनाइज जी ट्वेंटी साइंस ट्वेंटी अगरतला इंपॉर्टेंट है बिल्कुल डेली मेरठ इज राइट यस Recently, the second Energy Transition Working Committee Working Group meeting under India's G20 presidency has concluded successfully in Gandhi Nagar. The first ever ETG, which is Energy Transition Working Group meeting, was held in Bangalore from Feb 5 to 7, 2023. Where will the third Energy? अरे पहले ही पूछ लेते. Where will the third Energy Transition Working Group meeting be organized? So it will be organized in Mumbai. Okay. So. सेकेंड गांधीनगर में हुई थी फर्स्ट हुई थी बेंगलुरु में थर्ड का पूछा है आंसर इज मुंबई बी मुंबई ज्योति रिफ्रेश करो हम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे पहुंच गए हैं ओके What is the target of Mission Amrit Sarovar? Very easy, very easy question. Mission Amrit Sarovar. We have done this in PIB also. Constructing fifty thousand Amrit Sarovars by August. Uh, sorry, twenty twenty three. So this is the correct answer. Constructing fifty thousand Amrit Sarovar by August twenty twenty three. B. Which state does the Sharbati wheat belong to? Very easy. Sharbati wheat belongs to Madhya Pradesh. Remember this. Sharbati wheat kaha hai? Madhya Pradesh. Which National Park has recently set up a new perennium perennium inside the park. So, which national park has set up? Kara hai. This is Aravi Kulam National Park. Where is this national park situated? Can anyone tell me? Aravi Kulam, Uduki district. Me hai ye. I think Uduki district. Me. If I'm not wrong. Kaha pe? Which state? Is it Tamil Nadu or is it Kerala or is it Andhra Pradesh? Bisag is knowledge partner. Yes, Amit Kumar. Bhoti badiya yar. Bisag is knowledge partner of Amlet Sarovar. Bilkul. Okay, how much is India's highest defence export in twenty twenty two twenty three? Highest defence export? पूछा है. The answer is sixteen thousand crore prox. ये हमने कल भी PIB session में पढ़ा था. Kerala, बिल्कुल सही. Very good. How many indicators were used in BEE? BEE, sorry, Business Environment Ranking. How many indicators are used? The correct answer here is ninety one indicators. who brings out this report sorry ranking business environment ranking who brings out this ranking and who is at top position can anyone tell me okay so top pe hai singapore and canada and i think denmark okay uh, and how many indicators 91 indicators and who brings out eiu economics intelligence unit theek hai Okay, what is India's rank in the world's most criminal countries list released by World Statistic Organization? India's rank in the most criminal countries is seventy-seven. अभी हमने terrorism index पढ़ा था. Now uh, in the most criminal countries it is seventy-seven. Which organization has released artificial intelligence index report? Which organization has released it? Very easy. It is Stanford University. Venezuela one pe hai, bilkul sahi. Venezuela one pe hai. Can anyone tell me two or three pe kahan hai? Wo bhi bata do ab. Venezuela first pe hai, I think second, third pe it is Afghanistan. Okay. Which organization has released Artificial Intelligence Index Report 2023? It is Stanford University. Identify the correct statement about World Bank funded animal health. 
system support for one health you have to tell me the correct statement okay the program aims at creating an ecosystem for better animal health management system using one health approach covering five states in india this is correct 150 uh, one districts in assam odisha okay so these are the states assam odisha madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka these are the five states remember these five states this is correct it is a centrally sponsored scheme with a budgetary outlay of 1228 the budgetary outlay is correct however it is not a centrally sponsored scheme it is a central sector scheme so the correct answer here will be 1 and 2 is correct only a give me a second Next question we are As per a newspaper report published in April 2023, Canada Bank and NPCI, Canada Bank and NPCI, NPCI ka Bharat Bill Payment Limited have launched a cross-border inward bill payment service services for Indian based in where, which country, Oman. Okay. NRIs can now leverage a robust uh, platform offered by the Bharat Bill Payment System to make bill payments on behalf of their families through the Musandam exchange, which is Omanka exchange. This cross border bill payment service is already live in Kuwait. Okay, we know that we have a lot of remittance. A lot of Indians are working there in the Middle East countries, and that is why Kuwait is already hai and now in Oman. Which, uh, with which bank? Canada Bank. So, also remember this bank, Canada Bank. Okay, so answer here is B. B Oman will go to In April 2023, Uttarakhand CM. Uh, Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami launched a help. Okay, Uttarakhand me launched hui hai April me a help. A help ki full form is here. For launching this program, the Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying and Dash Scheme will have signed Dash Scheme have signed an MOU to address the healthcare needs of livestock population in the village, which is the scheme NRLM National Rural Livelihood Mission. Can you tell me ki pehle kaun si state me thi? Pehle kisi state me thi? If I'm not wrong. SBI has extended, SBI has extended the validity of Amrit Kalash special fixed deposit scheme. We have read it. Okay, so this is Amrit Kalash, FBI ka, uh, SBI ka jo hai, it has extended the scheme. I, you have to find the tenure of this. He read this already. Okay, now it has been extended in June 2020. FB ka tenure hai 400 days. Bilkul sahi. 444 days se confuse nahi karna, it is 400 days. Okay, in which month did West Bengal celebrate Naba Bharsha festival? In which month? Okay, West Bengal celebrate karti hai. We all, uh, you know, we are in a habit of reading Konsi state celebrate karti hai. But in which month? Hum wo padna bhul jate hai. The, the answer is April. Next, which country has launched the world's first drone carrier ship? Anadolu. Very easy. The Anadolu. It is Turkey. Anadolu. Okay, whatever. Uh, Turkey. Who has received the Business Leader of the Decade Award? Who has received the Business Leader of the Decade Award? All India Management Associations, AIMA 13th Managing India Awards. This is uh, Kumar Mangalam Birla. No issues, no issues. Easy questions. Hai. Which countries have announced common platform for talks among bilateral creditors to coordinate restructuring of Sri Lanka's debt? Important questions. Hai. Three countries ki meeting with thi, Jinnone discuss kara tha. How can we restructure the Sri Lanka's debt? These three countries were India, uh, France and Japan. Okay, so 1, 2 and 5. India, France and Japan. E will be the answer. In April 2023, UNCTAD released the Trade and Development Report Update, Global Trends and Prospects. Report. The report projects India's uh, economic growth to decline to 6% in 2023 from 6.6% in 2022. Which of the following reasons have been cited by the report for this decline? Okay. So, UNC TAD ki report hai, report ka naam ki hai. They have projected ki economic growth may decline hoga in this year, uh, in 2023 from previous year. Which of the following is the reason cited by them? Fall in government spending. So, the answer will be A, one only. Bilkul Namita is the first one to answer. Bohati badi. Which bank has launched India's first voice biometric authentication services for logging 
वॉन्ट टू इट्स मोबाइल बैंकिंग एप्लीकेशन इन कोलाबोरेशन विद स्काइजन सो किसके साथ कोलाबोरेट करा है वो भी याद रखना है इट इज सिटी यूनियन बैंक सी यू बी सिटी यूनियन बैंक फर्स्ट वॉइस बायोमेट्रिक ऑथेंटिकेशन सर्विस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं वॉट इज द न्यू कवरेज सीलिंग अंडर क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट ऑफ बायोसिंग फॉर सिंगल बोरवर सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज फाइव करोर पहले कम था द एवरेज सीलिंग लिमिट कैन एनी वन टेल मी किससे हुआ है टू करोड़ से फाइव करोड़ हुआ ओके वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम परसेंटेज ऑफ गारंटी गिवन बाय द गवर्नमेंट अंडर क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर एम एस एम ई एम एस ई इज माइक्रो स्मॉल एंटरप्राइज ओके सी जी टी एम एस ई है ओके फॉर अ लोन अप टू फाइव लैक्स टेकन बाई वुमेन एस सी ऑन्टरप्रनोर तो ये परसेंटेज ऑफ गारंटी भी गवर्नमेंट ने इंट्रोड्यूस करी थी अंडर दिस क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर एम एस ई फॉर अ लोन ऑफ अप टू फाइव लैक्स टेकन बाई वुमेन एस सी ऑन्टरप्रनोर दिस विल भी एट्टी फाइव परसेंट ये एक्सप्लेन है यहाँ पे ओके तो माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस में अप टू फाइव लैख के लोन पे गारंटी है एट्टी फाइव परसेंट अब फाइव लैख एंड अपू फिफ्टी लैख है सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस पे एम एस सी इज लोकेटेड इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन है एट्टी परसेंट एंड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट इफ इट इज अब फिफ्टी लैख एंड वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स एस सी एंटी ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स एम एस सी सिचुएटेड इन एस्परेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट जेड सर्टिफाइड एम एस सी इन सबके है एट्टी फाइव परसेंट ओके फॉर ऑल द कैटेगरीज ओके वेर इज द भावन पाडू पोर्ट रोकेटेड इनका भी नाम चेंज हुआ है इट इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश कैन एनी वन टेल मी द न्यू नेम न्यू नेम प्लीज Who is going to tell me Bhavan Paduka new name? Central Armed. Okay, the Central Armed Police Forces (CAPF) signed an MOU with Ministry of Home Affairs. Okay, and the SSC Staff Selection Commission to conduct the defence exam in thirteen local languages other than Hindi and English. The new arrangement will be effective from. When will it be effective? From next year, first January. 2024 से इफेक्टिव होगा नेक्स्ट ईयर से मुला मुला पेट है मुला पाड़ू नहीं है सबड़ी सर मुला पाड़ू इट्स मुला पेट है ओके ओके व्हिच कंट्री लॉन्च्ड इट्स फर्स्ट ऑपरेशनल अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सैटेलाइट नेम्ड टाइफा 1 टाइफा 1 किसकी सैटेलाइट है वेरी इजी इट इज केन्या व्हिच बैंक हैज कंप्लीटेड इट्स फर्स्ट ब्लॉकचेन एनेबल्ड लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट ट्रांजैक्शन टू टू कंटोर फॉर इट सॉरी ऑन कंटोर Which bank has completed its first blockchain-enabled LOC letter of credit transaction on Contour for its client Cummins India Limited? This was the client, a diversified industrial manufacturing company. So, which bank is this bank? Which is the bank? It is City India, CIB City India Bank. So, it has completed its first blockchain-enabled letter of credit transaction on Contour for its client Cummins India Limited, E City Bank. Yes. Which Oh, sorry, how much is the forex reserve of India for the week ended April seven? नहीं पढ़ना. Five eighty four is the right answer. However, अब ये April का data तो नहीं पढ़ सकते हम. When is the World Voice Day observed? Your voice matters. When is the world's sorry World Voice Day observed? This is April sixteen. World Voice Day April sixteen. When is World Hemophilia Day observed? Hemophilia Day. This April seventeenth, and this is the theme: access for all, prevention of bleeds as the global standard of care. How much amount is expected to be spent on Khelo India campaign in the next five years? What is the amount spent in Khelo India campaigns? It is thirty-two hundred crore. Okay, thirty-two hundred crore. Can anyone tell me who is the winner of recent Khelo India University Games? Khelo India University, what is it? Hello India Youth Games and Winter Games होती हैं. Who is the winner of recent Hello India University Games and also uh, where was these university games conducted? Who is going to tell me? Okay. जल्दी से बताइए. Punjab University बिल्कुल. Punjab की कोई university है ना मिता? Okay. Next पे आते हैं. Five portals of the government have been matched with their respective purposes. Some of the purposes and portals have been mismatched. Identify the mismatch pair. So A, B, C, D के form में है मतलब एक ही गलत है. Yuva is for identifying potential startups across the country. ये recently launched हुई है. Young potential startups के लिए important है. Remember this. Coming to Shreyas. बिल्कुल. Punjab University. And where was this conducted? UP. UP में हुआ था बिल्कुल. Somebody said Haryana. नहीं. Ladakh Punjab भी नहीं. Okay. 
Treyas to enable educational institution and industry to facilitate apprenticeship. This is correct. Tapas to provide online courses in the key areas of social defense, elderly care, substance drug abuse prevention, and transgender issues. This is also correct. Here, pick incorrect. Sirf pencil hai, and you have to learn all these. Ki what is the you know function and the purpose of these portals? So pencil portal hai. This is for child labor. Ye is uh, theme se banana ki. बच्चों के हाथ में सिर्फ पेंसिल होनी चाहिए एंड दे शुड नॉट बी इन्वॉल्व इन लेबोरियस वर्क तो पेंसिल पोर्टल इसलिए बना दैट वाज़ द थीम बिहाइंड दिस रिसेंटली यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह हैज लॉन्च द वन वीक वन लैब कैंपेन ऑफ द डेली बेस्ड सी एस आई आर फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी ठीक है वन वीक वन लैब कैंपेन इंपॉर्टेंट है हाउ मेनी सी एस आई आर लैब्स आर देयर इन इंडिया हु इज गोइंग टू टेल मी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर uh okay so it is dyanandeshwar bhal the okay first one is for author yes it is not yuva portal it is yuva scheme that is for authors bilkul sahi but yuva portal abhi naya aaya hai that is for identification of startup uh i think yesterday or day before yesterday pib mein bhi humne ye padha hai chaliye bar aastha ne bilkul sahi definition di hai pencil portal ki so the correct answer here is b37 bilkul Everybody has said it. Thirty-seven. As per the new ta- news article published in April twenty twenty-three, the Indian Sign Language Astro Lab has been inaugurated by Union Minister of Science and Technology Jitendra Singh in year. Batana hai aapko. Sorry, in state batani hai. City. It is Karnal. Karnal. So answer ho jayega. Karnal and sixty-five kya hai? Sixty-five labs hai. Astro Lab. Okay. So lab. The lab will enable hearing impaired students to learn about sun, moon, stars apart from the simple complex concept of face. The Indian Sign La- Language Astro Lab has dash pieces of equipment. Okay, sixty-five pieces of equipment. Hai two four seven virtual access to stream over ninety videos and many other facilities. Karnal is the correct answer here. Karnal sixty-five. Will good. Okay, seafarer and pulps are the saving products for mariners. and healthcare professionals by which bank very easy south india bank a uh, ministry of panchayati raj has celebrated national panchayati national panchayat awards week during 17th and 21st april 2023 ahead of the national panchayati raj day 24th april okay the week was celebrated on the theme panchayaton ke sankalpon ki samriddhi ka utsav the award were given in four category which of the following categories assesses the performance so award jo the wo four category mein the the question is कौन सी कैटेगरीज में ये अवार्ड मिला है परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ग्राम पंचायत इंडिविजुअली फॉर लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स कौन सी कैटेगरी ये असेस करती है ये थीम तो इट इज आई थिंक इट इज दीनदयाल उपाध्याय दीनदयाल उपाध्याय पंचायत सतत विकास पुरस्कार मै राइट यस डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर तो यहां पे देख लेते हैं ओके दीनदयाल उपाध्याय पंचायत सतत विकास पुरस्कार इट वाज फॉर परफॉर्मेंस अंडर इंडिविजुअलाइज्ड इंडिविजुअल लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स एसडीजीज के ऊपर था देन नानाजी देशमुख सर्वोत्तम पंचायत सतत विकास इज फॉर एग्रीगेट परफॉर्मेंस अंडर ऑल नाइन एल एस टी यहाँ पे सेवनटीन थे देन ग्राम उजाला स्वराज विशेष पंचायत पुरस्कार फॉर ग्रीन इनिशिएटिव इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय द ग्राम पंचायत एंड देन कार्बन न्यूट्रल विशेष पंचायत पुरस्कार फॉर ग्रीन इनिशिएटिव इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय ग्राम पंचायत दीनदयाल बिल्कुल सही है Recently, Sri Giriraj Singh, which is who is the Honorable Minister of Union Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, has launched GS Nirne. Can anyone tell me the full form of GS Nirne? And here, I have to N. Batana hai. What does N stand for in the full form? Can anyone tell me the full form of GS Nirne? Nirne. So here, the correct answer is uh, National and Navigate. National and Navigate. So National and Navigate. So pata lag gaya. Full form kahan batayega? National Initiative for Rural India to Navigate, Invigorate, and last word क्या है Invigorate? Invigorate. Okay, 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 Invigorate. Okay,
no problem national institute for rural india to navigate invigorate and uh, panchayat decisions i think yahi hai and resolve panchayat decisions yes resolve panchayat decisions are okay so this is the full form ओके यहाँ पे ही गिवन है अरे नेशनल इनिशिएटिव फॉर रूरल इंडिया टू नेविगेट इनोवेट नॉट इनविगरेट इट इज इनोवेट रिजॉल्व पंचायत इश्यूज इन इनोवेट है इट इज इनोवेट ओके सो नेशनल इनिशिएटिव फॉर रूरल इंडिया टू नेविगेट इनोवेट एंड रिजॉल्व पंचायत डिसीजन भी होता है पंचायत के डिसीजन को रिजोल्व करना ओके सो दिस इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ निर्णय जी एस निर्णय बिल्कुल सही लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर पेट petroleum hardeep singh puri has advanced its targets to achieve 20% ethanol blending in petroleum ye humko pata hai 2030 se ab kya targets ho gaye hain 2025 26 india has set an ambitious target to set up 5000 commercial plants of cbg by 24 25 and produce dash mmt of compressed biogas this is 15 a bilkul sahi how many tribal artisans melas will be organized Uh, under the recently launched marketing and logistics development for promotion of tribal products from the northeast which is ttp ner scheme who is launching the scheme can anyone tell me who is launching the scheme okay so uh, it is 68 68 artisan mela tribal artisans mela in the ttp ner scheme 68 bilkul which iit host the country's largest drdo industry academia central uh, center for uh, excellence industry academia center for excellence dia coe this is uh, not it madras it is it hyderabad bilkul 143 crore tribal affairs theek hai theek hai okay next one 30 which of the following institutional institution plans to review india strong push to electric vehicles evs running on lithium ion batteries to कौन सा इंस्टीट्यूशन विच ऑफ दूशन प्लान टू रिव्यू हू इज गोइंग टू रिव्यू इंडिया स्ट्रॉन्ग पुश टू ईवीज रनिंग ऑन लिथियम आइन बैटरी सिंस अबाउट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द लिथियम आइन बैटरी इम्पोर्ट कम फ्रॉम चाइना सो यर द करेक्ट आंसर इज नीति आयोग नीति आयोग इज गोइंग टू रिव्यू इंडिया स्ट्रॉन्ग पुश टू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ईवीज बिल्कुल नीति आयोग इज द राइट आंसर हियर आर बी एल बैंक हैज लॉन्च एन इनोवेटिव डिजिटल फिक्स डिपोजिट डिजिटल एफ डी स्कीम अवेलेबल टू न्यू टू बैंक कस्टमर वॉट इज द टेन योर ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आरबीएल बैंक में रिसेंटली आल्सो एस एफडी स्कीम लॉन्च करी है रीड अबाउट दैट एज वेल सो दिस इज डिजिटल फिक्स डिपॉजिट स्कीम ये है 15 मंथ्स टू 24 मंथ्स इज द टारगेट और द टेन्योर 15 टू 24 मंथ्स बिल्कुल सही व्हिच हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू अडॉप्ट वाटर बजट दिस इज वेरी 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 इजी केरला केरला इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू अडॉप्ट वाटर बजट आल्सो केरला इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट व्हिच इज ई गवर्नड आई थिंक यस ई गवर्नड और और भी एक दो चीजें केरला ने करी है एनआईआरएफ जैसा एक फ्रेमवर्क भी केरला इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू ब्रिंग बैक हु हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड फॉर द मैलकम अधिशेष्य अधिशेष्य अवार्ड मैलकम अधिशेष्य अवार्ड इट 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 इज उत्साह पटनायक मैम गिव अस अ ब्रेक बस इन नेक्स्ट 5 10 मिनट्स यू कैन हैव अ ब्रेक ओके विद व्हिच बैंक हैज तमिलनाडु e governance agency very easy question sign an mou to integrate its payment aggregator with e governance applications of government department a very easy question it is indian bank so it is tamil nadu e governance agency which is nge uh, tamil nadu ega and indian bank nirf related framework yes fully banking okay digital banking lawrence it is digital banking bilkul utsa pata hai ki tarah is the right answer ab iska answer hai Indian Bank, which part of the Indian Armed Forces organized Prasthan exercise? Very easy, very important Prasthan exercise uh, in Mumbai, Maharashtra's Mumbai. So, which part of the Indian Armed Forces organized this? This was Indian Navy. Okay, Indian Navy. The first edition of the biannual Army Commanders Conclave 2023 will be conducted in hybrid format from April 21. The physical meet will take place in Delhi. The forum will discuss progress on Agni Path scheme, Agni Path scheme, and digitization and automation initiatives. Which year has been designated as the year of transformation in the Indian Army? This is 2023. This very year is designated as the year of transformation. So, ये सारी इतनी important मतलब आपको ज़्यादा lengthy question बनाने के लिए all this information was given. However, the only question 
what what is the question asking which year has been designated as the year of transformation by indian army it is 2023 the current year okay which company has been recognized as 2023 steel sustainability champion by world steel association for sixth consecutive year it is tata steel so tata steel has been recognized as 2023 steel sustainability champion for sixth consecutive year which among the following is not among the top five wealthiest cities of asia pacific region as per the world's wealthiest cities report of henley and partners so this is uh, okay सबसे पहले तो ये वर्ल्ड वेल्थियस सिटीज है एन लेन पार्टनर्स लेके आया है ऑफ द एशिया पैसिफिक रीजन उलान बतार इज द इन करेक्ट आंसर हियर उलान बतार किसकी कैपिटल है हु टेल मी उलान बतार किसकी कैपिटल है तो हांगकांग सिंगापुर टोक्यो शंघाई आर देयर हाउएवर उलान बतार इज नॉट देयर प्लीज टेल मी कौन सी कंट्री की कैपिटल है तो एन लेन पार्टनर्स हैज रिलीज्ड द वर्ल्ड्स वेल्थियस सिटीज रिपोर्ट टोटल 97 सिटीज एंड दीस आर द टॉप सिटीज न्यूयॉर्क टोक्यो Beirut, London, Singapore, Los Angeles, Hong Kong, Beijing, Shanghai, Sydney, Mongolia. Absolutely. Who is the first one to answer this? I think it is Ekta Sharma. Very good. Very nice. And Asia Pacific, me hai Tokyo, Singapore, Hong Kong, Beijing, Shanghai. Ah, uh, okay. Vigalia, gold credit card product of which bank? Very easy. HDFC Bank. Jinka bhi HDFC me account hai. It is easy for all of you to remember this. Who has become the first woman to receive? Wisden Cricketer of the Year Award, first woman, Harman Preet Kaur. However, there is also a male cricketer. Who can tell me? Okay, Surya Kumar Yadav. I think they plan to start project in Mongolia. Okay, I think it is Surya Prakash Yadav. So they have received Wisden Cricketer of the Year Award. Who led the second G20 Sharpas meeting? So Sharpa uh, is, I think Amitabh Kant. Yes, Amitabh Kant is the right answer here. Okay, a very long question. PNGRB, which is Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board, is a statutory body in India, constituted under the PNRB Act, which is Petroleum, the Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Body Act of Dash. So you have to tell me the year. Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Body is a statutory body in India constituted under the Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board Act. So, because it is a statutory body, it must have come up after the Act. So, the Act is 2006. May I say Act? Okay. Then moving forward, its primary function includes regulation of refining, transportation, distribution, storage, marketing, supply, and sale of petroleum products and natural gas. In March 2023, the Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board announced to implement the uniform tariff in the energy and uh, natural gas sector. Okay, considering the above statement, what is the target of India with regard to increasing share of natural gas in the energy mix from dash to dash? So it is a 6.2 percent. Say, ab aega 15 percent by 2030. A is the correct answer here. Even if you know the act, you would have answered this question. So it is not a difficult question. However, a very lengthy question. So our only answer of this statement was important and which year? बिल्कुल ओके द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स एंड आई यू ए ओके नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स ऑर्गेनाइज द फर्स्ट अर्बन क्लाइमेट फिल्म फेस्टिवल थ्रू द साइट्स प्रोग्राम अंडर यू ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट इवेंट्स साइट्स प्रोग्राम इंपॉर्टेंट है वेरी रिसेंटली मनीष सर ने एंड नेहा मैम दोनों ने ही पढ़ाया हुआ है द साइट्स प्रोग्राम इज अ जॉइंट प्रोग्राम ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स U.S. Agency and International Development and JICA. Uh, okay, so ये इसमें और भी सारे हैं JICA, NUIA और भी हैं इसमें sites program में KFD is also there, KFW, which is the French bank, EU भी है इसमें. Then sites program aims at helping 21 smart cities. This is uh, incorrect. And sites stands for cities innovations to ignite, invigorate, and sustain. This is incorrect. It is cities investment. KFW is also there. Yes, you are right. Can anyone tell me the tenure? Tenure important hai. There was a mistake in the tenure and sites 2.0 aaya hai abhi recently. Okay, so sites 2.1 was there in 2018. Okay, so here all of the above are incorrect. Here the full form is incorrect. 
Okay, so all of the above here are incorrect. Okay, where is the Mukundra Hills Tiger Reserve located? The correct answer here is Kota. Very easy. Mukundra Hills Tiger Reserve located Kota. How much fund has been raised under the Special windows for affordable and mid-income housing investment fund one as of March 2023. So you have to tell me March 2023. The fund raised The correct answer here is 15530. However, you have to tell me ki jo Swami fund hai, it is under which ministry? You have to tell me the ministry and also you have to tell me the total corpus. Total corpus. This may say central government be could contribute kar hai and SBI along with LIC is also contributing something. So which ministry? Which field is Dhanush Loganathan related to? This is weightlifting. Very easy question, not a difficult question. Where did the first edition of India Africa Army Chiefs Conclave took place? This took place in Pune. India Africa Army Chiefs Conclave. Remember this, it happened in Pune. Ministry of Finance, very good. Neetu Gangas won gold in dash category in the IBA Women's World Boxing. So this, this is an important event, IBA Women's World Boxing Championship held at the KD Jadav, KD Jadav Hall, IG Stadium, New Delhi. In which category it is 48 kg. Swami Falki full form again. Okay, where is the space system design lab of Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization spent, uh, Center in space? Very easy. In space, where is located? Hai? It is Ahmedabad. Where is the space system design lab of in space? Space system design lab, hai? sorry, not in space, but space system design lab, it is Ahmedabad. Okay, central government aims to bring over dash more villages under the ODF plus of Swachh Bharat Mission. This is important. This is the target. ODF plus Swachh Bharat Mission. ODF plus of the Swachh Bharat mission by 2024. This is 50,000. Very easy question, however, very important. Which state is implementing Mission Arikompan? Mission Arikompan, this is Kerala. Kerala is implementing Mission Arikompan. Okay. What is the capital of? Kurakao, Kurasao, Kurasao, it should be Kurasao. So it is a small island nation uh, near South America, Venezuela ke upar hai, small island nation near Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, and uh, what is the capital? The capital is Williamstad. Williamstad is the capital. Okay, when was first Merchant Navy Flag Day observed? Flag observed. So this is important. It is April 5, 2023. When was the first Merchant Navy flag observed? April 5, 2023. India won the Tri-National, Tri-Nation International Football Competition 2023 by defeating, ye toh bhoat easy hai, Kyrgyzstan. It was in news. Kyrgyzstan. Which of the following statement mentions the objective of project Akash Seed? Again, important project Akash Seed ka kya hai? So, it is not to put smart fencing borders between India and Pakistan region to empower air defense units of the Indian Army. This is the correct objective project Akash Seed. Naam se hai hai. It is to empower air defense units of the Indian Army. Remember this. Which country organized Indo plus, Indo plus Caribbean the creation of culture exhibition? This is easy. It is UK. UK organized this. Which country has agreed to join the Shanghai Corporation Organization, SCO, as a dialogue partner. Very easy, bohat zyada news mein tha. Saudi Arabia important hai. So, Saudi Arabia joined the SCO as the dialogue partner. Can anyone tell me SCO kab aya tha? When did SCO come up? Was it 2001, 2, 3, 4 or 5? Where was the International Conference on Human Wildlife Conflict and Coexistence organized? So, where was this organized? Very easy, UK mein. Proba 3 is a technological demonstration mission by European Space Agency. It consists of two small satellites, which is Coronograph spacecraft and the Occult uh, spacecraft OSC. By which year will the mission enter Earth's orbit? Also, orbits mein kab aega? This is 2024. Mein agle 
okay it is proba 3 is a technological demonstration mission by the esa nasa researchers have deployed the new computer model named dash to integrate artificial intelligence ye to bahut hi zyada easy question hai the correct answer here is dagger dagger so nasa's researcher have deployed new computer model called deep learning geomagnetic perturbation model it is the full form of dagger okay so with this we are done with the questions of march and april now we are going to do may and june uh, important hone wale hain ye bhi yes may and june important hai months very important not just important but very important so neha ma'am will take over the class however uh, before leaving i just want to tell you firstly to subscribe the channel if you haven't already done that and all the very best for your exam abhi uh, sunday is your exam i hope you all uh, you know go well rested before the exam and अपने प्रेपरेशन तो अच्छे से कर ली होगी नाउ नेहा मैम विल टेक ओवर द सेशन एंड विद दिस आई एम ओके थैंक्स अ लॉट ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सिटिंग अभी तक एंड कुछ घंटों में बाकी सेशन भी ओवर हो जाएगा एंड देन यू कैन गिव योर एग्जाम फाइन ओके थैंक्स अ लॉट everyone so you must be thinking that now just now the kanima ma'am has left and neha ma'am has started taking the question so don't worry i'm not going to take the session as of now okay uh we are going to give you a break of 15 minutes and afterwards we will start the session okay
Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, thank you, Samrat, for telling me I am clearly audible. Uh, so those who are having their lunch right now, they can watch me while having their lunch, right? So guys, this is just the one day that you have to struggle because yeah, the day after tomorrow is your examination, the day of the judgment for all of you, okay? So एक ही दिन की बात है जितनी मेहनत कर सकते हो कर लो ये चला गया ये वक्त चला गया तो लौट कर नहीं आएगा ठीक है ना तो लेट्स बिगिन विथ टूडेज मे एंड जून करंट अफेयर्स ठीक है आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एक्साइटेड एंड नॉट गेटिंग बोर्ड एंड यू ऑल आर नॉट स्लीपी ठीक है अगर नींद आ भी रही है तो मुंह पे पानी वानी मार लो एंड स्टार्ट विद मी ठीक है आई होप एवरीथिंग इज फाइन Good afternoon, everyone. So, as you all must be knowing this fact that March, April, May, June months are very, very important. So, let's quickly begin the most important month. Okay. So, guys, the very first question that we have is where was the first sorry future of work exhibition organized? So, here the right answer is option B, Institute of Minerals and Materials Technology in Bhubaneswar. This exhibition was organized at the third education working group meeting of the G20. Okay. Union Minister Shri Sabarnanda Sonowal inaugurated National Technology Center for Ports, Waterways and Coast to provide solutions to challenges in the maritime sector. This center was established under the ambitious Sagar Mala program at a cost of 77 crore rupees which IIT hosts this center. So IIT Madras guys host this center which is the technological arm of the Ministry of Ports. So here you have been given the Sagar Mala's targets and I have taught you this previously also. So I require all of you to go through the PPT once you will get the PPT and go through these images. Okay. Which state had won maximum medals in the latest edition of Halo India Youth Games. Okay. So it is Maharashtra. And this edition was held in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Identify the correct statement from the options given below. So first is Asia Pacific Leaders Conclave on Malaria Elimination was held in Delhi. Asia Pacific Heads of Government aims to free the region of malaria uh, by 2030. The Asia Pacific Leaders Mal Malaria Alliance Secretariat is in Singapore. So which of these statement is correct? All of these are correct. Where did Civil 20 Working Group on Education and Digital Transformation meeting take place? So, Mizoram University, yeah, here is the right answer. Statewide attention on grievances by application of technology, Swagat, is the initiative of which state? So, here guys, the right answer is option A, Gujarat. This particular initiative was launched in the year 2003 and 20 years have been completed. Recently, Union Cabinet has approved setting up of 157 nursing colleges at same locations as the medical colleges, okay, uh, that have been established since 2014 to fill up the nursing vacancies and remove disparities in the distribution of nursing colleges in the country. These colleges will be established at a cost of 1,570 crore, rupees 10 crore for each college, in which states. Uh, can co also contribute over the next two years. With 100 seats per college, the MOVE will add 15,700 BSc nursing seats across the country, which state will get the highest number of colleges under this initiative. So here guys, Uttar Pradesh is the right answer. It is going to get 27 colleges, nursing seats, uh, through 27 nursing colleges. Then the second number is Rajasthan, which is going to get 23 colleges. And then Madhya Pradesh is at the third place with 14 colleges okay so these are the top three states 
According to the World Bank's data released in April 2023, India has become the first country in the world to have annual remittances from abroad crossing the $100 billion mark. The remittances have increased at an impressive growth rate of dash percent. So what is the right answer guys? 12% is the growth rate of India's remittances. Who is the chairperson of NASCOM in 2023 to 2024? Anant Maheshwari, who is the president of Microsoft India. Okay. Seventh edition of the 2023 Men's Asian Champions Trophy will be hosted by Chennai, India in August 2023. It will be the Dash International Hockey Competition to be hosted in Chennai since the Asia Cup which was held there in 2007. So it is guys the first international competition to be held in Chennai since 2007. When a company falsely claims to be environmentally conscious and markets its products as such but is not making any notable sustainability efforts, it is termed as dash. So what is this marketing technique called? It is called green washing. Which country has received the Manisha Ocean Going Passenger Come Cargo Ferry from India? So here guys, Guyana is the right answer. Georgetown is the capital and dollar, Guyanese dollar is the currency. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Telangana State Secretariat received the coveted gold rating from CII's Indian Green Building. Council under the IGBC Green New Building Rating System. The Indian Green Building Council was established in DASH as part of CII to enable a sustainable built environment for all and facilitate India to be one of the global leaders in the sustainable built environment by DASH. IGBC gives certification to every type of building which conforms to its sustainability criteria through its DASH different rating indices. So what is the right answer? Guys, the right answer is option D. In 2001, this council was established. By 2025, it is going to create the sustainable built environment and it has 33 different rating indices. Which state organized the med medical value travel conclave 2023? Tamil Nadu is the right answer. Where did the harbor phase of the first edition of ASEAN India Maritime Exercise take place? Changi Naval Base in Singapore is the right answer, okay? So, this exercise took place in the South China Sea and the harbor phase of it took place in Singapore's Changi Naval Base. I have data is a technology innovation hub for data banks, data services and data analytics. It was established under the National Mission on Interdisciplinary Cyber Physical Systems funded by the DST. Which organization houses the hub? So you have different options here. What is the right answer? The right answer is option E. Indian Institute of Information Technology, Hyderabad. Which airline has unveiled the world's first robotic check-in assistant name, Sara? So here, Emirates is the right answer. Identify the correct statement with regards to the National Manufacturing Innovation Survey, 21 to 22. So this survey was developed by the Department of Science and technology along with UN IDO industrial development organization so this statement is correct the NMIS 2021 to 22 study was conducted as a two pronged uh, survey so this is also correct this study is a follow up to DST's first national innovation survey held in 2001 so it is wrong because the first survey was held in 2011 a total of 8087 firms participated and out of the total firm surveyed, 25.01% were considered innovative. So these two statements are correct. Only third statement is wrong. So correct statement pucha gaya. So here option C is, uh, sorry, option E is the right answer. 1, 2, 4 and 5. Which bank has introduced digital dis distribution platform Smart Sathi to connect business correspondents and business facilitators to the bank? So here HDFC bank is the right answer. Which payment bank has collaborated with National Payments Corporation of India to roll out face authentication for Aadhaar enabled payment service at its 5 lakh banking points? So here, Airtel Payment Bank is the right answer. Union Animal 
husbandry and dairy minister Purushottam Rupala launched Veterinary Council of India portal on World Veterinary Day. This council is a statutory body established under the Indian Veterinary Council Act of DASH. It receives DASH percent grants in aid from the Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy uh, and Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy to meet the cost of running the offices of the council. The designation of this council's head is known as DASH. So here what is the right answer? Option D is the right answer. 1984 May this act was passed. 100% grants in aid is given by the government to this council and the president uh, is the top notch position in this council. But who is the president? Can anyone tell me the name of the president? So guys, Omesh Chandra Sharma is the current president of the Veterinary Council of India. Where has Defence Minister Rajnath Singh laid the foundation stone of Ekta Harbour? So Maldives is the right answer. Mal is the capital. Rufia is the currency, which is very similar to Rufia of Indian currency. Okay, so that makes it easy to remember. Upaj, a festival of innovations in arts, was organized as a segment of the larger World IP Day celebration. In India, the World IP Day celebration are organized by the Office of the Controller General of Patents. Designs and Trademarks. Dr. Chintan Vaishnav, the chair of Startup 20 G, uh, of the G20, along with Ms. Durga Jasraj, founder of Pandit Jasraj Cultural Foundation, launched the festival. The Office of the Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks is under the administrative ages of which of the following ministries. So, here, guys, Ministry of Commerce and Industry is the right answer. So, World Intellectual Property Day is on April 26th. Women and IP, Accelerating Innovation and Creativity is the theme. Doki Land Port has been recently inaugurated to facilitate trade between India and Bangladesh. Okay. So, we have Land Ports Authority of India as well and at present Aditya Mishra is the chairperson of this Land Ports Authority of India. Okay. So, do remember this part. Which of the following four, four uh, points will be connected through the multimodal transit transport facility on the Kaladan River. Okay. So, here option A is uh, not option A because from Kolkata it will be connected to Sitwe. Okay. So, option D is the right answer. From Kolkata to Sitwe to Paletva, these two places are in Myanmar, then Zorinpuri, uh, sorry, Zorinpuri which is in Mizoram and then S1. So, this is how the connectivity will be provided uh, between the mainland India and northeast. Union Cabinet Minister for Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Shri Purushottam Rupala will officially launch the nationwide AHDF KCC campaign for a period of 11 months, okay, from 1st May 2023 to 31st March 2024. Indian Space Research Organization has completed the post-mission disposal operation of GSET-12. GSET-12 is the 23rd geo-satellite to undergo PMD before decommissioning. When was the satellite launched? So, it was launched in 2011. How many states UTs have adopted national uh, generic document registration system as of May 2023? So, very specific uh, question has been asked from you. It is 28. Ajay Banga has been appointed as a president of World Bank for a five-year term beginning June 2, 2023, which company was headed by Banga before assuming the presidency of the World Bank. So, a lot of students got confused and asked me the same question that he was the previous uh, head of MasterCard. But guys, in 2021, he left MasterCard and he joined General Atl Atlantic as the vice president. Okay, And here position has not been specified. It is just asking you which organization was headed by Banga. So, here General Atlantic is the right answer. Okay, I hope your doubts are clear now. Recently, the border heart between India and Bangladesh was inaugurated in Silhet, Bangladesh. When was this initiative of organizing the border heart launched? So, in 2011, this initiative was launched. World Hand Hygiene Day is celebrated on May 5th. Accelerate action together, save lives, clean your hands. Theme. Okay. Which institute is hosting the Center for Innovation, Incubation, Research, and Entrepreneurship? So, here, Kakatiya Institute of Technology and Science is the right answer. Which state has recently established a new directorate of minority affairs? 
so nagaland is the right answer recently nagaland was in the news because rbi has opened one of its sub offices in its capital that is kohima okay so kohima makes sub office khola hai rbi ne that is why nagaland was again in the news okay so those these two news are very important what is the food grain production target for 23 to 24 crop year so here guys what is the right answer 332 million tons is the right answer how many sports will be played in the third edition of khelo india university games 2022 so here guys 21 sports were played at up this khelo india university games was organized and punjab university has won it okay okay uh, which of the following psu has collaborated with the ministry of housing and urban affairs for technical assistance in solid waste management and used water management under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 so here guys rights limited is the right answer which country organized the machines can see 2023 summit so here uae is the right answer abu dhabi is the capital and dirham is the currency which of the following countries does not accept the monarch of uk as the head of the state so child does not accept uh, the head of uk as the head of itself okay apart from child all these countries accept uk monarch as their head child ka capital is santiago and peso is the currency which of the following countries co-chaired the 14th edition of peter uh, peter's work climate dialogue along with germany again ua is the right answer so uh, ua is important in terms of the news okay kafi sari news ua is related are that is why ua is important the dash bomber also known as black jack black jack in nato countries is a supersonic variable sweep wing strategic bomber developed by russia in the 1980s It is one of the largest and heaviest military aircraft ever built and its impressive size has earned it the nickname White Swan. Recently it has been used by Russia in the Ukraine war. So what is the right answer? T U 160 is the name of the bomber. Okay. Okay, one more thing NATO ki baat kar rahe hain because NATO remains in the news very often. So just one two two three uh, two things that you need to know about it. 1949 is the year of formation washington treaty is the treaty which established nato north atlantic treaty organization one more thing at present 31 countries are members of it and finland is the latest one to join um asian development bank will organize the 18th asia clean energy forum from th 13 to 16th june in manila philippines this forum will be guided by the theme navigating towards a carbon neutral future through clean energy solutions which countries are the co organizers of this forum so what is the right answer usa and republic of korea both of them are helping adb in organizing the forum which sport are avinash table parul choudhry pravin chitraval associated with so here athletics is the right answer which bank has signed a co lending agreement with the india shelter finance corporation limited a gurgaon based housing finance company so here guys axis bank is the right answer which bank has launched global collections and international collection service for exporters in collaboration with cash free payments so here yes bank is the right answer what is the theme of the world athletics day 2023 athletics for all a new beginning and when do we celebrate the world athletics day may 7 vishesh is retail banking program to onboard 1 lakh new customers from semi urban and rural areas of dash bank so here guys again hdfc bank is in the news meer card is the card network of which country so it is russia meer and rupee integration was in the news okay the plans of them that is why this question was played okay i hope you have read about it thoroughly next question is when did capital small finance bank limited started operations as india's first small finance bank so in 2016 it started as india's first small finance bank 
which of the following is the theme of the fourth edition of G20 Tech Sprint 2023? Cross border payments is the right answer. Here, guys, the previous three editions themes are mentioned. First edition theme was regulatory compliance uh, and supervision. Second edition was green and sustainable finance. Third edition was CBDC. Okay. Last year, HDFC Bank agreed to take over HDFC Limited. Recently, their merger has come into effect in a deal valued at about USD 40 billion. The proposed entity will have a combined asset base of around dash. So here, 18 lakh crore would be the right answer. Okay. Which of the following statement is that correct about the Indian Council of Agriculture Research? So let's read the statement. ICAR is a statutory organization under the aegis of Department of Agriculture, Research and Education. It was established on 16th July 1929 in pursuance of the report of the Royal Commission on Agriculture. It was formally known as the Imperial Council of Agriculture Research. Okay. So this statement is wrong because ICAR is not a statutory but an autonomous organization. Okay. So here option C is the right answer. Which of the following programs has been launched by ISRO for postgraduate and final year undergraduate students of physical sciences and technology? So here, SART is the right answer. Space science and technology awareness training is the full form of SART. Which IIT hosts the recently inaugurated Renewable Grid Integration Laboratory and Green Hydrogen Laboratory? So here, guys, IIT Roorkee is the right answer. Which city is setting up Asia's largest biogas plant? So here Mumbai is the right answer. Which state has launched the school health program for preparing the digital health report card for children, the first in India? So it is Uttar Pradesh. So school health program, school chalo abhiyan, and polytechnic chalo abhiyan. Okay. So these are the three initiatives recently launched by the government of Uttar Pradesh. Where is the source and conservation reserve located? So Rajasthan is the right answer. So along with this conservation reserve, two other places were also given the tag of a conservation reserve. Okay. So those two are Hamirgarh and Bijan. Okay. You can remember it through a trick also. Uh, like Hamirgarh may. Hamirgarh ke beaten mein ja kar source ne khana bana hai. So this is the trick which I used to remember all these conservation reserves. Because this beaten sounds very much similar to kitchen. Okay, so you can remember it this in this manner also. That Hamirgarh ke kitchen mein ja ke source ne khana bana hai. So kitchen ko aap beaten se replace kar dena. Okay. Where was the mutual firefighting exercise named Agni Daman 23 conducted? So Maharashtra is the right answer. Which has become the first general insurance company to accept RBI, CBDC, e rupee for premium payments. So it is guys Reliance General Insurance and it would need a bank for that, okay, for accepting the CBDC. So it has collaborated with Yes Bank. Okay. Where is the Adur Cooperative Urban Bank located? In Adur, Kerala. Recently its license was cancelled. When is the World Thalassemia Day observed? May 8th. The theme is Be Aware, Share, Care, Strengthening Education to Bridge the Thalassemia Care Gap. Which state does the tagging community belong to? So, Arunachal Pradesh, guys, is the right answer. Recently, a movie, Love in 90s, was uh, released, and this movie is based on this community only. Okay? Ministry of Health and Family Welfare launched the third phase of Thalassemia Bal Seva Yojana to commemorate the World Thalassemia Day. This Yojana portal was also launched, which company is supporting the initiative as part of its PSA. So here guys, Coal India Limited, the largest coal manufacturing company in India is uh, supporting this Thalassemia Bal Seva Yojana. Okay. One more thing regarding Coal India Limited that you all should be aware of is its target. So it aims to increase the coal production to 1 billion ton by FY26, that is 25 to 26. Which portal is hosting the Yuva Pratibha Culinary Talent Hunt of the Institute of Hotel Management, Pusa? So here, innovateindia.mygovernment.in. Okay, so this institute collaborated with the My Government to launch this talent hunt. Which state has recently announced financial support of Rs. 10 lakh for the patients suffering from Dashen 
मस्क्यूलर डिस्ट्रोफी सो उड़ीसा हियर इज दी राइट आंसर अपनी सरकार पोर्टल बिलोंग्स टू विच स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी सो इट इज उत्तराखंड उत्तराखंड हैज लॉन्च दिस अपनी सरकार पोर्टल विच स्टेट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इंडिया स्टेट रोबोटिक्स फ्रेमवर्क इट इज प्रोबेबली द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन इंडिया एंड इट हैज बिन डन बाय तेलंगाना which ship is participating in the 50th edition of cape to rio race 2020 free from india so here guys ins talani is the right answer it is going to participate in this race which country has issued the world's largest debt for nature swap on record so it is ecuador identify the incorrect statement with regards to the iadai state insurance plan so here we have the five statements out of which option e is the wrong answer sorry the wrong statement okay because max life has been appointed as the lead insurer for the state of uttar pradesh and not madhya pradesh apart from that every statement was correct who is the md and ceo of Un city union bank so here n kamakodi is the right answer where are the manufacturing facilities of nano dop established so at kalol at present and at paradeep in odisha these facilities are established one more thing that we are talking about nano dop i hope you all know we have nano urea plants we have the urea conventional plants and india wants to become self reliant in urea production by the year 2025 okay At present, five plants of urea production are there: conventional urea and nano urea. के भी five plants ही हैं, जो कि either operational है और under construction है. Okay, so that is the scenario. How much is the authorized capital of Dail Vikas Nigam Limited? So here, guys, three thousand crore is the right answer. Under this Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin, an ODF plus village is one which has sustained its open defecation free status along with implementing either solid or liquid waste management system as of date more than 296000 uh, villages have declared themselves odf plus which is a significant step towards achieving the swachh bharat mission gramin phase 2 goals by 2024 to 2025 as per the recently released data dash percent of villages have achieved the odf plus status under the phase 2 of the mission dash is the top performing state in terms of uh, the percentage of odf plus villages in the larger states category with 100% coverage how much amount has been allocated under the swachh bharat mission gramin in the union budget 20 uh, 23 to 24 so here three questions have been asked from you and the right answer is option b 50% villages have declared themselves uh, themselves as the odf plus uh, villages under the phase 2 Telangana has the hundred percent coverage, and the budget allocated is fifty-two thousand one hundred thirty-seven crore. Union Minister for Women and Child Development Smriti Irani launched the center's flagship Poshan Bhi Padhai Bhi to focus on early childhood care and education at Anganwadi's across the country. How much amount has been allocated for the training of Anganwadi workers to implement the early childhood care and education, which is? Uh, taken from the national education policy 2020 okay i hope you all have covered the national education policy as well 600 crore guys is the total outlay that has been set aside for the training of the anganwadi workers recently one or two days back i covered a news for the uh, which is about the scheme that the ministry of women and child development has launched regarding uh, providing the rehabilitation okay to the minor rape victims or the victims who have got pregnant okay and their families have uh, denounced any relationship with them okay so for those uh, victims this scheme has been launched and the funding of this scheme will be sourced from the nirbhaya fund theek okay? hai so itna yaad rakhna please moving ahead because there are a lot of questions that we have to cover so aapko lag raha hoga that ma'am is doing it in such a hurry but i have to do that because we have a lot of questions to cover in this single session only okay question number 75 is which state has launched the geeta karmikula bhima scheme for extending an insurance cover of rupees 5 lakh to todi tapers so here telangana is the right answer 
in case guys you have anything to discuss with me or you have any doubt in the news you can ask okay uh, kerala has launched the kerala institutional ranking framework mock framework modeled on the lines of the national institutional ranking framework to assess the quality of higher education institutions in the state identify the parameters that are not to be used in the ranking teaching learning resources is a parameter knowledge dissemination and research excellence is a parameter graduation outcome is a parameter okay outreach and inclusivity is also a parameter research output is not a parameter Recently, RBI has lifted limitations on individuals creating interest-earning foreign currency accounts to make India's international financial services center more appealing. RBI has abolished the requirement that any funds remaining idle in the FCA account for up to dash days be repatriated. So, what was the earlier limit? So, earlier limit was 15 days. How? Which company has won the gold? award in the csr category at the green world award 2023 so here power grid corporation of india is the right answer how many gold medals did india win at the moscow wushu stars championship 2023 17 medals and all these medals were won by the girls recently n gopalakrishnan former scientist at the csir has passed away which of the following institutes was founded by gopal krishnan so indian institute of scientific heritage is the right answer which country hosts the global celebrations of world environment day so ivory coast plus netherlands okay so these two countries collaborated to celebrate the world environment day at the global scale solutions to plastic pollution was the theme Recently, Himachal Pradesh CM Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu launched Him Data Portal to integrate data of all government wings for the delivery of welfare schemes. Which institute has developed the portal for the state? So, it is Indian School of Business which has developed this portal for the state. Where is the Batam city located? So, at Indonesia it is located. So, recently Samudra Shakti, the fourth edition was organized at this place okay so it is a bilateral exercise between india and indonesia by which year does who aim to achieve the global target to half anemia prevalence in women of reproductive age so by 2025 who aim to do that which ministry has secured the second position in the data governance quality index assessment for the q3 of fy23 so here guys ministry of ports shipping and uh, waterways uh, has secured the second position. Sabananda Sonowal is the current minister. Which of the following statement is that correctly stating the purpose of RBI's 100 days, 100 pays campaign? So, here, guys, option B uh, that means this second statement it aims to resolve the grievances of customers of banks to the ombudsman within uh, 100 days. Okay, so this is wrong. The right answer here is option A. Okay, just give me a second. It aims to trace and settle, settle the top 100 unclaimed deposits of every bank in every district within 100 days. So, this is the correct objective of the 100 days, 100 pays campaign. Who chairs the IIDA's recently constituted committee on matters related to mental health and insurance? Director of NIMHANS is the right answer. NIMHANS, guys, is National Institute for Mental Health and Neuroscience. Okay. And the director at present is Pratima Murthy. Pratima bhi hai or Murthy bhi hai, which basically means the same thing. That is an idol. Okay. So, this is how you can remember the director. Who has been appointed as a global ambassador of Gucci Alam? International Day of Plant Health is celebrated on May 12th. Okay. Plant Health for Environmental Protection is the theme. Okay. And this you can connect with Mission Life because Mission Life is. Uh, Mission Life is also focusing on including the sustainable habits into the lifestyle and one health initiative, one world, one health initiative of the world, okay, wherein the health of the humans, animals and environment is interconnected. 
Recently, the National Technology Awards 2023 were announced by the Technology Development Board of the Ministry of Science and Tech. The categories of awards are Main MSME Startup Translational Research and Technology Business Incubator. The National Technology Award Main has been won by Dash having a prize money of Dash. So here guys, uh, the prize money was 25 lakh and the company which has won is My Lab Discovery Solutions. In October 2023, the Prime Minister launched the mission Deaf Space during the 12th Deaf Expo in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. The mission aimed at boosting innovation on certain launch systems for the Indian Armed Forces. How many challenges are covered in this mission? So, 75 challenges are covered in the mission Deaf Space on which the companies have to innovate. The IDEX framework was launched in April 2018, managed by DIO, aims at creation of an ecosystem to foster innovation and technology in defense and aerospace sector of India. By engaging the MSME startups, individual innovators, R&D institutes and academia and by providing them funds to create products and services for the future adoption by the Indian defense and aerospace units. Under which act is the DIO organization established? So many of you might confuse it with some defense act, but the right answer here is Companies Act, okay, under Section 8. Because the DIO is an NPO and all the NPOs are registered under the Section 8 of Companies Act. Which state is implementing the Mukhya Mantri Siko Kamao Yojana? Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. Which is said to become the first state to have a welfare fund for the NG Narega workers. So again, Kerala is the right answer. Every kind of social parameter. Kerala would be uh, standing in the first place. Recently, Northeastern Handicrafts and Handlooms Development Corporation Limited and the Indian Institute of Packaging have signed an MOU to enhance the packaging and branding of handloom and handicraft products from the Northeastern region uh, and promote the use of eco friendly and sustainable packaging and to in increase their visibility and marketability. The Indian Institute of Packaging is an autonomous body which was set up in DASH by the packaging and allied industries under the DASH for improving the packaging standards of the country. So what is the right answer? So right answer is option E. It is related to packaging. So obviously Ministry of Commerce and Industry would be the uh, administrative ministry of this institute. The year is 1966 in which it was set up. Vast, a space habitation technologies company has announced its plans to launch the world's first commercial space station called Haven First on SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to low earth orbit in 2025, okay. Which country does the company belong to? So it is US, okay. At present, we have two space stations, ISS and Tiangong, which is of China. How much? amount has been approved by the World Bank to set up an integrated road safety enforcement system in India. So, 51 crore rupees is the right answer. Let me just one uh, take a minute to clarify one thing. Recently, World Bank has given a loan of 300 million dollars, okay, over 300 million dollars to Bangladesh. And this loan was for setting up South Asia's first integrated road safety, dedicated road safety project, okay. So, road safety ke liye Bangladesh ko bhi loan diya gaya hai and road safety ke liye India ko bhi loan mila hai. Then why are we calling that the loan which Bangladesh has got is South Asia's first such loan from the World Bank. The reason is that the road safety, the dedicated road safety project of Bangladesh is going to contain a lot of elements, okay. Whereas this integrated road safety enforcement system is only for the traffic enforcement system. Okay, so that's the distinction between these two news in case you were getting confused. Okay, so it is only focusing on one element whereas this is a dedicated project which is encompassing various components to ensure road safety. Recently, MEE Pope has been elected as the next director general of Indian, sorry, International Organization of Migration, a specialized organization of UN. The International Organization of Migration or as it was first known, the Provisional Intergovernmental Committee for the Movement of Migrants from Europe was born in 1951. 
out of the chaos and displacement of western europe following the second world war when was this organization named as the international organization for migrants so here 1989 is the right answer so establishment is in 1951 but renaming is in 1989 do remember as per a newspaper report published in may 2023 the central government has appointed the former coal secretary anil kumar jain as the chairman of the petroleum and natural gas regulatory board which type of organization pngrb is so it is a statutory organization okay because it was set up through an act which is by the same name which came into effect in 2006 Which colored ribbon is used for spreading awareness about the World AIDS Vaccine Day? Obviously, red. It is shown in the picture. May eighteen is the date. With which country has India launched fifty startups exchange program? Bangladesh. Which of the following portals aims to prevent frauds such as identity theft, forced KYC, and banking frauds through mobile? So, Sanchar Sarthi is the right answer. Okay. Recently, City Beauty Competition Portal has been launched by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to encourage and recognize the transformational efforts made by cities and wards across the country to create beautiful, innovative, and inclusive public spaces. Under this competition, wards and public spaces in cities would be judged against five broad pillars. Which of the following is not among the pillars of the assessment? Accessibility, health, amenities is also there. uh then we have aesthetics also there ecology is also there sustainability is not there instead activities is the fifth pillar okay so these are the five pillars of this competition which state has launched the mukhya mantri krishak vyaj maafi yojana 2023 to waive the loans of 2 lakh for defaulting farm madhya pradesh is the right answer elections are coming in this state so we can guess Recently Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh has become the first city in India to adopt the localization of United Nations mandated sustainable development goals identify the correct pair of SDGs from the options given below so here let's have a look at these options SDG 1 gender equality 7 zero hunger 4 clean and affordable energy 3 quality education 9 life below earth 12 reduced inequalities and all of these are wrong so correct option to koi sa bhi nahi hai and obviously hamara answer ho jayega none of those given as options this is the sdg goals list please read it out and remember the sdgs which of the following exercise do india and uk hold together so ajay warrior is the right answer with which bank has zomato collaborated for zomato upi so here guys icici bank is the right answer. Which company has launched India's first mutual fund focused on defence sector? HDFC. SBI Capital Markets, BOB Capital Markets, and IDBI Capital Markets and securities have been chosen as the merchant bankers for conducting the IPO of the state-run Indian Renewable Energy or Development Agency. The draft red herring prospectus for the IPO is expected to be submitted to SEBI within the next six months. Considering this, which of the following contents would not be a part of the DHRP of IREDA? First statement is information on IREDA's business operations, promoters, financial standards, standing within its industry. So that information will be there. Listed or unlisted peers, this will also be there. Purpose of raising the money, it will be there. details of the issue size will also be there but the prices of the shares will not be there okay so just the price band will be provided not the exact prices of the shares how much is the global inflation projection for 2023 by the world economic situations and prospects 2023 report so 5.2% is the projection for the world and for india it is 5.5% okay a uh, growth ki baat kare to india ka growth rate would be uh, in 2023 5.8% 6.7% would be in 2024 according to un's world economic and situation prospects report as far as world is concerned 2.3% world ki gdp hogi in 2023 2.5% would be the gdp in 2024 recently ugc has launched the nep sarathi that is 
student ambassador for academic reforms in transforming higher education in India to involve students in the implementation of the national education policy 2020. How many students will be chosen from each higher education institutions as their nominations for the NEP Sarathis? So, three will be chosen from each institution and a total of 300 NEP Sarathis will be selected by the UGC. Okay. NEP is national education policy. Recently, IIT Madras has established the Center for Water Technology in Water Resource Management and Water Technology. The center aims to build human capacity to ensure water security for the country. Marsh Dash Agency for International Development Co Cooperation will provide assistance to the center for the Amrut mission for achieving its overall targets. Fill in the blank. So here guys, Israel is the right answer. This agency belongs to Israel. It is the Agency for International Development Cooperation of Israel. Okay. There are various agencies. For example, USAID is there. Uh, there is EIB, European Investment Bank, which gives loans for the development also. So some countries collaborate. Karta hai. KFW is for is the German's International Development Bank. Uh, similarly, I am not able to remember the Japan's agency. JICA, I guess. Japan International Cooperation Agency. So these are different agencies of different countries. This is Israel. Okay. So remember. Uh, do remember. Now, give me a thumbs up if you have covered the Amrut theme thoroughly. How many of you have covered the Amrut theme thoroughly so far? Have you guys covered the Amrut scheme? Yes. Lawrence said yes. Okay, chali aage badte hain. Which state has launched the Sahas initiative for making workplaces safer for women? Telangana again. Which district has launched the first of its kind initiative named Nirmaya Health Insurance Scheme for children suffering from autism, cerebral palsy, or mental retardation, multiple disabilities and others? So here guys, Vishakapatnam district is the right answer. Which state has announced to create a repository of satellite imageries of different time periods of the state on the Rajthara platform? So Rajasthan is the right answer. Raj, say you can remember it is Rajasthan. INS Vagshir is the dash scorpion submarine of project 75 uh, of the Kalwari class which has been delivered by the Ma Mazagon Dock Shipyard Limited. So here 6 is the right answer, a total of 6 uh, diesel electric submarines were to be developed under the project 75 in collaboration with France. Okay. How much was the production of defense goods in India in FY23 as per the Ministry of Defense data? So here 12 billion dollar is the right answer. Who is the first Saudi woman to go in space? So Rayana uh, Barnavi is the right answer. NPCI introduced CVV. CVV ke full form is card verification value and I hope you must have gone through the past years. In case you haven't done that, let me just tell you that in one of your past years, this was a question. CVV ki full form poochhi gai thi aap se, okay? So, do pay attention to the terms which are specific to the banking and finance because from there question can be created. Okay, so CVV free facility for its rupee, debit, credit and prepaid card holders who have tokenized their cards on the merchant application. When did rupee launch the card on file tokenization facility? In 2021, this facility was launched by rupee. Which of the following company has launched India's first recycled PVC rupee card? So it is tight, not the washing powder tight, but a fintech company. Which of the following ports will be developed as a green hydrogen hub under the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways? Panch Karma Sankalp. We have talked extensively on the Panch Karma Sankalp, so I am not going to repeat it again. Just let's uh, answer this question. So, Deendayal Port in Kandala, Gujarat and Biyotadam Dam Port in Tamil Nadu. These two have been chosen for transformation as green hydrogen hubs. Uh, 
Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry has ex extended the deadline of the Smart Cities Mission from June 2023 to 24 to enable 100 smart cities to not only complete their projects but also document and disseminate the learnings from the mission. How many are these sm small cities with less than 1 million population uh, which have been taken, uh, which have been chosen in the smart cities mission? So out of 100, how many are the small cities? So the right answer here is 66. Which state has launched the Pahal initiative to increase the level of education? So here Uttar Pradesh is the right answer. Okay. Pahal ho gaya, school chalo ho gaya, polytechnic chalo ho gaya. So school health card program ho gaya. Okay. And this Pehel. Okay. So, so many initiatives have been launched very recently by Uttar Pradesh. One more uh, education related scheme is there that is Abhyudaya. Uh, just give me a second. Abhyudaya. Okay. Iske under the coaching is provided for free to the SCST students for their competitive exams like UPSC. Or Bo scheme B UP ki hai. Under which scheme has the central government appointed LNT Engineering Limited to augment infrastructure and tourism spots of the UT of Puducherry? So under the Swadesh Darshan scheme, LNT has been chosen. One family, one ID also has been launched by the Uttar Pradesh government only. Very good. Nand Baba Milk uh, initiative is also launched by Uttar Pradesh. Very good. Anand Baba ke baare mein we will talk because there is a question also. Which of the following causes does the CSR initiative in forces springboard aim to serve? So here guys, what is the right answer? The right answer is option E. Killing of women and students from the rural area is the initiative or the target of in forces springboard. Okay. Uh, there is one more initiative. Okay. Youth Co. Lab. Okay. This particular program also had, also has an initiative called Spring Board. Okay, it also runs a program called Spring Board. So do not get confused between these two initiatives. Okay, one is of Youth Collab and this one is specifically of Infosys. Okay, which company has launched the Gains 2023 to support the startups ecosystem in India? Gains aims to address. Uh, the present and emerging challenges in the shipbuilding and construction industry and aims at achieving the objectives of Art Nirbhar Bhat. So here guys, GRSE is the right answer. GRSE uh, so accelerated phase per innovations ko nurture karna hai isi liye ye launch kiya hai. Okay? This is your uh, you can say uh, mnemonic for remembering this thing okay nurture karna hai. so the full form of gains is grsc uh, accelerated innovation nurture scheme okay? which is the only indian company to feature in the bcg's top 50 companies list in 2023 being the most innovative company in their operation so tata group here guys is the right answer which is the first csu bank to offer live video chat and live web chat services to its customers so here bank of baroda is the right answer how much amount has been transferred by rbi to the central government as dividend in 22 23 as against the center's expectation of dash including the other banks dividend okay so center has got much more than it had expected including the other banks and RBI's dividend. So what is the right answer? The right answer is option B. It has got almost double 87,416 crores uh, from the RBI's dividend and it has expected the dividend to be at 48,000 crores. Now guys, do you know which committee has given this framework for distribution of dividend and surplus between RBI and the center? If you know, then do give me the answer. Tell me which committee suggested this formula or rather gave the recommendations on the methodology for sharing the surplus of the RBI with the uh, center. Absolutely right, it's Bimal Jalan committee. I hope you have read about the Bimal Jalan committee's recommendations also once in your preparation. Okay, I'm not saying that do remember the recommendations of the previous committees, but please at the same time 
have a look at some major committees which are of RBI and which have a significant impact on RBI's function. Identify the correct order of banks in accordance with their profit growth percentage in FY23. So here guys, in terms of profit growth percentage, Bank of Maharashtra is first, then second is UCO, Badoda third, UBI fourth, SBI fifth. Okay. So here the table has been given. You can read and remember the table. Okay. Which of the following Indian supercomputers has secured the 75th position in the prestigious top 500 global supercomputing list. So it is Aravat. Aravat is a supercomputer at the CDAC Pune. Okay. Center for Development of Advanced Computing in Pune where this supercomputer is at present located. Where is the talk Pisin language spoken? So at Papua New Guinea. In Papua New Guinea this language is spoken. At this place at Port Morsby, which is also the capital of Papua New Guinea, the third edition of the forum uh, for Indo-Pacific uh, Island Countries summit was organized. Okay, so third summit of this FIPIC forum was organized in Port Morsby. Okay, so this question we have just covered, the third edition of FIPIC. Okay, one more thing that FIPIC is a uh, collaboration of India and 14 Pacific Island nations, the small islands in the Oceania region. By which year does G7 partnership for global infrastructure and investment aim to mobilize $600 billion in global infrastructure investment? Good. So by 2027 is the right. By what percentage has the airfare been cut under the Udan 5.1 to make flying in helicopters more affordable for passengers? So 25% is the right answer. The Union Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, Dairying has announced to start the phase fifth. Okay, you must have heard about the phase fourth in the morning itself. Okay, Manish sir must have told, uh, covered a question on the phase four also, which was launched in uh, Karnataka, right? Now the phase fifth is here. So phase fifth of the Sagar Parikrama initiative, the aim is to spread information about fisheries related themes and programs such as Pradhan Mantri Matasya Sampada, Yojana and Kisan Credit Card. The scheme has already completed four phases in dash locations and this will be the, uh, this will be launched in dash locations in dash and dash state. So here guys, option A is the right answer. At 19 locations, it has already been launched. At six places, it will be launched in Maharashtra and Goa. Prime Minister Modi released a special commemorative postage stamp and a rupees 75 coin to mark the inauguration of the new parliament building. Considering this, identify the correct statement from the options given below. Okay. So, first statement is the responsibility for coinage vest with the government of India under the Coinage Act 2011. Correct. Coins are minted at four, uh, four minting presses or the mints, which are at Mumbai, Alipur, Saifabad, Cherapalli, and Noida. Correct. Coins can be issued up to the denomination of rupees 1000 as per the Coinage Act. Correct. So, all of these statements are correct. So, none are incorrect would be the right answer. If none is incorrect, then all are correct. Which state UT celebrated the Maiden Sinthan Festival? So, JNK is the right answer. Excess River Smart Best are the projects of which country? Bangladesh. World Bank has given loan for each of these projects. Which organization released the Transport Outlook 2023 report? So, International Transport Forum released this report. Which bank launched the Future Bankers 2.0 program, which is basically a recruitment drive of this bank. So it is HDFC Bank. Which payment service provider has launched the UPI SDK to allow the customers of online merchants to make UPI payments directly and in line from the merchant's mobile app without getting redirected during the check. So it is guys Paytm. Central government has cleared a prompt digital reporting and communication mechanism under which the Central Economic Intelligence Bureau will send a report digitally regarding borrowers. To the PSU banks for a loan amount of dash or higher at pre-approval stage within 15 days of request. The new system will require banks to submit their request to CEIB through dedicated email in a specified format. In turn, this organization will send reports to banks via emails 
uh, and maintain a record of the timeline and actions taken by the bank. So basically, what is the threshold? Uh, the threshold is 50 crore. Which of the following is the incorrect statement with regards to the liberalized remittance scheme? This remains very much in the view. So let's read the statements. Under the LRS, all resident individuals, including minors, are allowed to freely remit up to 2,15,000 per financial year outside India. Strong. 2,50,000. Okay. From now onwards, the purchase is made by using the ICC by residents touring abroad will be counted in the LRS. Okay. This is also wrong because the Ministry of Finance has made it clear that from now onwards, uh, the purchases made to the international debit credit cards will not be counted in uh, the LRS. Okay. In the, sorry, sorry, in the TCS. Okay. Tax collected at source will not be counted. Okay, will not be uh, the tax will not be deducted on these purchases. Okay, so uh, this statement is wrong. Uh, no, sorry, this statement is correct. The LRS scheme will be introduced in was introduced in two thousand four with a limit of rupees fifteen thousand. This is wrong. Twenty five thousand is the right answer. So LRS was in, launched with twenty five thousand. Now its limit has been increased to two lakh fifty thousand. And the purchases made by using the ICC will definitely be a part of the LRS counting. Recently, RIDR has relaxed norms for surety bonds to expand the surety insurance market by increasing the availability of such products. To attain this goal, the new solvency margin has been set, which is what is the new solvency requirement for these insurers. So 1.5x is going to be the new requirement. Which company has established its Samadhan centers, a one-stop solution center for providing the assistance to farm? So Godrej Agrovet is the right answer. The European Securities and Markets Authority, the EU, uh, the EU's financial market regulator and supervisor has de-recognized six Indian central counterparties from April 30, 2023. Which Indian, under which Indian Act are these CCPs governed? So they are governed under the Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. Who has been appointed as a new chairman of the Data Security Council of India? So here Pramod Bhasin is the right answer. World Thyroid Day is celebrated on May 25. On whose birthday does All India Football Federation celebrate the AIFF Grassroots Day? Pradeep Kumar Banerjee is the right answer. Which of the following statements correctly describes the purpose of Samarth campaign recently launched by the Union Minister for Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Shri Guriraj Singh? So here guys, what is the right answer? The right answer is option B. Samarth has been launched for promoting digital transactions in 50,000 gram panchayats. Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia inaugurated the 8th International Conference on Pharma and Medical Device Sector in Delhi. What is the theme of the first day of the conference? So here guys, option A is the right answer. Sustainable MedTech 5.0, Scaling and Innovating Indian MedTech. The second day of the conference was dedicated to the pharma industry and the theme was Indian pharma industry delivering value through innovation. National Tiger Conservation Authority has constituted a cheetah project steering committee to review and progress, uh, review progress, monitor and advise on the cheetah introduction to Madhya Pradesh Forest Department and NPCA basically. Who heads this committee? So here guys, Rajesh Gopal is the right answer. What is the production estimate for oil seeds as per the third advance estimate? of food production for food grains. So for oil seeds, it is 409.96 lakh ton. Okay. Coming to a storm near you and rocket like a hurricane are the satellite launch missions of NASA for DASH program, for tropics program. Which of the following is the correct observation made by the levels and trends in child malnutrition report? Stunting affected 22.3% children under 5 globally. Wasting affected 6.8% uh, children under 5 globally. 
overweight affected 5.6% children and the 5 in 2022 so all these statements are correct okay here guys the world's observation and the situation of india has been provided to you please read it on your own and uh, uh, one more thing that 14 point uh, sorry the value of stunting the percentage of stunting in india has been reduced from 14.6 to 31.7 okay then overweight has reduced to 2.2 to sorry not reduced but increased to 2.8 then uh, wasting is the value is 18.7 percent so do pay attention to these values these percentages uh, as far as india is concerned which bank has been impaneled as a clearing and settlement bank with the indian clearing corporation limited so here guys indian bank is the right answer and this is the list of clearing corporations which was there on sebi's website Two Maharashtra based banks have been merged. It is the first of its kind merger of a negative net worth bank with another bank. After the RBI allowed the voluntary mergers and amalgamations between the cooperative banks in March 2021, identify the banks. So it is guys Mah Maratha Sahakari Bank and the Cosmos Cooperative Bank Limited which have uh, merged. SEBI has set up a 21 members intermediary advisory committee chaired by Dash. To advise on changes in the legal framework and increasing transparency in the functioning of market intermediaries. So S. Ravindran is the right answer. Do also remember the strength of the committee. How many high courts are operational in India? 25. Which ministry is the top buyer of goods on GEM portal? Power ministry. Union government recently notified PLI 2.0 for IT hardware. The scheme has dash category of uh, applicants. So, three categories of applicants are there. Recently, negotiations for supply chain pillar 2 agreement were concluded during the second in person Indo Pacific uh, Economic Framework Ministerial meeting held in Detroit, US. The IPEF supply chain pillar 2 agreement is one of the fastest ever concluded plurilateral economic cooperation agreement. Considering the above statement, identify the correct statement from the options given below. So let's read the option. In May 2022, US launched the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity to advance resilience, sustainability, inclusiveness, economic growth, fairness, and competitiveness for our economy. Correct. It has Australia, Brunei, Fiji, India, Indonesia, Japan, etc. etc. as its members. Correct. The 14-member partnership uh, or this forum represent 55% of the global trade, wrong. 40% of the global GDP, not trade and 28% of the global trade, okay? So, uh, one and two statements are correct and three is the wrong statement. Which of the following agencies has launched 2023 to 27 country partnership strategy for India for accelerating structural transformation and job creation, promoting climate resilient growth, deepening social and economic inclusiveness as key focus area. So, ADB has launched this partnership. Which has emerged as the bank best bank in NPA reduction with its net NPA falling as low as 0.25% during FY23. So, guys, it is Bank of Maharashtra. How much is the FDI inflow in India in FY23 according to DPIIT data? So, $46 billion is the right answer. Singapore is the top source of FDI in India. Computer hardware is the top sector receiving the FDI and Maharashtra is the top state having the highest quantum of uh, FDI. Which bank has, with which bank has Razorway collaborated to launch Turbo UPS? So here guys, the Axis Bank is the right answer. Who has sworn in by the President Draupadi Murmu as the Central Vigilance Commissioner? So what is the right answer? Praveen Kumar Shrivastav. When is the International Day of Women's Health observed? May 28. Which sport is Pranoy HS related to badminton? So here guys, we have completed the month of May. I'm going to give you a break of five minutes. Okay. So take five minutes break and then we will begin with the June 2023 session. Okay.
I'm back, guys. So, I hope this little break has freshened you up. Chalye, so, let's begin with June current affairs. I hope all of you are with me. Tell me, a th give me a thumbs up if all of you are awake and you are feeling refreshing and you are with me. Okay, so, Chalye, let's begin with the June current affairs. Recently, the Ministry of Electronics and IT has launched the Electronics Repair Service Outsourcing Pilot Initiative. Where is the pilot of this project launched? So, the pilot of this project has been launched in Bangalore. Where is the National Training Center for Food Safety and Standard Authority of India established. So, Uttar Pradesh is the right answer. This Food Safety and Standards Authority, ka jo National Training Center, it has been established in Uttar Pradesh. Recently, India launched a Asia's first performance-based navigation system for helicopters for a flight from Juhu to Pune using Dash satellite technology. So, which is this? satellite technology. The right answer is Gagan. Gagan stands for GPS aided. Okay? Break the entire full form in three parts. GPS aided, geo augmented. Navigation. Okay? This is how you will be able to remember it. Okay? GPS aided, geo augmented navigation satellite. Recently, Union Cabinet has approved the constitution of an inter-ministerial committee for facilitation of world's largest grain storage plan in cooperative sector. The plan aims to converge various themes of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, Ministry of Consumer Affairs, or Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Which of the following schemes will be converged under the plan? Agriculture Infrastructure Fund? Yes. Agriculture Marketing Infrastructure Scheme, yes. Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, yes. Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana, yes. Pradhan Mantri Matasya Sampada Yojana, no. So, this will not be conversed and we can clearly uh, guess this from the name itself because it is a grain storage. Machli ki storage nahi karenge, grain ki storage karenge, okay. So, that is why all these schemes are here. But you don't be uh, very casual about this question. The reason is because this place can be asked for another scheme because it can be given in the option. So the option or the way for all of you is to remember all the schemes to be converged under this plan. Recently, central government has approved the city investments to innovate, integrate and sustain 2.0 to support projects promoting a circular economy with a focus on integrated Urban management, what is the tenure of the program? Four year is the right answer, 2023 to 2027. Which state has launched Namo Shetkari Samman Yojana to provide 6,000 a year as minimum income support to farmers? Maharashtra. Okay? Now, do remember that 6,000 will be given under this state scheme, 6000 is also given under the central scheme of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. Thik hai? Oh, not the Fasal Bhima Yojana, it's I guess Kisan Samman Nidhi Yojana. I am getting confused because a total of rupees 12,000 will be given to the farmers in the state. 6000 component will be coming from a central scheme and 6000 is from this Namo Shetkari scheme. Can anyone of you clarify me which central scheme is this? Is it uh, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana or Kisan Samman Nidhi Yojana? I guess Kisan Samman Nidhi Yojana is the right answer. Yes, PM. Yes, PM Kisan. Thank you so much, guys. PM Kisan. Okay. Which of the following statements is that incorrect about the 76th edition of the World Health Assembly? Okay, so here different statements have been given to you. So, incorrect batana hai. Out of these statements, only option 3 is the incorrect statement. 
the reason is that there were not uh, 170 indicators okay 60 indicators were there out of which 16 indicators are key indicators okay the coalition for epidemic preparedness innovations is an innovative global partnership between public private philanthropic and so civil society organizations launched in davos in 2017 to develop vaccines to stop future epidemics since then cepi has significantly expanded the scope of its centralized laboratory network the epidemic and pandemic vaccine testing laboratory network okay of cepi identify the new joiners of this network as of june 2023 so guys senegal india and kenya have joined this network okay who has been named as the smile ambassador for the swachh mukh abhiyan initiative of maharashtra government sachin tendulkar world multiple sclerosis day is may 30 uh, minister of housing and urban affairs uh, and Petroleum and Natural Gas, Hardeep Singh Puri organized at an event at Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi to celebrate the completion of PM Swamidhi's three years. At the event, a mobile application was launched for the street vendors to ease the loan application process and provide information to the street vendors regarding the scheme. There was already a mobile application launched for the lending institutions and their field functionaries and you have to tell when was the field functionaries PM Swanidhi application launched. So it was launched in 2020. Which of the following statement is that correct with regards to the Govardhan initiative? I hope you have covered Govardhan scheme. Tell me a yes if you have covered Govardhan scheme thoroughly. Give me a yes if you have. And how many of you have covered the government schemes from the documents that we have already provided? Good, good. So, Israel was all, I guess Israel had uh, given the answer in Amrut scheme also. Very good. And all of you who are watching me right now, but uh, I hope all of you have done the government schemes. Okay, so many yes. Very good, very good, guys. I hope there are questions in government schemes and there are many schemes in the government schemes. Okay, so that you have exam clear. Good. Coming back to the question, 500 new waste to wealth plants will be established under the Gobardhan scheme. Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation uh, uh, of the Ministry of Jal Shakti is the coordinating department for Gobardhan. Out of the 500, 200 will be the compressed biogas plant. So, what is the right answer? The right answer is option D. That means all these statements are correct. Where was the third employment working group? meeting organized so here guys geneva at the headquarters of international labor organization a important or a specialized agency of the un out of the total 15 specialized agencies now the fourth working group meeting is going to be held in indore do remember this fact french railway company alstom has won 30000 crore rupee contract for manufacturing and maintenance of 100 Aluminium body Vande Bharat trains. Prime Minister Narendra Modi planned to run 75 Vande Bharat trains by that. So by 2024, he had envisaged to have 75 Vande Bharat trains. Match the following categories of MSMEs with their classification criteria. So let's have a look. Micro Enterprises has the investment in plant and machinery of up to 1 crore and annual turnover should not be more than 5 crore okay so 1 to 5th so where is 1 to 5th okay 1 to 5th is here only okay so in this manner you can clearly see that option c would be the right answer because none of the other options are giving you 1 to 5 as the option so in this manner you can save your time but for the study purpose let's have a look at the small enterprises and the medium enterprises also so 90 crore in plant and machinery investment and uh, the annual turnover at 150 crore is the criteria for small and for medium the criteria is 50 crore for investment and 250 crore for the turn
Recently, the Strategic Forces Command carried out a successful training launch of a medium-range ballistic missile that is Agni-1. What is the range of this missile? So, the range is 700 to 900 kilometers. So, guys, let me just give you a glimpse. Agni Prime was also recently there in the news for being tested. And Agni-6 missile is under construction. So, a total of 7 Agni missiles are there. Okay? And this Agni-6 would be the 7th Agni series missile. Which countries hosted the multinational Arctic Challenge exercise? Finland, Norway, Sweden. Times Higher... Times Higher Education Impact Ranking, which assesses universities against the UN SDGs, has been released for 2023. Which ind Indian institution has ranked among the top institutions in the SDG 5? So here guys, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Mahi is the right answer. Overall, it is Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitha, which is uh, the top performing institution from India in this ranking at 52nd rank. Mupe, the fintech arm of Celebs, has collaborated with IBSA Network, HDFC Ergo and Gram Cover to introduce an innovative insurance plan, Mark, for farmers based on the heat index. It is the first of its kind initiative in India, which of the following is not a feature of this insurance plan. So here guys, not a feature. So which is not a feature? Let's read. It provides coverage to farmers if temperature exceeds specified limits for a predetermined number of days during a 60-day period starting from May 1st, 2023. This is correct. Every insured cattle is eligible for a maximum coverage of 2,000. Correct. Currently, the insurance cover is limited to one cattle per house. Correct. It aims to integrate the insurance coverage with the National Development Dairy, Develop Dairy Development Plan. From. And this is also cover, correct that the awareness will be spread through the collection centers and the CELEPS smart farms application. Okay, till now there is no news about the integration, so this is wrong. Which state witnessed the highest job creation in the formal sector in FY23 according to EPFO's payroll data? So here Maharashtra is the right answer. Which company is going to set up a giga factory for manufacturing lithium ion cells with an estimated in initial investment of around 130 billion in Gujarat? So, Tata Group is the right answer. Tata Group is going to set up the giga factory. What is the maximum tenure and maximum deposit amount permitted under the ACE FD scheme of RBL Bank? So, 2 crore is the maximum amount, 250, sorry, 240 months is the maximum. Tenure. What is the fiscal deficit target set by the government in the union budget of 23 to 24, 6.4%? And the government was able to achieve its target. Okay, so the precise achievement is 6.36%. The uh, government was able to keep the fiscal deficit at this level only. So we can say it has achieved its target. So here, uh, different data has been given to you. I hope you have already remembered that. Recently, RBI has proposed a framework for overall information security with an emphasis on cyber resilience to improve the safety and security of the payment systems operated by the payment system operator. The framework has proposed a phased implementation of the guidelines by the PSOs. What is the timeline for large, medium and small non-bank PSOs for implementation respectively? So here 2024 for large, 26 for medium, 28 for small. IRDAI has released draft guidelines for Bhima Vaha to establish a dedicated distribution channel. These guidelines divide the Bhima Vahaks into two categories which are named as dash and dash. So corporate and individual are the two categories of Bhima Vaha. Which organization has recently, as of June 5, 2023, reduced its forecast for India's annual growth by 50 basis points to 5.5% for FY24, fiscal 2024, and projected 7.2% growth rate for FY23. So here, guys, JP Morgan is the right answer, who has been elected as the president of the 78th session of the UNGA. 
uh, that is scheduled for September 5 to 19, 2023 in New York. And at the same time, in September only, the UN SDG summit will also be organized. Okay? So do remember this one. So who is the president of the 78th session of UNGA? So it is Dennis Francis from Trinidad and Tobago. Who has been appointed as the first female secretary general of WMO? So it is Celeste Saulo from Argentine. Okay. One more thing: the chief of WMO, that is the president, has also been elected, which is Abdullah Al Mendoz from UAE. Again, UAE is in the news. Okay. When is the International Sex Workers Rights Day observed? March three is the date. Okay. These are different days. June 2nd, ko we, sell, uh, we observe International Sex Workers Day or Fourth Day. Decriminalization and empowerment was the theme. Uh, then uh, International Sex Worker Right Day, March 3rd. September 14th, Sex Workers Pride Day celebrated. And uh, December 17th, International Day to End Violence Against Sex Workers. Which bank has established Rashtr Bhasha Samman Award in June 2023? Bank of Padoda. So the original works author will be given 21 lakh rupees and translator will get 15 lakh rupees, okay? And the next five shortlisted books, okay? Their authors and their translators will get 3 lakh and 2 lakh from the Bank of Baroda. Union Minister of Education and Skill Development Dharmendra Pradhan has released UGC institutions deemed to be universities regulations 2023. What is the corpus? requirement for private institutions to apply for the status of deemed university as per the revised regulation. 25 crore is the right answer. Where is the National Center for Dam Safety from Earthquake Center? So Jaipur is the right answer. So at Malvia National Institute of Technology in Jaipur, I am repeating Malvia National Institute of Technology in Jaipur, this uh, National Center for Dam Safety from Earthquake will be Department of Pharmaceuticals organized the Global Vaccine Research Collaborative Discussion, which was focused on vaccine research and development, building consensus for future health emergencies, prevention, preparedness, and risk. The discussion was organized on the sidelines of the DASH G20 Health Working Group meeting in Hyderabad. So, guys, it was the third G20 Health Working Group meeting. And I hope you must have seen the video by Manish sir on the G20 summits and everything about the G20. If the answer is no, then please after this session or tomorrow, whenever you get time before the examination, please look at the G20 video because that is very important. G20 is uh, under the ages of India at present in 2023. So, related to all of Identify the correct statement from the options given below. A Roma mission aims to bring the additional area of 30,000 hectares under cultivation of aromatic plants, obviously. This will help in production of an additional 700 tons of essential oil, which will generate a business of at least 200 jobs. It aims to increase the income of the farmers through cultivation of high value and high demand aromatic crops by about 30,000 to 60,000 hectares per year. So, which of these statements are correct? All these statements are correct. Okay. Now let me tell you why this aroma mission came suddenly the question because lavender festival was recently celebrated in Jammu Kashmir. Okay, at Bhaderwa. In Jammu, this lavender festival was organized. Lavender cultivation is promoted under the aroma mission, which is uh, you can say being undertaken by the CSI. Where was the Asia's largest and ambitious historic cluster development scheme launched? So here Maharashtra again is in the news. Everything is being done in Maharashtra. Okay. Uh, recently, the IFSC, I hope this question is visible to all of you. Yeah, it is visible. So, International Finance Corporation and National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development have signed an MOU to collaborate on identifying and developing public-private partnership projects to bolster India's infrastructure sector. 
the national bank for financing infrastructure and development that is napfid is a specialized development finance institution in india aimed at supporting the country's infrastructure sector which can significantly gain from an enabling credit flow by means of attractive instruments and channelized investment considering this identify the correct statement from the options given below so first statement is that the entire shareholding of napfid is currently held by the government of india correct it was established through an act of parliament that is national bank of for financing in infrastructure and development act 2021 this statement is also correct napfit uh, is supervised and regulated by rbi as an all india financial institution under sections 45l and 45n of the rbi act 1934 respectively this is also correct term loans bonds debentures guarantees are some of the products offered by napfit this is also correct so let's see which option is having all of these statements okay so here guys we can clearly see no option is having all the statements so option e none of those given as option is the right one now on that note quickly tell me how many all india financial institutions are operational in india at present and also their names let me tell you a total of 5 are there and this napfid is the fifth all india financial institution tell me the names of the four others all india financial institution yes divya aapko lengthy questions bhi aa sakte hain because you need to understand this thing that you have 80 questions in 25 minutes and if all the questions would be one statement one line statement then it would be very easy for the students to clear okay in order to increase the level of difficulty the num length of the question is increased because that is proportional inversely proportional to your time so that is why very good very good mr israel uh, the national housing bank exim bank nabard and sid b absolutely right good identify the incorrect statement with regards to the national institutional ranking framework so the parameters of the ranking include teaching learning and resources research and professional practice graduation outcomes outreach and inclusivity and peer perception these were the same parameters used in the kerala ranking also which we have just covered some time back okay but peer perception was not a part of the kerala institutional ranking frame okay the ranking has 13 different sub rankings uh, iisc bangalore has stopped in the overall nrf sorry nirf 2023 ranking miranda house has stopped in the college ranking so here guys option c is the incorrect statement okay because iit madras has stopped at the overall rankings okay so iit madras in overall universities made is iisc bank okay which bank has launched its latest advertising campaign titled my account starts today so here guys hsbc india is the right answer which bank has launched project uber in bangalore to source facilitate and cater to the various banking needs of customers so here sbi is the right answer how can you remember it sbi is the largest bank in india okay so sabse zyada paisa sbi ke paas hai to iske paas hi uber ka khazana this is how you can remember project uber linked to sbi which bank has launched interoperable cardless cash withdrawals facility within a sorry wherein a customer can withdraw cash using upi from the bank's atm so it is guys bank of baroda when was us india initiative on critical and emerging technology launched to elevate and expand the strategic technology partnership and defense industrial cooperation between the two countries so 2022 is the right answer which country has conferred the grand order of the chain of the yellow star upon president draupadi murmu so suriname guys is the right answer she made an official visit to this country that where, during which this award was given to the president what is the capital of this country do you know param vibo is the capital okay do you know 
what is the outlay of the central sector exploration of coal and lignite scheme for 22 to 26? 2,980 crore is the right answer. One more thing, uh, extension, uh, the tenure for this extension is from 22 to 26, okay, FY 22 to FY 26. Where was the International Conference on Spacecraft Mission Operations organized? So, India is the right answer. Okay, Chandrayaan 3 ki baat ho rahi hai. So, July 13th is the date on which this will be launched. Quickly tell me, Chandrayaan 3 will be launched on which uh, rocket? Okay, which launch vehicle will be used to launch Chandrayaan 3 mission? Quickly tell me. ऐसे नहीं पूरा नाम बताओ GSLV तो बहुत कुछ है मतलब GSLV के तो various variants available हैं GSLV नहीं पूरा नाम बताओ अरे यार पहले इसका जवाब दो ना yes absolutely right शिवम खंडेलवाल बहुत सही जवाब दिया GSLV mark V Okay, so many students have given the answer of this question. Let's just read. A three-day national conference on recent advances in school, Race 2023, also called as Shiksha Mahakum, was organized at which institution? So, NIT Jalandhar. EU-India Global Gateway Conference took place in Shillong, Meghalaya, launched in December. Dash, the Global Gateway Strategy aims to work towards the fulfillment of goals identified by the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Global Gateway aims to mobilize up to DASH in investments by DASH. Okay, so here guys, the right answer is option B. 2021 May this was launched. It aims to mobilize 300 billion euros by 2027. The National Mission for Mentoring has been launched under the National Education Policy 2020 for creation of a large pool for outstanding professionals willing to provide mentoring to school teachers ensure and ensure their continuous professional development. The National Council for Teacher Education launched the National Mission for Mentoring in pilot mode in July 2022 in selected 30 central schools across the country. Who is the current chairperson of NCTE? So here Yogesh Singh is the right answer. Recently, Union Minister for Jal Shakti, Shri Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, released the progress report of the Jal Jeevan Mission Swach Jal Se Suraksha campaign, which was organized from the 2nd October 2022 to 31st March 2023. The campaign aims to emphasize water quality management and surveillance activities by states and UTs. The progress made under these activities was reported on WQMIS portal. What does M stand for in the full form of WQMIS? Okay, you have all banking aspirants, so management will be studied. So, MIS is a management information uh, system. Okay, so management is the right answer. So, here full form is water quality management information system okay okay so india is planning to join the pharmaceutical inspection cooperation scheme and international regime that fosters cooperation between countries and regulatory authorities in good manufacturing practices to improve the quality of the medical products. Pharmaceutical Inspection Cooperation Scheme is a non-binding informal cooperative arrangement between regulatory authorities in the field of good manufacturing practice of medicinal products for human and veterinary use. When was it launched and how many members are there in this uh, forum? So, option A here is the right answer. In 1995, it was launched and 54 members are part of this forum. 
Ministry of Power and New and Renewable Energy have launched Mahir mission to use emerging technologies in the power sector. Identify the incorrect statement with regards to the scheme. So what is the right answer here? The right answer is option B. The scheme will be implement will not be implemented from this time period. Apart from this, all these statements are correct. The mission will have a two-tier structure. It will work with, towards industry, academia, and government collaboration for power sector technology. And uh, the technical scoping committee will be chaired by the chairperson of Central Electric Authority, Electricity Authority. And the apex committee will be chaired by the Union Minister for Power and Renewable Energy. The tenure of this mission is FY24 to 28. India's first carbon, carbon neutral village is uh, Thani, which state is implementing the following initiatives? A special campaign to raise awareness about door to door waste collection and segregation. Clean city, safe city, Mukhya Mantri Shahri Nikai, Swamitva so, Yojana, integrated water resource action plan. So, all these initiatives are implemented by Haryana. Karnataka CM uh, Siddharamaya has announced to launch the Grahat Jyoti free electricity scheme. Under the scheme, beneficiaries must enroll on the DASH portal of the state government to obtain the benefits of the Grahat Jyoti free electricity scheme. So, which portal is this? It is Seva Sindhu portal of the Karnataka government. Uttar Pradesh government has launched the portal family ID up.government.in for creation of family IDs under one family one ID identity scheme to establish a comprehensive database of family units of the state and to connect at least one member of the uh, of each family with employment. The ID will consist of dash digits. So, how many digits will be there? 12 digits will be there. Which state has launched the Nand Baba, Nand Baba Milk Mission scheme at the cost of 1000 crores to increase the milk production on the one hand and to give milk producers fair prices for the produce in the villages itself. So, here guys, Uttar Pradesh is the right answer. Now regarding this thing, let me just give you one thing that the entire country produces 221 million metric tons of milk. UP alone produces 33 million metric tons of milk. So, kafi zyada production hai UP mein. Plus, this statement is very, very important. 444 grams of milk is available per person per day. Okay. So, this much gram of milk is available per person per day. And in UP, 392 grams is available. So, comparatively if we see that if we see it with the national average that is 444 grams then obviously Uttar Pradesh is performing really good as far as the milk availability per person is concerned and it would be the highest in the entire nation okay as far as the states are concerned. Which state is developing the Prerna inspirational the vernacular school so Gujarat is going to create. DRDO successfully flight tested Agni Prime missile from APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. Agni Prime uh, is a new generation nuclear capable medium range ballistic missile. How many Agni missiles have been developed in India so far? So, have been developed. So, six would be the right answer because they have been developed and uh, they are being tested. There is Agni 6, which is in fact the seventh of the Agni series, is under development. Which company has received the approval for producing the Varun Astra, a ship launched anti submarine heavy weight torpedo? So, here, guys, Harak Dynamics Limited is the right answer. There is India developing the Fukot Karnali hydroelectric project of 480 megawatt. Bhutan is the right answer. Which country is hosting the Air Defender 23 drill, one of the Biggest air deployment drills in the NATO's history. Okay? Germany is the right answer. We have discussed about NATO 1949 year of establishment. Washington Treaty uh, established it. 1031 members are there. Okay, These are some of the facts that might be asked from you from NATO. Although these are so ubiquitous now that there are very light chances that RBI would make a question on either of these facts. But still, for your general awareness, you should be aware of it. Which nation has recently withdrawn from the 38 nation combined maritime forces, a US led maritime coalition tasked with securing tense Gulf waterways that are vital to the global 
Okay, so here UAE has backed from this combined maritime uh, forces, okay, which this agency has launched the Mars Express uh, spacecraft. So, guys, it is ESA, European Space Agency. BSC and NSE have launched an enhanced surveillance mechanism for companies that have a market cap of less than dash. So here 500 crores is the right answer. Okay. So enhanced surveillance mechanism specifically for the companies which are below 500 crores. Okay. Not up to 500 or above 500, below 500. RBI has constructed the financial inclusion index in 2021 to ensure the extent of financial inclusion. The FI index includes information on the banking, investments, insurance, postal and pension sectors. What is the score range of the index? So 0 to 100 is the score range. Okay, recently Antar Drishti portal was launched by RBI. I hope all of you know about it and it will evaluate the development of financial inclusion. Okay. How much money is the National Bank for Finance, Financing Infrastructure Development NAFID expected to raise through 10 year non convertible debenture? So it is expected to raise 10,000 crores. Which of the following statements is are incorrect about the revival package of BSNL? Quickly read the statements and then tell me the right answer. Okay, so all these uh, statements are incorrect. Okay, so let's have a look at the correct statements. First revival package came in 2019, amount is 69,000 crores. Purpose is just to revive. Second revival package 2022, amount is 1.64 lakh crores, and the purpose was uh, spectrum allocation, capital expenditure, and viability gap funding. Third revival package 89,047 crore rupees. Purpose is 4G, 5G allocation, okay, uh, or allotment and launched in 2023. Provision 23E of Securities Contracts Regulation Act of 1956 states that any company violating listing conditions could attract a penalty of up to dash. So here guys, 25 crore is a right. What is the rank of Kerala, Goa and JNK in the State Food Safety Index 2023, which was the fifth edition of it? So first was the rank. June 7th, World Food Safety Day and on this day, this Food Safety Index was released. Theme of the World Food Safety Day is Food Standards Save Life. And these are the parameters of the State Food Safety Index. Okay. Uh, here are the rankings. Okay. In the union territories, in the small states, in the larger states. And top three are important for you to remember. Dame Grand Championship uh, Companionship is the second highest honor of which country? So, New Zealand, guys, is the right answer. Which country is the host of Special Olympics uh, World Summer Games 2023? Germany. In Berlin, this was organized. And uh, India has won 202 medals in this particular edition, okay, in this game. Uh, and these games are for the intellectually uh, disabled people. Okay. Ye bhi yaad With which company has Ministry of Women and Child Development partnered to launch the Amrit Generation campaign? Nay Bharat ke sapne to empower and encourage the youth to express their aspirations and dreams for the future. So meta is the right answer. Again, this is the same thing which we have discussed just a week ago. Reels for now and upload it on Insta and FB. And get the guidance from meta and the ministries. Union Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways and Ayush Sabarnanda Sonowal launched the Sagar Samriddhi which is the online dredging monitoring system to ramp up 
based to wealth initiative of the ministry which of the following institutions has developed the system for the ministry so it is guys national technology center for ports waterways and coasts at the iit madras which is the technological arm of the ministry of ports shipping and water space so where will india host a three day meeting of the g20 development ministers nation so varanasi is the right answer varanasi was also classified as the sco cultural capital ठीक है तो ये भी ध्यान रखना बिकॉज दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स टाइम वेन अ सिटी हैज बिन क्लासीफाइड एज अ कल्चरल कैपिटल बाई दी एस सी ओ नाउ एस सी ओ हैज नाइन मेंबर्स बिकॉज डांस इंक्लूजन हैज बीन अप्रूव कंट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया इज द चेयर ऑफ द सुप्रीम ऑडिट इंस्टीट्यूशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंगेजमेंट ग्रुप अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी द साई ट्वेंटी समिट इज शेड्यूल टू टेक प्लेस इन गोवा what is the theme of this summit so here blue economy and responsible ai which of the following statement is are correct with regards to the market coupling technique so guys market coupling is basically a model where bids from all the power exchanges in the country are aggregated and uh, they are matched to discover a uniform price for the uh, trade of electricity okay so recently the central electricity regulatory authority has given this uh, direction to different energy exchanges to uh, adopt this market coupling technique so that we can arrive at a uniform price okay galaxy is building the world's first multi sensor earth observation satellite the startup is going to launch its first satellite prishti mission next year the satellite consists of a visible spectrum camera providing synchronized imaging that can take multiple images at the same time which iit has incubated galaxy so it is mad iit madras which state has launched the guaranteed pension scheme to give 50% of the last drawn salary to eligible employees as pension including receiving dearness relief on the lines of the central government declaring dearness allowance and relief twice a year so here guys andhra pradesh is the right answer quickly tell me the percentage of da and dr at the central level quickly tell me i have taught you this thing quickly tell me acha let me just check pukot uh, karnali Power plant is in Nepal and not Bhutan. Give me a second. Yes, forty-two percent, absolutely right. Four percent से ये बढ़ाया था इसी साल with effects from January first, twenty twenty-three. Which state does the Gola River flow in? So in Uttarakhand it flows in the Nainital district. Which of the following institutions has acted as the knowledge partner of Jammu Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh, Gujarat during the preparation of their district good governance index? So guys, it is Centre for Good Governance. in hyderabad which acted as the knowledge partner for all these uh, states in the preparation of their district good governance index on which river is the polavaram project being developed so here guys godavari is the right answer recently india france uae conducted their first trilateral maritime partnership exercise in the gulf of oman identify the countries which share the a uh, maritime border in the gulf of oman you can clearly see it's iran oman and ua okay so option a is the right answer which company has developed tactical land radio for indian army so astrom tech is the right answer so let me just tell you that this uh, this contract for this tactical land radio was given to astrom tech and uh, the entire process was done through the idex platform okay idex is innovation for defense technology 
विच वॉज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी एटीन ठीक है Microsoft India and Air Jaldi have signed a three-year MOU to provide internet connectivity to the people in the unserved areas. The MOU aims to expand the network of Air Jaldi into three new states: Telangana, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha, with an increase in the number of network locations from 40 to 62 in 12 states. Anand Maheshwari, who is the president of Microsoft India, is currently acting as the president of Dash, so NASCOM. When was the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights created? So it was created in 1966. 1976, May it came into force. The world's largest sand island, known as Fraser Island, has got its old name, that is Kigali. Which country owns this island? Australia owns this island. International Energy Agency has released the Renewable Energy Market Update Outlook for 23 to 24. Considering this, identify the correct statement from the options given below. So, here, guys, as per the report, the global renewable energy, sorry, global renewable capacity additions are set to increase by 107 gigawatts, the largest absolute increase ever, to more than 440 gigawatts in 2023. Global renewable capacity additions could reach 550 gigawatts in 2024. International Energy Agency is a Paris-based organization established in 1974. So all of these statements are correct. Okay, hence option B is the right answer. Which organization has signed an agreement with the Indian Council for Agriculture Research to guide farmers enrolled on its Kisan Store? on scientific cultivation of different crops and help them achieve optimum yield and income so amazon india is the right answer okay quickly guys read the question in the meantime and try to tell me the right answer okay dhyaneshwar ek bahut hi बहुत ही प्रसिद्ध बात है ये चीज कि जब भी आप अपनी मंजिल के सबसे पास होते हो ना तभी आपकी हिम्मत टूटने लगती है रात का अंधेरा तभी सबसे गहरा होता है जब सूरज निकलने वाला तो आपकी हिम्मत अब टूट रही है बिकॉज सेशन खत्म होने वाला है सो इट इज वेरी नियर टू दी एंड तो प्लीज कीप योर एनर्जीज आप ओके बिकॉज ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी रेलिवेंट जून के क्वेश्चन हैं दे एनी ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन तो थोड़ी सी एनर्जी को रखो अपना संभाल के थोड़ी देर में सेशन खत्म हो जाता है ठीक है फिजिकल डेफिसिट की बात कर रहे हो के कृष्णा वाई डिड यू डू दैट दिव्या आर बी एंड पी आई बी आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फेज वन एवरी टाइप ऑफ News can be asked from you in the phase one. Okay, you should have covered. But चलो कोई नहीं अब नहीं किया है तो ज़्यादा stress मत लो. जितना किया है वरना वो भी उड़ जाएगा दिमाग से. Stress लेने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है. Just take a chill pill. अब जो होगा सो हो जाएगा. जितना किया है उसको अच्छे से revise करो. That is the last advice. Fiscal deficit target uh, in 23 to 24 budget. It is I guess 6.4 percent only. Okay, question number twenty-three. Okay, guys, towards the end of this session, I am going to check it. Okay, because I have given the news itself. News coverage is question ke piche hi hai. So we will check it. Okay, don't worry. Now let's come back to this question. वो तो possible नहीं होगा जतिन. I can't give you all the GDP forecast towards the end of this class. Firstly, because uh, I haven't prepared the GDP forecast together. Uh, इन वन डॉक्यूमेंट एंड सेकेंडली आप लोगों ने भी सुबह से इतना सारा करंट अफेयर्स पढ़ रहे हो सब कुछ मगल सब कुछ जगल हो जाएगा दिमाग में तो आफ्टर दिस सेशन टेक अ ब्रेक ओके जितना किया है उतना ठीक है उसके बाद थोड़े समय बाद आप लोग जी डी पी दोबारा से प्रिपेयर करना स्पॉट लाइट ठीक है ठीक है
okay okay so yeah 6.4 percent was the completed year's target we have achieved this target right yes Achha, the question was 23 to 24 it might have been a mistake so don't worry guys we will discuss question number 23 again okay let's focus on this question which of the following measures is correct with regards to the priority sector lending targets of the urban cooperative bank so first is uh, the rbi has extended the timeline for ucbs to achieve the priority sector lending targets by 2 years up to March 31st, 2026, correct. The deadline to achieve PSL target of 50%, which was earlier 31st March 2023, has now been extended to 2024. Wrong. Why? Because it's not 50%, it's 60%. Okay. The UCBs have been restricted by RBF from contributing to RIDF and other funds for meeting the shortfalls in PSL targets for FI21 and 22. So this is also correct. So here option c would be the right answer identify the correct order of countries in descending order with respect to the quantum of digital payments occurred in 2022 as per the data given by the my government india descending order means bade se chota matlab sab se zyada kisne kiya so it is india then brazil china thailand and south korea do remember the amount of india then volume of transactions 89.5 million which has become the first oil marketing company in India to test the E27 fuel in line with the roadmap for ethanol blending in India, in, by, in India by 2025, which aims to promote the adoption of ethanol blending in gasoline. So here HPCL is the right answer. Who is the chief coordinator of Women 20 Summit 2023? So Dharitri Patnayak is the right answer. Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced three schemes worth over 8,000 crores to cover the modernization of uh, fire brigade services in all states, uh, flood mitigation in seven major cities, prevention of landslides in 17 states. How much amount has been fixed for preventing the landslides in 17 states? 825 crore is the right answer. 5,000 crores have been set up for the fire brigade services. Then for flood mitigation, 2,500 crores will be given and these are the cities which will be catered to through this funding. And 17 states, mein, 825 crore rupees will be spent to mitigate the dangers of land. Uh, which railway station has been awarded the e tribe station certificate by FSSAI for providing high quality and nutritious food to passengers in June 2020? So, it is Guwahati Railway Station which has got this certification. India is set to host the prestigious Miss World pageant by the end of this year. This uh, The last time the pageant was held in 1996 in Bangalore. How many times has India won this prestigious pageant? So, six times and Manushi Chiller is the latest one to win. Identify the incorrect statement from the options given below. So, here guys, read the statements and tell me the right answer. Okay, today's uh, session is uh, majorly focused on spotlight questions. But yes, if you have RBI and TIB 247, ko cover kiya hai, Divya, so it is well and good. Uh, because I have already told you that you have to adopt an integrated approach to clear RBI phase 1 also. Because phase 1 ke current affairs mein 80 questions and you have to ask anything about it. Including your static awareness, finance management, economics or current affairs. मतलब कुछ भी क्वेश्चंस बना सकते हैं। हाँ, ऑप्शन फिफ्थ इस डी इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ फाइव फिशिंग हार्बर्स हैव बीन मॉडर्नाइज्ड एट डी कॉस्ट ऑफ़ फाइव फिफ्टी करोड़। ओके, सो जस्ट लुक एट दिस मॉडर्नाइजेशन एंड अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ़ कोचिंग फिशिंग हार्बर के लिए 169.17 करोड़ हैव बीन एलोकेटेड Matasya Sampatai Yojana will give 50 crores, 
so agar mala will give 50 crores public private partnerships will give 55.84 crores okay so this is how the demarcation of funding has been done so far which state organized the Kisan Kalyan Mahakumb? So, I guess it's answer Madhya Pradesh. Okay? Which state has announced a monthly mention of 10,000 for Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Vibhushan awardees of the state? So, Haryana is the right answer. Gandak River is the tributary of which river? Ganga. Uh, identify the incorrect statement from the options given below. The least developed country category was established by UNGA in 1971, correct. Membership is revised every three years based on the following factors, average gross national income, human asset, economic vulnerability, correct. In 2021, UNGA adopted the resolution to graduate Bangladesh, Lao, uh, People's Democratic Republic and Nepal from the LDC category, correct. Bangladesh, Nepal and Laos are scheduled to graduate from the LDC list on 24th November 2027 in Qatar. Because it is 2026. So, option D is the right answer. Let's read the last statement. According to the UN, per capita income of $1,230 is one of the requirements for transitioning into a developing nation. Okay, For getting out of this LDC list. So, all these statements are correct. Only D is not correct. One more thing, at present we have 46 members in the least developed countries. UNDP launched its third cohort of fourth ocean innovators. The cohort includes members from Malaysia, Madagascar, Thailand, Turkey. Where did Indian Army conduct its massive military exercise, Agnes Srovan, Ladakh? Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed an MOU with Fabrica Argentina D. Avionis for collaboration in the aerospace sector. Which country does the letter belong to? Argentina. Very basic question. How many children were displaced in 2022 due to the extreme weather conditions? According to UNICEF, 12 million children were uh, displaced. Which of the following statements is are true? Give me a second, guys. If issues of I hope now the volume will be fine. Okay, quickly give me a thumbs up if my volume is loud and clear now. I hope I am loud and clear, guys. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, thank God. Now it is fine. <sighs> Chale, apologies for the disturbance, guys. Chale, let's begin with the session. Continue with the session, not begin. Okay, so which one is true about the grievance redress well assessment 2022? First is 89 central ministries and departments were, were assessed and ranked in 2022. Correct. Data between January and December 2022 was used to compute it, correct. The index ranks central ministries departments on four dimensions corresponding 21 indicators, wrong, 12 indicators. All of you have already given it. Department of Post has been ranked first in the group B category. This is also wrong because it is in group A category. So here only uh, one and two options are correct. Okay, so Along with this, UIDAI is also one of the top rankers in Group A category. What is the remittance growth rate projection for low and middle income countries for 2023 by the World Bank's 
माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ब्रीफ थर्टी एट ओके लेटेस्ट वाला है सो इट इज वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ओके सो द रेमिट आंसर आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज बाई वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट टू सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स बिलियन यूएस डॉलर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एज फार एज इंडिया इज कंसर्न सो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इंडिया रिसीव वन हंड्रेड इलेवन बिलियन यूएस डॉलर एज रेमिट आंसर विच इज एन इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट how much progress has the world made in the health and survival sub index of the global gender gap report 2023 so 96% improvement has been done in the health and survival sub index okay so india ki rank is 127th 146 countries were assessed iceland top norway second finland third okay here you can clearly see the score of india is 0.643 the score of iceland is 0.912 first wale ka score yaad rakhna is important uh, बिकॉज इट्स माई गट फीलिंग की आपको करना चाहिए फर्स्ट वाले का आइसलैंड का कर लो और इंडिया का कर लो देन बॉटम पे इट्स जस्ट फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन नो बडी आस्क अबाउट द बॉटम कंट्रीज ओके सो इट्स जस्ट फॉर द इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोग्रेस इन दी क्लोजिंग ऑफ द जेंडर गैप सो ओवरऑल प्रोग्रेस इज सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फोर परसेंट इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी सिक्सटी पॉइंट वन परसेंट एजुकेशन एंटेनमेंट सब इंडेक्स में इट इज नाइनटी हेल्थ एंड सर्वाइवल में इट इज 96 परसेंट पॉलिटिकल एम्पावरमेंट में इट इज 22.1 परसेंट ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इंडिया सो इंडिया रैंक इज वेरी पुअर इन इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन एंड हेल्थ एंड सर्वाइवल इट इज वन फोर्टी सेकेंड पॉलिटिकल एम्पावरमेंट इंडिया रैंक इज गुड इन दिस इट इज फिफ्टी नाइन देन एजुकेशनल अटेनमेंट इंडिया रैंक इज वेरी गुड इन दिस ट्वेंटी सिक्स आउट ऑफ ऑल दी अदर सब इंडिस ओके now i am not telling you about the top performers and i'm not going into the depths of this report the reason is because we have we are struggling with the paucity of time right so i hope you have covered this index thoroughly for your exam i know that you are aware of the importance of it now as far as south asia south asia is concerned so india is at the sixth position one more thing uh, gender social norms index was also released and this is released by un dp okay so here india's rank is 132 out of 191 country which of the following agencies has predicted that the indian economy and the market will be among the top globally by 2050 and even surpass us by 2075 so it's goldman sachs uh yeah uh moving ahead according to the data released by pension fund regulatory and development authority the growth in enrollments of atal pension yojana in fy23 witnessed dash percent growth in the minimum pension slab of 1000 so it is 24% growth okay whereas in other slabs the growth has declined which bank has launched the one view feature so it is axis bank which country does cormac mckethy belongs to us Recently, the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances has released the Central Public Grievance Redressal and Monitoring System Monthly Report for State UT for the month of May 23. What is the rank of Assam and my Nicobar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh in this index? So here, guys, their rank is second. So we have two reports. One is for Central uh, Central Ministries, and it is top. Uh, by the department of agriculture and farmer welfare and the unique identification authority of india okay then uh, we have for the states and uts and these are different rankings which bank has launched i am adyar adyar is me campaign federal bank your perfect banking partner is the tally identify the correct statement with regards to the institute for development and research in the banking technology so here what is the right answer guys quickly read the statement and then tell me the answer
so here guys all of these statements are correct let's have a look in 1994 a committee on the technology issues relating to payment systems headed by ws saraf was created and this committee only recommended uh, that we should have an institution for the banking technology okay and based on the recommendation this institution was created in 1996 hence all the statements are correct with which of the following institutions has said be collaborated for mission evolve evolve stands for electric vehicle operations and lending for vibrant ecosystem so here niti aayog world bank uh, korean economic development cooperation fund plus world bank and korea's joint facility okay so joint financing facility uh, these are the four institutions which have collaborated with sidbi for mission evolve so for the uh, with regards to the question option e is the right answer but do remember this is a fourth one okay how many life insurance companies are operating in india 26 go digit has become the latest one according to the oecd latest economic outlook which country will witness the highest gdp growth rate in 2023 among the major economies india is the right answer so among the major economies in 2023 india will have 6% growth rate and 7% in 2024 the world is going to have a 2.7% growth rate in 2023 and 2.9% in 2024 who has been appointed as a ceo of uidai amit agarwal can any one of you tell me which act establishes this organization okay this is a statutory organization can any one of you tell me which act establishes uidai it's very basic when i'm asking you the act i'm also asking you the year in which it was enacted so let's see how many of you know it the year of the aadhar act aadhar act is very basic yes aadhar act 2016 World Accreditation Day June nine is the right answer. Accreditation supporting the future of global trade is the thing. Which system from India won the UITP award, which is the most coveted award in public transport? So best is the right answer. Okay. Uh, which city will host the Squash World Cup twenty twenty three? The fourth edition. Chennai will host it. Global DPI Summit was organized at which place? Pune. a uh, digital public infrastructure is the full form of dpi which countries researchers have been awarded under the women involvement in science and engineering research that is wiser program in june 2023 so germany three scholars from germany were awarded the wiser program uh, you can say fellowship which company has received the contract to develop state of the art naval air field integrated security system and naval anti drone system for the indian navy so here in bharat electronics limited is the right answer which edition of the joint military exercise ex uh, exercise equivalent conducted between indian army and maldives uh, uh, was organized this year so which edition was it it was the 12th edition in which country has world bank launched its first dedicated road safety project of the south asia bangladesh i hope now you understand the distinction between the loan given to india between the loan given to bangladesh for the road safety purposes okay recently ung adopted a draft resolution uh, introduced by india to establish a memorial wall at the un headquarters in new york to honor fallen peacekeepers peacekeepers how many countries proposed the resolution along with india so 17 countries proposed plus india okay so a total of 18 countries give had given uh, this proposal to un which new sectors or sub sectors have been included in the multi sectoral collaboration of bims tech during the recent ministerial meeting in bangkok so here blue economy mountain economy poverty alleviation these three have been added and i hope you remember that in which sector these have been added as the sub sectors and also which countries responsible for uh, for these sectors and sub sectors okay which organization has released the global slavery index 2023 it is walk free foundation theek okay? hai freedom ki baat kar rahe hain walk free foundation it has released the global slavery index 
prevalence vulnerability government response these are the three parameters uh, and here in, is india's performance in all these parameters which has become the first public sector bank to introduce ivr based upi solution upi 123 pay so it is pnb which company has launched the smart wealth advantage growth part plan a non linked participating individual life insurance saving plan max life insurance company is the right answer when and where will india host the 2025 international institute of administrative annual conference so in 2025 uh, in kochi this will be organized okay ministry of science and tech has launched vashvik bharatiya vigyanik fellowship program to connect the stem diaspora with indian higher educational institutions how many knowledge verticals have been identified under this initiative so 18 verticals have been identified under this initiative what is the name of the collection of courses launched by the central government to provide the training on mission karam yogi beneficiaries so dakshata is the right answer it has been launched on the i got karam yogi platform theek okay? hai i got stands for integrated government online training portal theek okay? hai on the i got portal dakshata courses have been launched Which institute has approved 150 million loan to support the resilient Kerala program to strengthen Kerala's preparedness for natural disasters, climate change impact, and disaster outbreak? So here, World Bank is the right answer. Jule Ladakh, that is Hello Ladakh exercise, is organized by Navy in Ladakh. ठीक है? UN has adopted a historic biodiversity beyond national jurisdiction treaty also known as high seas treaty and uh, it is it will be open for signature at un headquarters in new york during the unga session uh, a day after the 2023 sdg summit also how many countries ratification is required for this treaty to become effective so 60 is the right answer at least 60 countries have to uh, ratify this treaty so that it becomes um, operational Which company has launched the first ever passive fund on Nifty Micro Cap 250 index? So Motilal Oswal, asset management company, is the right answer. Who has been chosen as the chief of RAW? So Ravi Sinha is the right answer. Who was the first Indian woman to get a PhD degree in scientific discipline? So it is Kamala Sohni. 37 national games, Goa at Shama Prasad Mukherjee. stadium theek okay? hai there will the g20 labor engagement summit be held so patna mein it will be held uh, which state has approved the cooperative policy 2023 in the month of june 2023 to create jobs in the sector so madhya pradesh is the right view ko festival is celebrated in arunachal pradesh and tamsa community celebrates the festival this is the picture of tansa community uh, which state launched the polytechnic chalo abhiyan uttar pradesh which country will re receive ins kirpan from india as a gift so it is vietnam drdo and indian navy have successfully showcased the transfer of command and control capabilities of the first unmanned aerial vehicle recently on which indian naval ship was the ua uav showcased so guys it was showcased at ins subhadra and this ins subhadra is at present docked at karwar naval base okay which is also known as ins kadamba now why is it important the reason is that on this particular base project seabird is being implemented and when it will be completed this karwar naval base will become the asia's largest naval base that is why it is important for which foreign country has india announced the hit formula for promoting diplomatic relations and growth nepal theek okay? hai highways highways and transways satria one is the telecommunication satellite for which of which country indonesia spacex ke falcon 9 uh, falcon 9 rocket pe it was launched all india consumer price index for agricultural laborers and rural laborers for the month of may 2023 stood at this and this 
which year was used as the base year for calculating the uh, values for the month of May. So, 1986 to 87. Okay. So, we have the agricultural labor, we have the industrial workers, we have the rural laborers, labor bureau banata hai inke CPI uh, statistics and we have the overall CPI for the entire nation which is prepared um, by Ministry of Statistics. Thik hai? Uh, NSO banata hai iska. That is National Statistical Office. By which year does the NAPFID aim to finalize loan sanctions up to 3 lakh crore? So, 2026 is the right answer. Thik hai? So, NAFID, you have observed how many times it has been in the news. So, this related, I hope you have covered the basic facts. On that note, tell me who is the current chairperson of NAFID. Waiting for your answers. Current chairperson of NAFID. Good. KV Kamath. KV Kamath ki committee bhi thi, bahut important si. I hope all of you remember that as well. Um, okay, one more thing that uh, it aims to finalize loan sanctions of uh, 1 lakh crore uh, and disburse out of the sanctioned amount 60,000 crores by the end of FY24. So here guys, the session has completed. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed today's Maha Marathon session. And now if you have anything, you can ask me. And there was one query regarding the fiscal deficit, right? So, let me just see. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry guys. The question was asking about the current year's fiscal deficit target and I told you the target of the previous year. So, that's my mistake and I apologize for that. So, 2023 clay fiscal deficit target is 5.9%. 2026 clay the fiscal deficit target is 4.5%. And FY23, may we have adopt, uh, we have achieved the fiscal deficit target of 6.4%. Thank you so much, all the people, to correct me because correct karna is very important. If kuch bhi aapko galat lag raha hai, to aap correct karo, taaki sab logo ko sahi answer pata lage. So thank you so much correcting me. 5.9% for FY24, 5.5% uh, 4 for FY26. 6.4% for FY23. Please remember this data hai, as it is as it is in front of you. Hai? And here is a lesson for all of you. I just misread the question or rather it was misinterpreted in my mind because maybe I was reading the question in a haste. The lesson for all of you is your exam is a day after tomorrow and you might be or rather you would be in a haste to complete the questions, to read the questions, uh, all the questions and attempt as many as you can. Okay, And in that haste, you might also commit this mistake. So this is a lesson for all of you. Don't do that. Read the question carefully. Otherwise, you have seen your question would be wrong as I marked the question wrong and here 0.25 marks you would have lost. Uh, you would have lost. Okay? So please question ko dhyan se padna. Mistake kisi ke bhi saath ho sakti hai. So, okay? Ye lesson hai aap logo ke liye. To dhyan se gijje ka. Okay? Uh, aur kuch? <laughs> I hope so Ravi Prakash and all of you guys jitne bhi aap dhe rho is vakt. देख रहे हो इस सेशन सबकी सब आरबीआई में 
एडमिट हो जाओ <laughs> वैसे भी वैकेंसी तो अराउंड टू हंड्रेड है ना तो देर इज अ चांस दैट ऑल द पीपल हु आर वॉचिंग दिस सेशन कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द आर बी आई हो जाएगा बट एट दिस मोमेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इज टू बी काम ठीक है आपने ये चीज जरूर देखी होगी कि कभी भी टर्ब्यूलेंट पानी में इमेज नहीं बनती उसका रीजन पता है क्या है उसका रीजन यही है कि आप कभी भी अस्थिर पानी में कोई भी इमेज नहीं बना सकते सिमिलरली आपको आपका मन शांत करना पड़ेगा तभी जो आपने पढ़ा है उसका आउटकम निकाल पाओगे नहीं तो कोई आउटकम नहीं निकलेगा टर्ब्यूलेंस कभी भी आपको कोई आउटकम नहीं दे सकती तो यू हैव टू बी काम फ्रॉम योर ठीक है अच्छा ये फुकट वाला कर लेते हैं थोड़ा सा क्लियर क्वेश्चन इस पर मुझे भी डाउट आ रहा है ओके सो यस गाइस द फुकोट वाला भी फुकोट करनाली प्रोजेक्ट इज आल्सो इन नेपाल ठीक है इट इज नॉट इन भूटान इट इज इन नेपाल प्लीज लिसन टू मी केयरफुली एवरीवन दिस फुकोट करनाली हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट इज आल्सो बीइंग डेवलप्ड इन नेपाल बाय इंडिया थैंक यू सो मच अगेन फॉर गिविंग मी द राइट आंसर Okay now you have time to sleep Lawrence pehle exam to de do result ki chinta aapko abhi se ho rahi hai give your exam first theek hai do your effort without any uh, greed or without thinking about the outcome pehle wo kar lo paper de lo result ko chhod do ab वो मैसअप इसीलिए हो रहा है शिवम बिकॉज यू आर नॉट काम ट्राई टू मेडिटेट ट्राई टू रिलैक्स एग्जाम से पहले थोड़ा रिलैक्स जरूर करो नहीं तो सारी मेहनत बर्बाद हो जाएगी देखो रोहित ने बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन पूछा है मैम लास्ट फ्यू डेज ऑफ जुलाई न्यूज डू वी नीड टू कवर सो इन माई ओपिनियन जुलाई फोर इज इनफ इट्स द थ्रेश होल्ड डेट टिल देन यू कैन रिमेंबर द न्यूज आफ्टर दैट यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर ठीक है या आई विल ऑल्सो बी देर सरिता विहार इज माई एग्जाम सेंटर इन द आफ्टरनून शिफ्ट सो लेट सी इफ एनी बडी टर्न अप देर ऑल्सो हाँ चलो सब लोग श्योर sure. ये बहुत अच्छी बात कही आदि ने दैट ही वुड लाइक टू लाइक अस टू टेक हिज इंटरव्यू एंड अब इंटरव्यू में मिलेंगे सीधा मॉक इंटरव्यू में येस आई वुड लाइक टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू इन द मॉक इंटरव्यूज एंड इन दी आर बी आई ऑल्सो ठीक है मॉक इंटरव्यूज तो हो जाएंगे आर बी आई में पहुंच जाओ पहले येस ऑफकोर्स फेज टू वी हैव अ प्लानर फॉर फेज टू एज वेल we will be conducting different sessions for the preparation of phase 2 so don't worry uh, and don't think too ahead of your uh, plan of action okay aapka plan of action abhi sirf rbi phase 1 hona chahiye usse zyada mat socho zyada soch ke kuch nahi hota theek hai i guess now we can wind up the session if you guys have any query or anything to ask me you can ask me right now theek hai aap puch lo then if there is nothing to i can just end the session do you have any query that you want to ask me regarding the exam regarding your preparation if you want to share anything with me as a mentor i am available okay so you can share if you are facing any issues be it your uh, 
issues related to stress or anything you can ask or related to preparation of gk pooch sakte ho otherwise i will shut down the session uh, ya yeah, aapko ye pdf mil jayega yes you will get this pdf Okay, guys. One more thing: the PDF of this session will be available to all of you on the Telegram channel. Okay, the link is in description. How can you do that? You have sectional timing in RBI exam. Tenth mock test was uploaded on July third, I guess. Or uh, we have given you the. 10th mock test the last mock test one week uh, ago only right aapko ab tak de dena chahiye tha in case you haven't given that so you can give today only ya kal subah subah de sakte ho theek hai रिवाइज कर लो इफ यू हैव गिवन इनफ मॉक्स अगर आपकी प्रैक्टिस अच्छी है तो यू कैन रिवाइज इस टाइम पे वैसे भी मॉक देना आपके लिए ही डेट्रीमेंटल साबित हो सकता है बिकॉज इन केस इन केस यू डोंट गेट गुड मार्क्स इट कैन हैव अ नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन योर मोर आल सो डोंट डू दैट विद योर सेल्फ येस आई एम टेलिंग यू ना डोंट डू इट टूडे और टूमोरो ट्राई टू रिवाइज इफ यू हैव गिवन इनफ मॉक्स क्योंकि अभी आप इफ यू ट्राई टू डू द मॉक्स इट कैन हैव अ नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट इन केस यू डोंट स्कोर गुड मार्क्स और अप टू द लेवल ऑफ द कट ऑफ ऑफ प्रीवियस इयर्स नो इट इज नॉट अलाउड आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू कैन जम्प इन बिटवीन द सेक्शन टाइमिंग सेक्शनल टाइमिंग है एंड इट विल अपीयर ऑटोमेटिकली सिस्टमैटिकली यू कैंट जम्प लास्ट ईयर के कट ऑफ से ज्यादा स्कोर जो आएगा वो सेफ स्कोर होगा Oh, so 2024 के aspirants are also sitting right now. I didn't know that. So nice. Phase two के लिए you can start from today onwards. Phase two में एक साल के current affairs are relevant. So you can start from today. For phase one, focus on six months. Okay. So वैसे भी अगर आप current affairs अभी से start करोगे, so you will have a good idea of what is going on in and around you. ठीक है? so if you have that idea it will not be very difficult for you if the examination date is declared okay to cover the 6 months of spotlight magazine okay or rather you can try to give a reading of a uh, spotlight once in a month it will make your mind habitual of reading a bulky magazine like spotlight theek okay? hai so make it habitual of reading it theek okay? hai पढ़ाई से रिलेटेड सो इट इज द लास्ट वीडियो आई डोंट थिंक अब कोई वीडियो आएगा पढ़ाई से रिलेटेड नहीं आएगा हो गई जितनी पढ़ाई होनी थी अब आप रिलैक्स करो जो पढ़ा है उसको रिवाइज करो बस इससे ज्यादा कुछ मत करो Okay, guys. So all the very best for your dream examination. I hope all of you clear it with flying colors. And देखो कोई भी exam हो या कुछ भी हो हमारी life में that can be a milestone, but that cannot be the destination. The destination is the journey itself. ठीक है You have to know this fact and understand this fact. So पूरी मेहनत से करो 
स्ट्रेस मत लो जितना भी होता है उतना करो अच्छे से ठीक है वेरी गुड लक टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर योर एग्जाम गुड बाय हैव अ नाइस डे